Good morning. I see you in this early, early stream. I see you in that chat. Thank you, Huey, Miki, uh, of course, R and I, and, and, hold on, Mayo, Nays, for the uh, gifted memberships. Thank you for the member chips. I'm sure that'll go delicious in my soup. Hi, <laughs> right, be right back. Give me just a second. I'm just fixing something on the back end. Merry Christmas, nerds. Also, a uh, big shout out, R and I. I, 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 I see that uh, fifty? Question mark. Um, thank you for your kindness. Uh, give me a second. I'll be. I'll, I'll, I will talk more with all of you, Rosaders, in just a second. You nerds ready? Let's say hi. Hi. <laughs> Merry Crimsmas into all a Crimson Night, I guess. Banshee, thank you for the five gifted, uh, Member chips. Um, yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Minecraft eating noises. Uh, I'm glad I could ruin your Christmas. I'm here to probably hurt, not help. Uh, Hiki says, Merry Christmas, Riz. Use this to buy yourself some McDonald's apple slices as a... <gasps> Whoa. You think I can afford McDonald's apple slices off that? Maybe. I'll try it out. Thanks for the soup. Um, yeah, I, I, don't worry. I won't be thanking you. I will curse your name with every delicious crisp bite. Mr. Vig, thank you for the soup. And Lennon, thank you for the soup. Merry Christmas or something. <laughs> Cheers. Hey. Listen, I'm helping you teach your kid cousin important life lessons real early on. So honestly, you should be uh you should be thanking me, Lennon. <laughs> you guys like my sweater? I like the sweater. You guys like my hat? I like the hat. The hat's actually by um. Ang, no, I almost said Angie. No, it is Angie. Oh no, I was right. I was right. I was. I thought I was like here. I am like saying Angie instead of angry like an idiot. But no, it is actually Angie Ginger Boys on Twitter. And uh, my sweater was made by Rainbox Seventeen. Check them out. I'll be quote retweeting them later, so it'll be easier to see. Don't worry. Anyway, hi gamers. How's uh how's how's Crimson treating you? What are you up to today? Are you hanging out with family, friends? Are you eating uh? Nachos, you know what? Actually, the sweater is a little stuffy. I'm gonna pop it off, but don't worry. I'll stay. I'll stay cheery. I do love this sweater design, though. Look at that little angry snowman. <laughs> I gotta tuck my chin into it though to stay warm. Mm. You guys ever do that when you're like walking around? And it's real cold. You ever pull your sweater up like over your lips and your nose or over your chin? I do that all the time. Boop. Here, hold on. Let me get my uh, my jolly red coat on. There we go. Now I can compete with that old man. Oh, I'm keeping it merry, Quark. Merry and Pippin. That's not true. I'm not. I'm not doing that. I'm not being a hobbit today. Merry Christmas, Christmas. I guess. I did beat up Santa. Don't worry, Luca. I got it under control. Thank you for the delicious soup, Quark, and Luca. I don't know why I always say your name like that. I can't help it. I just feel like I have to say it, like almost like a quack, like Quark. Like it's an utterance, an ancient name, 
a sound known only to the to the primordial things at the beginning of time. Clark, why did I beat up Santa? Well, Santa was competing for with me for title of guy with big red coat, and I had to win every year on Christmas Day. I emerge from your basement or under your floorboards or out of the fresh tilled earth of a grave nearby. And I take up my axe and I meet Santa in the field of battle when he comes down from the heavens and through your chimney. And there in your living room, in the hushed silent night, we have a, a, a duel that is, is poised on the edge of the moment of the whisper of wind. It is, it is, it is fast, it is silent, it is unknowable and ancient. And every year, I have to beat his ass so he doesn't come in there and like leave you tons and tons and tons of like evil things, squirming things, writhing things from the far reaches of the edges of space. The terrible, horrible things with tentacles and eyes and teeth. You're welcome. He only leaves you the cool stuff because I stop him from leaving all that other stuff. It's kind of like a reverse robbery. <laughs> At least you have the heart says, Merry Christmas, Ruru Chan. I decided to put you on our team. How do I explain VTubers to your family? Sorry, Alicia's family. I mean, I'm not that sorry. Suffer. <laughs> Thanks for the soup. Are you winning, son? Absolutely not, Jellyfish, but thank you anyway. Thank you for the gifted membership. Normal. Uh, so, yeah. Um, if I'm on the TV and your family can see me, uh, first things first. I'm, I'm in, I'm a real boy. <laughs> I know your mom's like, uh, dear, why is the cartoon talk man talking to us? Uh, I'm a real boy. Uh, that's one. Two. Um, bah humbug. <laughs> so, today we're going to be playing uh, long form Minecraft, by the way. Uh, so, we're going to be doing that. I'm going to be, I'm going to kick it up. We're going to chill out. We're going to, we're going to vibe. We're going to work on the Criminal's Cut, the tavern. Uh, I was helping Shinri yesterday uh, with the uh, Tempest Christmas tree. And during that, I was punching a bunch of leaves and cutting down a bunch of trees. So I got a ton of oak wood to work with. So I've got like stacks and stacks of 64 oak logs. Hold on, my... Uh... What's wrong, bud? Why are you meowing? One second. What's wrong? Ah, uh, you a sweet bee. Go on, go on. Uh, AK says, sup, Ruse. Glad someone's standing up to that giant red bastard. Hey, you can always count on me. I'm going to get Clifford next. Don't worry. <laughs> Shields forever in the naughty list. That's okay. That's where I belong. Bring. No, 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 no. I can't play favoritism. If I bring him on, the other one's going to get mad. <laughs> Go on, bud. Get out of here. What are you doing? What? Come on. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Oh, you're getting chunky, bud. Say hi. You can do it for for Crimsmas just this once. I'll let you. I'll let you hang out. Say hi. No. Now you want to be quiet? All right. I gotta stop giving you so many Christmas treats. Anyway, he said hi. <laughs> What was I talking about? Oh no, I got I got got again by my uh by getting distracted by things. Uh, thank you, banana, and a merry Christmas to you. I think. Thank you for wishing us all lovely holidays. All right, gamers. Uh, so, oh, that's what I was gonna do. I was talking about Minecraft, and I was going to say, uh, quick disclaimer. Obviously, spend time with your family, spend time with your friends. Don't feel obligated to hang out here. I'm gonna be streaming for a while today. I mean, I'm glad to have you here. If you want to be here, we can all just keep each other company on this, the most terrible of holidays. Or, uh, but also rather, you should, you know, take time out to do your Christmas thing. Enjoy your holiday. Cool? Cool. Let me move my, let me move you guys over here. And I'm gonna grab. Minecraft. Listen, if you're not doing anything, that's chill. I'm not doing anything today either. I mean, obviously I'm here hanging out with you, right? <laughs> Oh, I see, I see. You told your husband you had plenty. Oh, man. Imagine explaining that one to the to the partner. <laughs> uh, honey, sorry. I actually have plans. I'm going to go hang out with this uh, 
this weird cookie haired douchebag on the internet. <laughs> He's a real prick. I can't explain it, but something about being around him is uh, somehow torturously appealing. <laughs> Thank you for the gifted uh, memberships, Alicia. Helia says, my cats join me as soon as they heard your voice. Oh, hell yeah. I'm summoning the cats. It's the it's my secret cap. It's my secret power. Aw, oh, detect. Thank you for the soup. Yum, 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 yum. Merry Christmas, Ruz and Ruru Kitty. Thanks for the j thumbnail jump scare. No, thank you for the for the art. Oh, I see, I see. Fair. Oh, I'm taking Santa down. Don't you doubt it, Rennie. Am I saying that right, Rennie? Or is that Ren? I bet that's Ren, actually. I bet I fucked that up. You're not by yourself, Yurihime. You're here. With, with the hollow stars and, and the Rosaders and whoever else you like hanging out with. with. I know there's other people uh, streaming today too. I know like the bat Battalion's going. I think some hollow livers are going. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of different streams going on today. So don't feel lonely. You're still hanging out with a bunch of different communities and stuff. I hope you guys are all making friends with each other in these communities because I think that's how you're going to enjoy it the most. Like, yeah, it's cool watching, uh, you know, us douchebags or whatever, but I think hanging out with each other is going to be the most joy you're going to get out of this stuff. Not that I care. I mean... <laughs> You're not my responsibility. I, whatever. <laughs> Don't make friends. But I think you'll have more fun if you make friends in, in this community. Like most online communities. Christmas treat for the mighty kitten. Thank you, Ronnie. Uh, but he's no kitty pet. He doesn't need your chair. No, he's a big kitty pet. He's like the softest cat you've ever seen. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Thank you, Berserk King. Hey, no problem. I wouldn't call that a gift more than me doing my utmost to ruin your holiday. Still waiting on the cat picks on the members community forum? Don't you worry, Sarah. You're going to get those cat picks. Don't test me. I just got to wrangle them all up together. Thank you for the gifted membership. Okay, let's get the song going, and then I'm going to get the game going. Who stops at one cat, Susan? Uh, One second. I just got to get the... Thing working. Hold on, everybody. I gotta get the wires plugged in right. I gotta get my CRTV plugged into my uh, Nintendo 75. Otherwise, you can't watch. I hope I did that right. Did I do that right? It doesn't look like I did that right. Did I do that right? I did that right. I'm so smart. Never mind. All right, we're about to have a vibe shift once the music here changes over to Minecraft time. Hey, thank you for upgrading the membership over to Rusader. Menacing Meow. Dang, that's a menacing meow right there. Thank you, Alicia, for the gifted. Over to Mari Arakawa. Okay, Minecraft, I'm going to need you. You know what? Hang out with Zephyr for a second. I'm going to see if there's a setting in Minecraft I could do to, like, loop music permanently. I'm tired of music only sometimes looping. Music, music, directional audio, master volume. There's no, like, music frequency button. I guess I could turn off the music and just turn on the chill BGM. Man! Say Merry Crims, Mr. Zephyr! Welcome in, Central Dogma, which is not like a dragon's dogma, technically. Thank you for the upgrade, Ace Tori. Tora? Tori? Tora Oni. I combined your two names. Whoops. And the gifted memberships. Normal Mar says, Happy holiday. Just the one holiday? Minecraft music hates me, so I guess I'm going to turn it off and turn on just our chill music. We're just going to, we're going to vibe today with chill music. How's that sound? All right, Zephyr, move out of the way. Is it nighttime out there? I think Shinri Senpai's on right now, but I don't think Shinri Senpai's on right now. Let's find out. Which means we're gonna just gonna have to survive nighttime on our own and work on the tavern, you know, during the day. I do need to sleep so that the nightmares will go away, but um, that's not happening because Shinri's on right now. So instead, I guess we'll just we'll just chat during the night and we'll wait for daylight. How's that sound? So last time we played, what I said I wanted to. Oh, hold on, I'm missing memberships. Yeah. Thank you for the for the memberships. Um, thank you for the gift of membership, Alicia. Thank you for the delicious soup with the little cat, Vizodi. Oh man, what an axehole! Thank you, Shepard. All right, we did it. So we're gonna treat uh, nighttime like Zatsudans until I hear things beginning to die when the when the harsh rays of the wrathful sun comes into the sky and melts the sin straight from their bones. 
Uh, but for now, it's night, and I hear the crawling things, and the writhing things, and the tilled earth as corpses crawl forth from beneath. Below? Beneath? Yeah, that's what we wanted to say. I'm gonna get this waxing poetic thing down. Don't you worry about it. Hey, bud, see you later. Whoa, is that an axle? Thank you, Ella. Ten get- Ooh, thank you, Abby. For the gifted, you're too kind to these Rusaders. Oh, also, I went and got another, uh, I found an ender chest in there that allowed me to grab my other two ender chests from inside of it, as well as all my old gear. But, uh, like I said, we're doing this right, and I'm not going to really use the charity of, uh, others to build this. So, I'm just going to take this out of here and, uh, take my cobblestone that I mined out of here and leave the rest. Like, I don't want the diamond gear. Um, nice gifts. Thank you. Thank you, Ari, for the five gifted memberships. Hey, uh, don't go wild now. If this is your Christmas money or whatever... You hold on to that. You buy yourself a PS5. <laughs> you get yourself Demon Souls, because that's the only way you could play it, because they don't love me, and they don't want to put it on PC, because they want me to suffer, and they want me to be sad. Dude, I hope Final Fantasy 16 comes out on PC soon. Uh, what snacks do I have for the holiday? I've got a little charcuterie board. Um, I also reheated some uh, stuck shells, and later tonight, I'm probably going to make myself a... I'm probably going to have, like, a pork loin... Maybe some mashed potatoes, steamed broccoli. I don't know yet. I'll figure it out. Late 2024? Late? Ah, they hate me. Ooh, pot roast. That sounds pretty good. You know, when I, when I had Christmas with my family, it was usually a tradition to make a ham and a turkey. And man, that honey glazed ham would go hard. That whole baked ham, man. But they would also always do that nasty, weird uh, cranberry uh, sludge log. You know what I'm talking about? That goopy little fucking uh, slime monster that would like ooze forth from within its tin prison. I was never fond of that junk, but I did like the mashed potatoes and the potato salad and the pasta salad and the ham. Oh man, that went hard. Uh, Merry Christmas to you and yours and to all the Rosaders from me and Pat Kitte's Spaz, Bugaboo, RBG, Floof, and Ico. Beautiful. You have five? Five? Okay, Nixie. Impressive. Getting on the cat tree. One second. I need to I need to pull back the curtain so he has something to look at. He's gonna get bored. I like to turn on his sh he, I like to turn on his shows for him, which is the window. I'll be right back. say I didn't do anything for you, you little bastard. All right. I'm back. God, I hate that little guy. I hope he doesn't mistake my, my doting over him for love. Ew. <laughs> I would never. Man, it's still nighttime. That's fine. I guess we can just shoot the shit, right? I need to raise this roof one, and that's gonna be super annoying. I'm gonna be really sad about that. No, no, I'm not a good cat dad. Nah, nah, I torture him. I make him wait to eat his food, and uh, sometimes, if I'm really feeling bad, um, I won't even like make his little bed for him on the edge of my bed. Yeah, I do like that. Then he just has to like lay on the foot of the bed. <laughs> How many cats do I have for real? That's a secret. It's a Leaco. Uh, Le Le Leakios. That's what I meant. Leakios. <laughs> or my chest? No, that's the other one. The one who's built like a brick, brick shit house. Ugh. Sleeps on my chest every night. It's like having a sleep paralysis cat. I don't know why that cat weighs so much, but it's not like he's like overweight. I think he's just built solid. Like he's got really big shoulder bones 
Uh, you know how when cats like crouch, you can see the muscles on their back? That cat is built like a fucking panther. I'm like, why are you so solid, dude? Well, I'm going to pronounce it Istalia Kios. Or is it Kios? It's probably Kios. Fuck! All right. Well, you know what? I, I got close enough. Is it sunlight out? Ah! Almost. Almost. Hey, you know what I don't need? Is these shears. I'm not going to need those where I'm going. Uh, look at all this wood! So, we're going to start today off uh, with a little bit less cozy content. Because I do need to head down into the mines. Where I'm going to get some iron to make a pickaxe. Yes, I will be making windows eventually. Oh, we're going to go mining. Into the mines of Maria. He called it a mine. A mine. <laughs> I can't do a good Gimli. I, I love Gimli's voice. I forgot Gimli's actor's name, though, for some reason. It escapes me, which is weird because he's like... A pretty cool dude. Uh, my pet pig, Pixie, has a new Oshi. She really likes your voice and always uh, wants to jump up on the couch to watch it with you when she hears you. That's adorable, Menacing Meow. That's adorable. I hear pigs make really good pets. I had a pig when I was a kid, but he was a real asshole. Well, I didn't have a pig. My dad had a pig. That pig was mean as fuck. That pig tried to eat me multiple times. But he was like a big old pig. He wasn't like a little, like, pygmy pig. That's a big pig. Am I a pig whisperer? No. So it's like a quill, a quill boar, a quill pig. You know those weird pigs that like have the giant like bone thorns growing out of their back that grow in Southern Elysium? Yeah, those guys are dicks. Anyway, he grew to a really big size. I guess your, your equivalent would probably be like a pot belly pig. Uh, he's pretty massive, especially since I was such a like a little kid. Uh, and man, this pig was mean. I don't know what got on his bad side, but he was mean as hell. Okay, you guys. Ah! Really? The front door? That's it. You're getting axed. You're getting axed. You dick. Thank you for the delicious soup. Uh, I trap, neuter, and release the colony strays and work on taming them to bring them inside because I'm a giant softy and pets uh, over people all day. Good. You should be doing that because otherwise they're going to go absolutely wild and then they'll hurt the like natural ecosystem, etc., etc. Here I am in Southern Elysium. A lot of people still like pick up strays uh, and treat them as mousers, but a lot of times they don't get them spayed or neutered and that can create a big problem. Um, personally, I'm not big on outdoor cats. I don't feel like it's like necessary anymore, but I know a lot of people take good care of them. So, you know, if you're responsible about it, I guess, and you know, you keep a good eye on them and you don't let them like overpopulate, it can work. It's just, it can be dangerous to your local ecosystem. Uh, Bambi, thank you for the 20 gifted memberships and Lane, thank you for the soup. Merry Christmas to them. Hell yeah. Thank you very much uh, for the... Oh, don't, 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 don't! For the memberships. Please not my front door, dude. Woo! Why not lower the floor? So the thing with lowering the floor in Minecraft, I feel like, is often when you lower the floor, what you have to do is you have to... Um, you have to... Uh, sword I'm looking for drop it half a, a tier and then use um planks right or like half blocks whatever the fuck you call those I can't remember anymore I, and it's not planks it's like um platforms you use platforms you drop it half a tier and use platforms but then none of the furniture sits right right and I don't have to do that I could drop it a full block and just use stairs but then you like go down as you go in and I don't know that just feels weird to me I've always thought that felt strange like it feels a little off thank you Jax for the delicious soup Oh, Krampus is coming for you. Don't doubt it. Don't doubt it. Uh, but you know what? As long as uh, you are uh, obeying Krampus's Christmas traditions, you'll be okay. Just don't do not be naughty, little Jax, or whatever a German accent sounds like. Krampus is German, right? Isn't that a German tradition? Am I making that up? Uh, I will shout the pup. Oh, well, there goes Shinry. <laughs> Thank you for the soup. Uh, owie. Uh, my brother's mini stray, uh, mini stray cat names. Katarina, Idia, Samatoki, Juto, Tokia, Rin, Sukasa, and my one dog, Aiji. 
says, hi. We tend to name them after anime characters if you can't tell. I can tell. It's okay. When I rescued one of my cats, he was named after an anime character too, but I will not say his name for I will not bring that evil into this house. <laughs> Thank you, Bambi, for the delicious soup. I changed his name. Uh, happy holidays. Currently at work, so I'll sadly... Work? Today? That's rough, but you know what? That's okay. I hope you enjoy it anyway. And uh, thank you for stopping by for, uh, and dropping off a bunch of memberships for everybody else. Look at you, a regular Santa yourself, Bambi. They should have called you Rudolph. <laughs> and thank you for the soup. Rat bastard. Hey, a person after my own taste says, Happy holidays. Currently making a soup. I didn't even plan this, but hey, soup's one of the easiest things to make, honestly. Put a bunch of tasty shit in a pot and boil it all to hell. Hell yeah, it is. Hell yeah, it is. I wouldn't call what I'm doing working. I mean, yes, it's working technically. Like, don't get me wrong. Streaming is its own form of job, but I do not consider what I, it's not, I've done enough like manual labor jobs that it's hard for me to call this working. Plus it's like, yeah, if you guys were like a bunch of super like obtuse douchebags and you made my life hell, maybe this would be like work. But I mean, you guys are pretty cool. You're cool to each other. And it's hard to ask for more It's like, a. I hesitate to say the word content creator because it sounds, um, it sounds kind of self-important, but as somebody who like provides content, I guess it's, it's hard to ask for much more than that. Not that I could tolerate you little assholes, but as long as you're nice to each other, that's good enough. Holiday pay do be tasty. You're not wrong about that. I also enjoy taking Christmas shifts when I can. Um, obviously not, like, uh, depending on the job, really. But, like, most of the time, you get time and a half. And that's, mm, that's good soup right there. <laughs> what the? No! Floating trees, my enemy. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Why are you floating? Down! There's no wood near you. Get down. Oh, it's just now rendering in to disappear. I see. Can't stand that shit. It's like my Minecraft pet peeve. Ooh, sticks. Hello, little pigs. I will farm you one day, but today is not that day. I don't have room for a farm. I'm making a tavern first. I'll make a farm later. Gotta get that flint. Nah, it'll go away on its own after a minute. I think it's just because I wasn't in the area, so it wasn't registering that it was out of wood to, like, preserve the leaves. So it should now start to rot itself. Yeah, they're rotten. Zuppa Toscana. I don't know what that is, but it sounds tasty. Chocolate-covered Oreo balls. Okay. Welcome in, Shadow Cat. You're not late. I've never had chocolate covered Oreo balls, but that sounds pretty tasty. I should have left this stuff behind back at home just in case I get too much materials, but uh, we'll make do. Uh, yeah, I might hex fan. I haven't decided yet. I feel like that's kind of um. I mean, obviously, this isn't something that, like, Shinri Senpai would say, because I don't think he feels this way. I think he's very, very, uh, he's very polite, very kind, and would be happy for me to put a, uh, hollow Armus, uh, design on the tree. But I feel like that's, like, a Tempest tree. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to step on that, and that's cool. Uh, but I might. We'll see. Maybe on, like, the backside. Square toe. Holy, um, you know what? Maybe holy shit is a little profane for... Christmas. Holy moly! Thank you for the Crim Zupo. I hope you enjoy your holiday too, and I hope you have delicious food and hang out with your loved ones. Thank you very much. Uh, that That's very kind of you. Don't go... <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Woohoo! I'm getting better at this. Uh, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Here's soup. Mmm, soup. Delicious. Thank you, Seasoned Salt. You didn't burn your Christmas turkey. Congratulations! Thank you, Leah, for the Merry Crisis! Love. All right, let's not go. Let, listen, you and Marley better save your love for each other. <laughs> Thank you for wishing me uh, fun. Enjoy listening in. And hey, maybe when you're done with festivities, you could pop by later. We'll see. I'll be going for a while today. It's okay, gamers. If you're at work, if you're hanging out with family, no pressure. Like I said, it's chill. I'm going to be here for a bit. I have no fucking plan freaking plans today. Um, 
It's Christmas. It's Crimsmas. It's Crimsmas. And what kind of Crimsmas mascot would I be if I wasn't here criming it up with you? If I wasn't being a criminal with the rest of you? <laughs> Welcome to Axe Holes, Mika. And thank you. Ooh, a walk sounds really nice. It's actually not that cold here, which is a bummer. I was really hoping it would snow, but no luck. Candle Nights! Oh, okay, we're still celebrating Candle Nights! Respect! Good reference, I like that pantacular. Uh, I hope you're visited by Terry the non-denominational gift-giving dragon. Honestly, same. I've been so good this year, please. That's why I'm Taco from TV. Uh, thank you for the soup. Here's your time and a half soup. Wow! Thank you, Sukiko. <laughs> you don't have to pay my overtime, but uh, that's very, very kind of you. Lancelot Deluke. That's a good name. Dulac, I mean. That's a good name. Welcome in. Feels like it hasn't snowed in 5,000 years. Well, here in Southern Elysium, it's a little hot for snow, but I was still hoping, you know? Oh, shit, it turns into terracotta down here. That's a bit of a bummer, actually. I was hoping for, oop, there we go, iron. Perfect. There we go. Nice. Middle of summer. Oh, that's rough. I guess that makes sense, though. I always wondered how that works, you know what I mean? Because there's like seasons everywhere, obviously. So some places are gonna be like summer during Christmas, I guess, but the calendar stays the same, right? Globally, so is there some places that just celebrate Christmas and summer, I wonder? Yes. Huh. I mean, that's kind of wild, right? I mean, it's kind of cool, don't get me wrong, but it's also like, huh, Christmas and summer. Oh, there's a jungle out there. I forgot there was a jungle so close to me. Let's look for another uh, small cave to dig down into. Um, I don't want to go to my quarry because that's all stone, really. Well, this is different. This isn't my usual quarry. Holy shit. I'm that close to this? That's scary. Well, got to keep that in mind and not fall in there. Thank you for the five gifted. Darn it. Dare demo Daisuki. Anywhere under the equator. Mm -hmm, mm hmm. I see. Shut your mouth. Ah! <laughs> Unfortunately, my ping is just bad enough that those guys can just get in range before I hit them. Really? Okay, well, that was weird. I guess I could go down here. It's like just gold, but there is a path down there. Unless, is that my quarry? I think that might be my quarry, actually. Ah! I think I've been down there. That's definitely the tunnel I dug out. It's too clean, so we're going to leave that alone. Aha. Ought there be something in here, map? Happy holidays, favorite Merc. A coin for the Christmas season. Hopefully make the soup taste better. Yum, 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 yum. Have you ever experienced Gaia Online or Dungeon Fighter Online? I played a little bit of Gaia Online when I was a kid, or whatever. Uh, I played Gaia, a little bit of Gaia Online a while ago, and um, I never really got into it. I guess I couldn't really understand what was going on or what the appeal was. Um, 
But I thought it looked cool. I never really did anything in it, but yeah, I remember it, yeah. Never played Dungeon Fighter online, though. <sighs> Bros just dress up in forums. Yeah, I guess I thought there was going to be gameplay or something, you know? Because people around me would talk about how cool it was or whatever. It'd be like, oh, you got to play this. You got to play this. It's, it's really cool. This guy online. I was like, oh, okay, okay. And then when I went to play it, I was like, I don't understand what the gameplay is. Like, what am I supposed to be doing? Uh, Gaia was fun, but it's difficult to get back. It's still going? Holy shit. I never played Pop Tropica. I, I think I've heard it a couple times, but I never ended up getting a chance to play it. RP'd on Gaia? <laughs> That's actually pretty cool, though. I think that people that RP'd back in the day typically make pretty good writers, depending. I mean, obviously, it depends on if they decided to hone their skill or whatever. Like, I remember uh, I used to go on to roleplay boards or whatever, way younger than I should have been on the roleplay boards. And uh, it was pretty chill, actually. It was a lot of fun, as long as you stuck to the right stuff. I know there was a Pokemon one I used to go on once in a while. Uh, that was pretty cool. I had this Zubat that I absolutely loved. It was cool. Isn't that a cool math? Oh. God, I love Zubat. Too bad I'm not a huge fan of Golbat. Crobat, on the other hand. Mm. Goldshire? No. So the thing is, I didn't know that WoW had um, role-playing until, like, my older sister convinced me to get uh, into WoW again around Mists of Pandaria because I gave it up around Cataclysm. I only ended up playing it for a few years, honestly. Like, I wish WoW had been a bigger part of my childhood, but I, I missed Classic. I only caught the very tail end of uh, Burning Crusade, and I caught most of Wrath, but I never got to, like, raiding tier. I just didn't have time, or maybe I was just uh, too, too much of a goober or too much of a kid to really, like, focus enough to get there. I just kept making alts. Uh, but when I got back into it in Mists of Pandaria, there was, like, some add-on you could put on WoW that, uh, gave you, like, a tab on your character, right? That people could click, and it would show, like, your role, your RP description of your character, and, like, how old they are or whatever, and, uh, like, what their place is in the world. I thought that was the coolest shit, because it turned it into, like, a walking, almost d and light, where you had, like, a character sheet attached to you, and people were all over the place role-playing. Um... And that was really cool until I learned what Goldshire was. Um, and that was less cool, which is fine. I mean, do what you want. Get your rocks off, dude. Have fun. Uh, I'm not, I, I I mean, it takes a certain level of confidence. Maybe I just don't have, or I don't want to participate in to do that, but uh, good for them, honestly, good for them. <laughs> I was a little flabbergasted when I came across that. Uh, Michael Salmon, thank you for the delicious, delicious soup and your your first soup. Um, Thank you. Mm, 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 mm. The first soup is the sweetest. Uh, finish a long day at work. Glad to finally be able to make it live for my least favorite idol streams. Hope uh, to be awakened up for the tomorrow stream. Hell yeah. Thank you for the soup. Hopefully work was chill. Hopefully you're getting that time and a half. Yeah, Goldshire was something else. Um, So to make sense of it, uh, four X or four by the sweets. Basically, Goldshire is just an area that is early on in the human settlement, and most players play humans, so it's pretty natural that any ERPers on WoW would end up there eventually, because they didn't want to level enough to go somewhere dangerous and get down to, like, actual business. A lot of people were just creating new characters to go do their ERP or whatever, I think. I think this is the history of it, right? This seems like the natural way it formed. Um, so it makes sense that it would be an early game area, but it also needed to be a central hub. And that's one of the first places the human characters like condense themselves to pick up quests. So you probably just got people making alts, eventually winding up there and just being like, well, there's a lot of people running around here. So if I'm going to ERP, I'm just going to be here. And it just got a reputation for it. Plus there's like an inn with beds there. So I guess people just decided this is where we're going to do this. Thank you for upgrading to Rusader Fauna. Caledonia. So yeah, that's what that ended up as. Which is a shame, because I really like the human starting area. I don't have like a personal emotional attachment to it. I mostly played Blood Elves. But when I did play Alliance, I played a lot of humans and the occasional Night Elf. So I have an attachment to it. Also, for some reason, the dwarf starting area, which is weird because I've never played a dwarf or a gnome. Um, but something about mountains just really calls to me. Big snowy mountains.
Oh, yeah, there was a specific... Yeah, you're right. Moonguard was the specific server where all those players would gather in Goldshire. Oh, I'm sure. I am 1 million percent sure there's an area like that in Final Fantasy XIV. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? When Final Fantasy XIV came out, I guarantee 90% of the ERP populace dropped WoW immediately and went over there. <laughs> and more power to them. Mesky. Oh, thank you for the creme zupa. Yum, 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 yum. That's good soup. Soup, soup. <laughs> Final Fantasy XIV Balmung. Do you know what's wild? Is I had people convince me to get on Balmung after they finally harassed me to getting into Final Fantasy XIV. I was like, fine, I'll give it a try. I'm like, what server do I play on? They're like, get on Balmung. It'll be great. I'm like, why Balmung? What's the difference? They're like, oh, it's just in your time zone or whatever. I was like, fine. So I got on Balmung and that was okay, actually. I've never had a bad experience. Honestly, I kind of like roleplay servers. I go out of my way to get on RP PvP servers now in MMOs because one thing you're going to find that's really cool in RP servers, and I found this in Final Fantasy XIV, is that A, the roleplayers are very respectful, right? Like they're never going to, most of the time, they're not going to be roleplaying in public, especially not ERP. They keep that to their uh, whispers or whatever. So you don't see it. That's one. But two, the world feels alive. Like, I went to weird corners of the map doing quests in Final Fantasy XIV where you would expect it to be super empty. But because there's a cabin at the end of this fucking jungle in the middle of nowhere, two people are treating that as their personal, like, we're, we're having a vacation, whatever, date night ERP or probably or whatever. So I see these two people just sitting in there, just players sitting in the cabin staring out at the sunset. I'm sure they're having a romantic moment. But to me, it creates the verisimilitude of a lived-in world. Like, I'm like, oh, there's just people out here in this jungle in an empty NPC shack for no reason. I'm like, that's pretty cool. Like, if they had been, like, fucking, like, <laughs> thrust into you aggressively, like, that would suck. But they were obviously keeping it respectful in their whispers or whatever, even though nobody was around, which was cool. So to me, it was just two people existing in the world, and that made it feel more like a lived-in world. It was pretty cool. <laughs> sorry <laughs> oh sorry families at uh, uh christmas if you have me on the tv take me off now <laughs> hey welcome in cosmic afro <laughs> i'm sorry i did that to you let's go find another cave and get some uh get some ore My family's used to it. I'm so sorry. What the hell? What the hell? That's just down here? That's not good. This is too, too close to home. Well, I guess I could use it as a farming spawner. So I've never actually done farming in this game because I uh, I like to play the game, uh, air quotes, raw. Like, I don't ever make... um I don't ever make iron farms or wood farms or anything. If I can't find it on the land, I don't touch it. Um, and I know people make EXP farms out of, like, spawners, but I don't know how that works because I've never looked it up or done it, so... Maybe I'll leave it for now, so I can make a spawn or uh, a farm for the boys later. Oh, you know what's happening there, Carmezzi. Sorry. You know what's happening. Some people are not subtle. It is what it is. And they're probably using their mods. There's some pretty wild Final Fantasy XIV mods out there. Woo, be careful. Be careful. Honestly, I'm sure that's true of any MMO, though. Like, yeah, Final Fantasy XIV has a reputation for it, so it's a little upfront that those things exist. But I promise you, I bet you $500,000 500, or whatever that World of Warcraft has mods for, like, models like that or, like, you know, NSFW content. I'm sure, like, uh, whatever Terra did. I'm sure, uh, you know... Um, Ragnarok, everything, everything probably has it. Everything probably has it. Guild Wars 2, etc., etc. I started making uh, boar noises at random because of you. <laughs> Thank you for giving another way to terrorize my friends. Hey, always do the, the little snarl. Do a little snarl. You got to do it. When you're being like the little douchebag e-boy, you got to do it. You got to like lead off with, get back in the DMs, kitten. 
Blessed Yule Ruse, this soup comes laced with Celtic magic and includes ingredients passed down from generations. It may cause indigestion. Thank you for the delicious magic. I will drink deep of the of the nectar of the druids. Merry Christmas! Christmas? Crimsmas. Sorry. Oh, I'm gonna do that again. I'm sorry. You're gonna have to get used to it. While you were busy ERPing, I studied the blade. Okay, so I've traveled around. I've seen a few of the caves. There's a giant, giant cavern I don't want to go down in, but this is that little, like, tiny cut cave. Uh, and I think I could probably pretty safely delve down here for a bit and see how deep this goes. So let's go ahead and drop off one of my torches. Um, and we're just going to go down a bit and see what we can find. If, if this goes far enough down, we might be able to find like a little uh, baby cavern with iron in it. And that would be ideal. Unless, nope, this might just be a little cut out of the earth. Okay, never mind. We're going down. I can't sing any more of that or I'll get in trouble. Yeah, there's nothing down here. Wow, it's actually just a little cut out of the earth. Wild. Um, hmm. What about over here? I was really hoping I could find a, uh, hmm. A cave. This music puts me in such a zen mode. Dual wield! Behold my power! I have the fastest reaction times on the server, and all women inexplicably love me. <laughs> they call me Isekai Man. Hmm. I'll figure it out. This place is kind of cool, actually. I've never built in a desert or a mesa in Minecraft, so I'm excited. Set to the tune of Pepsi Man. <laughs> I'm kidding. There's some really good isekai out there. I don't want to clown on all the... I, I, isekai is like an easy punching bag and an easy target. It's not fair that I like always clown on it, but you got to admit that sometimes it has some pretty lazy writing tropes. I mean, like, I get it. Everybody wants to like live in the fantasy that like... uh you know, everybody's secretly super attracted to their MLG gamer skills or whatever. Um, and that if they were like thrown into a fantasy world, they'd be able to hold their own. But the reality is you'd probably cut yourself on like a farming tool and die of cholera in like two days. <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you, uh, fantasy worlds aren't as cool as they sound. Um, and no, you're not secretly like the most charming motherfucker in the universe because you have uh, good video game skills. Like good video game skills are nice, but uh, you're gonna wanna work on your uh, emotional maturity if you wanna be charming. <laughs> However, there are some very good isekais that kind of turn that trope on its head. Um, I think that there's actually really, really good isekais out there that have good writing and kind of play around with that notion itself with the typical like, um, isekai formula to make itself interesting in a way that couldn't exist without that formula first existing to subvert, right? I want to fight those guys, but I have no shield and no armor. Also, I don't see any iron down there, but this is a pretty big cave. So a part of me really wants to go explore it. These guys are really like hanging on tight to each other. I mean, I love it. I love the, the friendship you guys got going on. That's beautiful. Um, better love story than Twilight or whatever, but can you please come here so I can kill you? Thank you. Like, without confronting your buddy at the same time? Ah, I broke my axe! Oh, I have another one. Never mind. Oh, I borrowed this from Shinry. Whoops. Ah! My ass! You shot my dog! You threw my dog in the fire! Oh, come on, man! Can't it be like a fucking creeper or something? Why is this ke cave full of skeletons? The hell is going on?
You're mine now, baby. Done. Why is it so light in here? Is that something to do with the shaders? I guess the shaders that we have on this server are, are uh, really bright, even in dark places. I feel like this cave is like perfectly easy to see in, which is kind of a bummer because it defeats the point of having torches to a degree. But I mean, whatever, teach their own. I'm treating this as a really casual Minecraft playthrough. I tend to be like a, a bit of a Luddite in Minecraft and uh, I probably shouldn't try to like force that on the, uh, the way this server works. Feliz Navidad te... Ooh, maybe I shouldn't read that. I don't know what that says. Just in case. Uh, Feliz Navidad to you as well. Ow! Oh, shit. I might die here, actually. Yeah, I think I'm dead here. Please get hit. Oh, server lag. How you vex me. Oh, how you vex me. How you vex me. Oh, boy. Ugh. Well, Remorium, part of why you're probably bouncing off Minecraft is you might see it as too simplistic. There might be a part of you uh, that just wants a little more depth from Minecraft. And honestly, I agree. Uh, I think Minecraft itself is just a little um, too... It lacks a long enough gameplay loop to keep me invested and entertained. Um, but I think that you could find that uh, same feeling through other survival games or making Minecraft harder on purpose. You could play a couple mod packs like uh, Hardcore Minecraft or what is it called? Uh, Minecraft IRL or something like that. Or is it Fantasy IRL? I don't know. Anyway, uh, you could try that out. You could play a game I've been playing recently. What is it called? There's a game I've been playing that's like super duper hardcore Minecraft. I wonder if I can get perms for it. It's called Vintage Story. It's in Alpha. And that game, that takes it far. And I don't mean... I don't mean like a little bit. Like you start that game finding chunks of, uh, thank you for the membership, Meliana. Melian God damn it. I knew I could say that, but I was struggling. Uh, so when I say it takes it far, what it does is you start out, right? Having to find flint on the ground and then you have to knack it. Like you have to hit the flint together to make the shape of a blade. And then you got to use that blade to cut grass and then use that grass to make thread to tie your blade to a to a stick. And then you use that to cut down like other stuff. And then you can knack out the shape of like an ax head out of flint. And then eventually you're going to find yourself um, finding like copper pieces laying near rivers or you could even create like a little sifting pan to like silt the, the, the gravel at the bottom of a river to find copper. But... Before you can make that, you have to find a clay deposit, dig it up either by hand or with a flint shovel, and then you're going to have to make a peat moss, like, kiln with this clay. You have to take the clay, shape it into a pot, but you can't use it yet because it's still clay, so you have to dig a hole, fill it with all of your pottery that is unformed, fill that with, like, peat moss and grass, and then fill the top of that with sticks, light it on fire, let it burn for 24 hours before it hardens, and then you can use that clay kiln to fire the charcoal which you have to make the charcoal too so you have to bury a bunch of logs and let it cook underground in a giant charcoal pit for a long time but you got to make sure you aerate it so it doesn't all just burn to ash isn't that wild it's pretty cool and that's not rl craft that's vintage story but rl craft takes it pretty far too and that's just before you get to the copper age all right where's that skeleton i want round two you and your buddy almost fucked me up and now i'm back for vengeance It's fun in its own way, but it's definitely very um, tedious. I would I played it alone, and it does it does get grindy, and that could be annoying. I feel like that's the type of game that super duper uh, relies on having buddies to play with, so that you can kind of like have division of labor. Because I mean, that's how humanity eventually came to their level of uh, sentience and technological advancement, right? You eventually start distributing the task to other people, so that everybody can work on their own thing that they're good at, uh, and that's what what's that sound? That was weird. Uh, that's what eventually leads to people like advancing their technology. Having one person surviving in that way, super duper hard. Uh, I feel like that game would be a lot of fun if one person was like sifting, you know, ore deposits in the river and one person was working on hunting constantly to keep you alive and one person was working on other stuff, etc., etc. 
Average dwarf activities? Don't make me break out Dwarf Fortress. Oh, you know what I got perms for? the? Oh, I'll, I'll tell you later. It's going to be a surprise. I got, I got Christmas perms. A Christmas present. Shikamane messaged me with new perms. I will uh, warn you, the game I'm going to be talking about is a little grindy. It's not super world buildy, but it is a very cool... Um, it is a very cool, very fun to play RTS. So I think that uh, if you don't like that, it might be a little uh, raw to watch, but I think we could have fun with it. I think we can make it work. It's uh, no, no. It's like an RTS 4X combo. Man, this is all copper. I wish there was more iron down here. We'll keep looking. Let's keep it moving. I am finding a lot of coal, which is actually kind of nice. I do need coal. That's a lot of creepers. I probably shouldn't just leave them down there. It is not Stellaris. Ooh, I wish it was Stellaris. Stellaris is so fun, but man, Stellaris is so numbers heavy that it would basically be, uh, like, I don't think you guys would be able to focus on it for very long. I can't focus on it for very long. Like, if I play Stellaris, I go into a vegetative 10-hour state of absolute silence as I look at my spreadsheets and numbers. I think it's a fun game, but man, making that a content game, like a game that you enjoy watching, could be pretty difficult, honestly. I'm not saying it's impossible, but it would definitely be hard. Dude, why are there so many of you today? Go away. So Faster Than Light's actually, I would argue it's not necessarily an RTS. I guess it kind of is. No, no EVE Online. I will not be playing EVE Online. Uh, so the Copper Ore is actually a shader that's making it do that. Um, not my favorite thing, but again, we're treating this pretty casually, and it does make it easier to just chat with you guys while I'm playing, so I can kind of mindlessly just, like, look around and, like, my eyes spot the ore before my brain really has to, like, focus on it or dig around or, like, make actual paths. So that's kind of nice in its own way. I will say this mod makes content creation for Minecraft a lot easier. Uh, let's make ourselves an iron pickaxe, shall we? Welcome in, Countess Lita. What's this about Spreadsheet Online? Oh, we were talking a little bit about Spreadsheet Online. Not a lot of bit, though. All right, we're going to hang out here for a second in a corner where I'm relatively safe-ish and can see any enemies approaching, and I'll chat with you. Uh, so the game I got permission for is um, Total Warhammer. So I'm excited to play that. Oh, there's more to do with copper. Wow, that's exciting. Okay, yeah, there's a couple people who are fans. All right, good, good. If for, so for, the, for those of you who are unfamiliar, right? What the hell just happened? Oh. Okay. Um, 180 seconds, so three minutes. I had better go ahead and make my thing now. The server's about to restart, so I'm just gonna make my pickaxe because I'm a little scared that when the server restarts, there's gonna be a bunch of mobs out here, so I'm gonna bury myself a bit, and we will take a peek out here when it's uh, time. I'm gonna light this up just a bit to make it less likely mobs spawn right on top of me. So I at least have a bit of distance to play around with if they do spawn so I can kite while I'm, uh, you know, battling my way back out. Estrella, Draco, welcome. Thanks for the membership. Okay, so we'll just put this down and that should be safe enough, theoretically. Yeah, thank you, Shikamane, for the perms. So, uh, Total Warhammer is just Total War Warhammer. Uh, it is probably my favorite fantasy 4X game, period, because Warhammer Fantasy has a ton of potential uh, as a world, and it's rarely realized. But I think in the Total War setting, it realizes itself really well uh, through the interesting ways that it plays around with politics, right? Because uh, it, it, it's fun, because in a typical 4X game, you're, um, you're doing a lot of diplomacy, 
But in the sense of a fantasy 4X game, there's some characters that just won't do diplomacy or don't want to do diplomacy, right? So for example, there's an entire faction that's all vampires. So their idea of diplomacy is very, very different. And the way they play the world map is different too, because they work on vampiric corruption. Like any area that is bordering their territory starts to get vampiric outbreaks around it. Like vampire vampirism starts to spread around them like a plague, which is super cool because then you get this weird push and pull of like, you know, if you're near a human area, the humans are trying to slow down the vampiric outbreak and don't want these people on their borders because the vampires are slowly spreading vampirism. Meanwhile, the vampires are trying to like keep the humans from getting too aggressive uh, before they can really conquer that area and turn it all undead slash vampire. Grom the Paunch, uh, we will see Kiyoshi. I'm a big lizard man stan. Uh, but I could be convinced to do something else. Typically, I play Lizardmen or um, Wood Elves, but I would I would definitely play the Empire, um, and I could be convinced to play others. I tried a Skaven round once, but I eh, it was okay. It was it wasn't my favorite. Like zombies, so zombies and vampires are intrinsically tied in that setting. Uh, Norway zombies and vampires are basically uh, basically the same. I'm just gonna go to the main scene for a second. I'm gonna leave Minecraft on uh, and watch it, but I don't want the server to like reset and I don't know, show server info without you guys or that I'm not supposed to show you guys. I don't know how that works. So I'm just gonna wait until it resets over here. We'll hang out here for a minute. Vampire Coast Pirate Run. I tried that, Kyo, but I feel like their army is just really limited. I struggle to have fun with it. It's fun for like one or two battles and then I get bored. I don't want to be a giant rat that makes all the rules. <laughs> Listen, I like the rats okay, but I played a lot of Vermintide. I like killing the rats more than I like being the rats. Because it's cozy and you're sleepy, MK. That's why it's you're falling asleep at this time. Yep, I knew it. Mobs are spawning behind me and in front of me. It was good that I lit this area up. Okay, where are we? Uh, VTM, what's VTM? We could do a lizard man run. I think my first run might be humans because I think the humans are definitely the, the bog standard of how you play the game, right? And I don't mean that in a boring way. Humans have some of the most variety in the way they could build their armies. It's actually insane. Like you could do like full like you know, mercenaries or like land schnecks or like uh, cavalry and knights and stuff. You could do gunners and like super long range, or like long bows and a focus on guns and like artillery and Gatling guns. You could do uh, actual tanks, I believe, like old school fantasy, like steam powered tanks. Uh, you could do like classic foot soldier, like charge in. Uh, you could do griffin riders. There's a lot of variety in the way the humans could play. You could do wizards and shit. Um, but. Uh, as far as the way their 4X gameplay works, it's very standard in that it's a lot of politics. It's a lot of like trade routes, making sure that you keep good uh, relationships with your human neighbors and sometimes with your other neighbors. Like you don't want to piss off the dwarves immediately uh, or the elves for that matter or the Bretons because there's multiple human factions with different cultures and different armies. Um, so that's pretty cool. I think that to show you how the game works, it would be wise to start with the humans, but we'll see. We'll see. Dwarves are your friends, unless you piss them off. Ow! Where are you shooting me from? What? Down there? How? I've never played Shadow of the Colossus or God of War, actually. I would be interested in playing both or either. Come closer, my friend, that I might hit you with my axe. Haha, <laughs> dick. Assholes. All right, where were we? Mm -mm -mm. Man, it's really lacking an iron out here, huh? I 
I have no idea what Papa's Freezeria is. How into Pokemon are you? I'm pretty fucking into Pokemon. Uh, but, uh... I'm limited in how much I'm allowed to, uh... Mess around with that at the moment. But maybe one day. I would love to do a Nuzlocke. I think if and when they come out with like a black and white um, remaster, that's probably when I'll play a Nuzlocke. Would Blood Bowl ever be an option? So you're not going to like this from me, but uh, I'm not a big sports guy. So Blood Bowl doesn't hold a ton of appeal for me. I mean, there might be a world in which I try it out, but I haven't really played it. No. Guild Wars 2? Hmm. Good question. Good question. Let's stick to Pokemon for a minute, and we'll talk about that later. Remind me. I don't want to jump topics. Like, I'm trying to curb my uh, habit of, like, swapping topics at the speed of sound. Black and white best gen. I liked black and white okay. Um, I did not actually end up completing it. Fun fact. I had a... So, as far as Pokemon goes, right? I had a... Um, an era where I loved Pokemon, which was my first Pokemon game. I loved uh, Emerald a lot. Um, I played a little bit of Red, which was my older sister's copy. And I think I deleted the save and she got very mad. <laughs> Reasonably so. Um, and I play, I, I missed, I didn't get to play Gold or Silver until I was like way older. Um, but Emerald was my first copy. I loved that game. I thought Diamond and Platinum were pretty good and I beat those. And then I played black and white and I just couldn't, I, I didn't enjoy it for some reason. I couldn't figure out why. I was like, I don't think I like this game. And then I got of the opinion for a long time in my life that uh, Pokemon was like a game for babies. I was like, this is like baby's first RPG. It kind of sucks. It's super easy. You can just throw your head at the wall. You just train up your Charizard or whatever and you, you spam flamethrower. Uh, and that's how you win. Um, and that is technically true of Pokemon, right? Like that is not false you can play pokemon that way and it'll work out completely okay for you uh you will win your pokemon games doing that however what i did not realize is that pokemon is intended to be probably the most complex turn-based rpg ever created uh partially because of the way it was designed and partially because it's just existed for so long that there is more characters in pokemon than you will ever have in any other game to memorize um and the way EVs, IVs, uh, you know, like whatever they're born in traits are called, I forget. I always call them passives, but that is not what it is. They're like abilities, they're second, they're natures, whatever the fuck. Um, you know what I mean? Like uh, sturdy or um, hardhead or whatever, that kind of stuff. Abilities, yeah, they're abilities. Um, the way those interface with um, Pokemon and like how you can create entire teams and builds around those makes Pokemon incredibly complex. What Pokemon is missing is a sense of permanence. For the sake of being approachable by a global audience in any age bracket, Pokemon is very, very, very easy. And that is by design. Um, but if you make Pokemon hard for yourself, it is suddenly one of the most engaging, entertaining uh, RPGs that exist. I, I mean it when I say Nuzlocke's are probably my favorite turn-based RPG. Uh, the, the way you just, the, the narratives that are crafted naturally through it, the way you get cre like so attached to your favorites, but you know that at any moment they could go away. You really sweat it and think about like money because money's worthless in Pokemon, right? Like money doesn't matter, but in Nuzlocke's money matters. You better, you better pray you're using your money right. Have you seen Friendlock? No, but I've done a Soul Link once for a little bit and it was a lot of fun. Man, I cannot believe how little iron there was down here. And there's no offshoot caverns or anything. This is it. This is it. Wow. Huh. I found a lot of coal, but... Damn. That's wild. Huh. Who would I soul link with in Armus? I think they would all die, so none of them. Uh... I don't like telling people how to play the game. 
Does that make sense? So like, I don't want to sit there and be like, I don't want to ruin their experience by being like, this is the optimal play and you should do this and do that. And also I'm not like an expert at Pokemon, which is why I love it so much. If I had memorized everything and I was too good at Pokemon, I don't think I would be as engaged by Nuzlocke. Uh, because I stopped playing Pokemon for a long time, I uh, am not like a baby. Like I know more than like your average fucking person or whatever, but I'm also not like, you know, um, actually, uh, in Generation 2's, uh, uh, in Generation 4, they changed Dratini to have a different stat line, and they took away this ability and put in that ability, and they made it so Dragon's Rage no longer does this much. Like, I, I don't know that stuff. Um, and that's okay. I really like that. I'm excited about that. Like, I don't know what abilities most Pokemon come with, other than, like, Geodude has hard-headed or sturdy or whatever. Um, you know, the basics. And I love it that way, but playing a Soul Link with somebody who literally knows nothing about Pokemon would be hard because I feel like it would be in their nature to be like, hey, what's the best play here? Should I use this attack or that attack on this gym leader? And I would feel bad because I wouldn't want somebody to spoil it for me. I wouldn't want to feel like somebody held my hand through that challenge. So I'd be like, uh, I don't know, dude, whatever you think is best. And then they would feel bad if they died. They would feel like they did something bad to me or they would feel like angry that I didn't tell them the answer. And it's like, I'm just trying not to rob you of an experience. It's the same thing with MMOs, right? Like, I can't stand when people are like, I'll just boost you, buddy. Don't worry. I'm like, no, do not rob me of this experience. Like, the reason I play this is for the process of, like, experiencing this world. If you take that from me, you have taken the game from me. I do not want to be an end game. I do not want to be raiding. If I get there on my own, that's fine. Don't make me be there. Altair did a shiny lock with just shiny Pikachus. I could never, I would never. First of all, I don't like Pikachu. Second of all, ew, shiny locks. Damn, that's hardcore. That's that's tough. That's that's that takes a lot of patience. Altair will remember that. <laughs> Chonky Pikachu, maybe, maybe, maybe Chonky Pikachu. You know what else I don't like? And you're not gonna like this. I don't like Eevee. You're welcome. Yeah, those of you who are like, speak your truth. Screw Pikachu. Right now, I, I feel you squirming in your chairs and your little cushioned Christmas chairs. I could feel you. I feel you dying on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> How about the evolutions? No. No. Well, maybe Umbreon, but even then, it's mm, it's a maybe. <laughs> you monster. What about Gengar? Overrated. I like Haunter. I like Ghastly. Gengar's mid. <laughs> I see your Gengar profile picture and I respect that you like Gengar. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. The Pokemon I don't like does not diminish you liking those Pokemon. It's okay if you like those Pokemon, and you should. But uh, the best Pokemon is objectively Volcarona, and the second best is Paris, or Spinarak, maybe. Um, and then the third best is probably Joltik or Galvantula. And then the fourth best is probably Venipede. And then the fifth best is probably Araquanid. Or... Hmm... Venomoth. Yeah. Ooh, or uh, Vikavolt. Yeah, yeah. Raikou? Meh. I don't like the legendaries, really. Damn straight, I'm bug type, baby. Bug types are the best type. If you don't think bugs are the objectively best Pokemon type, you're wrong. Bugs are the best. Second best is poison. <laughs> and then maybe dark... Or ground. What if Eevee had a bug type evolution? See, the thing that makes me dislike a Pokemon is having it like constantly present and uh, seeing it like so favorited that it's it's everywhere. So I've seen so much Eevee and Pikachu merch at this point. They're just like symbols of pokey capitalism to me. Like they don't mean anything to me other than, hey, that's going to sell well, I guess. Um, that's like 80% of the player base's favorite Pokemon. Cool. Um, I mean, I guess I don't hate them necessarily. I'm just not like the biggest fan. 
Bug Pokemon are sick. If you haven't given them a chance, try them out. They have some really cool abilities, and they have really cool type advantages. Don't get me wrong. Defensively, they're a really bad type, but I don't give a shit. I play off meta for a reason. Praise to ATV. <laughs> Thank you for the delicious soup, Wacky Warrior. Schnom. Yeah, Schnom's okay. Snom's okay. Man, pumpkin spice latte. Maybe I'll go make myself a latte. It's a little hot in here right now, though. Maybe I'll make myself an ice latte or something. No, you know what? I'll just have a little energy drink. How about that? Well, hmm. maybe I should save that for later. We're going to be going for a while, and I've only been here for an hour so far. I cannot believe how little iron we found down here. Can you guys believe that? Pincer or Heracross? Heracross, sorry. I like Pincer a lot. I think he's a little freaky looking guy, and I, I enjoy him. Just like I enjoy Paris' little freaky face, but I, I have a soft spot for Heracross. Oh, and that new one, uh, Low Kicks, super cool. Shedinja is so cool, dude. I love Shedinja. I also like uh, Ninjask, and I love, uh, I actually have a plushie. I have a plushie for so many bugs. Like, right now, I'm looking at my Vespa Queen, my Venomoth, uh, Yon Mega. I've got a uh, uh, Beautifly. I've got an uh, Ariados. I've got a Ninjask. I've got a Combi. I've got like 18 Parises. I've got a Parasect, a Venipede. Uh, hold on, I'm looking up at them. Uh, I've got a Levani. I've got Scorupi, uh, Volca uh, Volcarona, um, Cinescorch. <laughs> I love my, I love bug types. I'm a big bug type. Listen, I like bugs, right? For multiple reasons, but let me explain it to you in a way that uh, I think will convince you of why I like bugs. I like the bug Ultra Beast pretty well. Uh, I, I fucking slay uh, to the uh, Pheromosa. Pheromosa goes hard. Um, and I mean, I think that uh, Buzz Swole is pretty cool. So the reason I like bug types, right, is one, they speak to me as underdogs. I've got a soft spot for underdogs and off meta stuff. But two, I think bug types are interesting because they have such interesting interesting moves and they're almost always like interesting. Like they almost always have some of the more like complex and fun and out there designs for a Pokemon gen. Like I feel like Game Freak is super willing to go wild with bug designs and that's super cool. Uh, they, they often are tie, toe the line between not almost not looking like Pokemon even. And I think that's super fun. Uh, Strix, thank you for the five gifted member chips. I will dip those chips in my soup. Um, nom, 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 nom. I also like that bugs uh, run the gambit between like being your early game Pokemon that evolved by like level 20 or whatever, like to their full form, or they're super legendary. Like I do not evolve until I'm level 59. And that's fucking hilarious to me. Um, there is one legendary bug, but I hate it. I am not a fan of uh, the legendary bug, mostly because I think it wasn't an attempt at being a legendary bug. It was very much an attempt at being like a Kaiju robot. And I think that's boring. Um, Genesect is fine, whatever. Uh, I would like a much cooler bug legendary. A bug dragon would go hard. I would really, really appreciate a bug dragon. I'm not gonna lie. Thank you for the five gifted memberships and Eagle Teeth for being an axle. Thank you, Feline Fortuna. I, I like Flygon. I wish Flygon had stayed a bug. That is my one biggest pet peeve is that Game Freak has an obsession, right? Like an absolute uh, unmitigated obsession with robbing us of really cool bugs. They find something that would make like the coolest bug you could imagine, like Flygon, and then saying, that's not a bug anymore. Ha <laughs> ha. They did the same thing with uh, Drapion. Drapion was super cool. And they said, nope, you're not a bug anymore. It's because they hate me. They're targeting me personally and they know it. Spupa's a pretty cool bug, I'm not gonna lie. I know Spupa's a lot of, like, the subject of a lot of joke content, but I think Spupa is unironically a pretty cool bug. No, Flygon's not bug. Flygon starts out bug and then goes to flying ground, I believe. Buzzwall's pretty cool. I like Venonat and Venomoth a ton. 
Oh, Shuckle's great. I love tank bugs. I think that's a really funny thing. Like, if you can get a really, really tanky bug Pokemon, it always throws people for a loop, right? Like, if you get Fortress or, or, or Shuckle or, uh, uh, what is it, Crustal? That kind of shit always throws people for a fucking loop. If you can get a stalling bug, uh, that's fine. I got distracted, and I forgot to tell you guys why I liked bugs so much. Uh, so anyway, first of all, it's because they're underdogs. But secondarily, I think that bugs are interesting because they run the gambit of being, like, really early game or really late game. And bugs are almost always there to be kind of annoying. And I like being annoying. I like being a thorn in people's side. And uh, it just speaks to me on a primal level. You know what I mean? Like, I look a bug in its weird compound eyes, and it looks at me in my weird normal eyes. And uh, we share a moment as uh, we both agree that it's fucking hilarious to be the Paris that uses poison powder for the 15th time and sends trainers scuttling back to the, you know, to the uh, Pokemon Center, weeping and crying and holding their Pokemon. I just think that shit's fucking hilarious. They're like the, the, the bandit highwaymen of Pokemon. They just have, a, they know they're not going to win. Paris is objectively in the bottom 20th of Pokemon. Like, literally out of, like, the thousands of Pokemon that exist, I think Paris is in the bottom 20 for stat lineups and has maybe the worst typing period in Pokemon with a quadruple weakness to fire and rock. Um, but it doesn't care because Paris is just there to hit you with a stun spore or a poison powder and then laugh as you run away. Paris doesn't have to win. Paris is just there to piss you off. And I love that. That's why Paris is my second favorite. Sorry, fire flying quad week. That's what it was. I played, um, I played Pokemon Legends Arceus when it came out. And I did not beat Pokemon Legends Arceus, but I will tell you what I did do. I did giggle maniacally to myself uh, and uh, trigger a million tears of cute aggression as I stayed in the beginner area for like three days and filled up four boxes of different Paris of different sizes. I have four boxes of Paris in that game and I've gotten no further. Ellie Travelgar, Merry Crimsmas to you. You're not late, you're chill. Oh, yeah, Butterfree. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. Um, didn't Ash, like, free his Butterfree for some reason? He did something with it. I don't know. Your first shiny was a Parasect? Good taste. Hell, yeah. Thank you for the gifted membership, Chips, Robin, and Crows. Oh, Butterfree fell in love. That's kind of cute. All right, well, we got enough iron to build a couple pickaxes. I guess we don't have to have a million iron or anything. We got enough to build more pickaxes if we really, really, really feel like we need it. I've also got a repairing, self-repairing iron axe that I stole from Shinry. Uh, I would say sorry, but I'm not that sorry. So let's go ahead and start getting to work on. We're going to knock this uh, building up a tier. We're going to bounce it up one level. Man, I guess I could just drop it down a level. It would make the roof seem so much taller. But I feel like my problem isn't that the roof's not tall enough. I feel like my problem... I want to look at it... From, I'm going to look at it from a distance. I'm trying to decide if I feel like the first floor isn't tall enough. Your first shiny was matchup. I have played Pokemon for years. Um, you know, since Emerald or whatever. And uh, I am not kidding when I say the first shiny... I ever caught here's my negative one luck stat by the way the first shiny I ever caught was a low kicks I've seen two shinies before that before scarlet and violet two in my life Hoot Hoot and Silver. You know, I really love the um, I love the shiny system in Pokemon. I do wish shinies had different stats to a degree or maybe like something that changed them in a meaningful way so they were worth hunting down. But I do think that shinies having nothing other than a different look and being so insanely rare 
helps contribute to I, I, helps contribute to shinies forming genuine memories, right? Like somebody's first shiny ever being a Hoot Hoot might make it so like Hoot Hoot is their favorite Pokemon and people wouldn't understand that. They'd be like, why is Hoot Hoot your favorite Pokemon? What's that about? And you're like, well, when I was a kid, I called a shiny Hoot Hoot and it's just been my favorite ever since. You know what I mean? And it's, it's kind of beautiful that it creates those natural stories and narratives and attachments to Pokemon that might not be uh, many people's favorite. And I wish games would do that more often. Even Pokemon is starting to move away from that. And that bums me out. I feel like it's such a fun... Um, it's such a fun way to create, like, scarcity. And I think games are afraid of scarcity. Pokemon is making shiny hunting super duper easy. And I wish they would stop doing that and just go back to shinies being, like, a once in a blue moon thing. Like, you might have to play through the game five times before you ever even see a shiny, much less catch it. Because I think that makes it more special. It's the same problem MMOs have where they, like, you know, people eventually uh, whine and cry and complain enough about, like, oh, well, the end game item, the, the legendary super sort of end game's too hard to get, and I can't find a 40 man raid group, and I work a job, and I have two kids, and I just don't have time to. Okay, so don't have it. It's okay. Uh, but eventually, you know, the MMO developers are like, fine, we'll give you, like, a solo version you can get if you go complete the dungeon by yourself. And it's like, okay, but now you've taken away what that person who did go through like that 40 man raid earned. Like you took away like their sense of satisfaction and progression and you took away scarcity so that other people could feel like they're they're being somewhat coddled. And I get it, I agree with, um, I agree that there should be a level of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It starts with a P. Uh, no, it starts on A, accessibility. I think games deserve accessibility, but ac accessibility doesn't mean taking away every single challenge so that everybody could do it with their eyes closed, right? Like you could play a game and accept that you're not gonna get the highest end achievements or the best stuff ever because you're not gonna put 500 hours into grinding up the skill to do it. And that should be okay. You should be okay with that. Like we should probably not be catering to people who are like, um, I just don't have time to, do okay, then don't do it. Who cares? Like, why does it matter? Does it matter that you can't get, like, the fucking golden pony mount or whatever? Because you're not going to go through, like, uh, you know, the the Gilded King's fucking toilet dungeon 27 times? Why do you care? Anyway, that's how I feel about it. Yeah, I could jump on Guild Wars 2 for a bit. Uh, I'll keep it short. I'm not going to go on a huge tangent about Guild Wars 2, but the way I feel about Guild Wars 2 is... Um, I really like Guild Wars 2, and every time I've played it, I've enjoyed it quite a bit. And every time I've played it, I've failed to get hooked. Um. Yes, games are there to be fun, not make you suffer for pixel rewards. However, for some people, the fun is the suffering. Like, I think the game should be fun, not make you suffer, but having challenge is not the same thing as suffering. Adversity, struggle, working to attain something, that isn't suffering. That's just working for something, and I get that. Um, gaming masochism in healthy doses is fine. There is no sin other than excess. Excess is the only true sin. Masochism in small doses is just training yourself to deal with adversity. Man, I can't play Apex. Apex, I practiced like one or two rounds before that tournament. I'm not gonna lie, there is no way to get into an Apex game without people, without playing against people who have played for like 12 years or whatever. I know the game's not been out that long. That is, uh, that's exaggeration for the sake of exaggeration. Uh, but I was regularly getting dropped into lobbies with people who were like, oh, top kills, uh, 387,000 or whatever. And I'm like, okay, like, I, uh, okay. I guess there's just not a new player base for this. Which is fine. It's just that, that doesn't make me mad. I'm not like, oh, well, they should make it an easy mode for me then. It's like, okay, well, this game's just not for me and that's okay. I can accept that. I wish I could play more difficult games, but I get very easily discouraged. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. That's chill. You don't have to play difficult games. Who said you have to? Who said that's a requirement? You know what I mean? Um, How am I going to do this? I need to think for a second. 
If I'm moving everything up a floor, this is gonna really suck, but I think I've got to clear this whole thing. I think I've got to clear everything out. I guess I could leave the upper floor, right? Like I could leave this upper floor a little bit and just break the bottom tier. Actually, this is easier than I'm making it out to be. Watch this, we could just do this. One second, we'll continue our gaming talk in a second. Uh, praise Joko. Anyway, Guild, uh, as a Guild Wars 1 veteran, Guild Wars 2 is kind of okay-ish, but it's been really frustrating as someone who grew up with the series. I never played Guild Wars 1, so I don't have that attachment to it, but understandable. Uh, what I was saying about Guild Wars 2 before we go back on the topic of, like, difficulty in gaming is that Guild Wars 2 has the best, like, world, uh, I've played in an MMO, as in it encourages you to explore the world, it wants you to do jump puzzles, it does everything in its power to make you want to be a part of the world, um, but on the same token, right, in the same hand, something about it, Something about the way their world exists or the way they do their world building fails to make me want to be in that world. Like I don't associate with any characters or any of the plot, narr uh, the narratives or the drama or the story, which is a shame because I love exploring in Guild Wars 2. I love the in integration of like jump puzzles and um, world quests and, and the rewards of like small little chests if you explore weird corners of the world. They didn't have to do that, but they did it just because they could. Um, and I think that's really fun, but for some reason, I would rather go back and play WoW, even though WoW is, you know, an older game with a arguably worse combat system, uh, the world just feels more realized to me. Welcome in, Saint! Wait, what's happening? What's going off live? I've already played Fantasy Star Online too. Um, it's just not my aesthetic is the problem with that game. I like it. It, it. it isn't for me. Like that wasn't made for me and I've accepted that and that's okay. Like there's nothing wrong with a game that was made for other people. Um, I liked it when I played it for what it was. Uh, a uh, acquaintance had convinced me to play it and he was really excited that I played it with him and I did for a while, but yeah, it just wasn't, it wasn't something I could stick with. Now, what was I saying? Ah, uh, as far as difficulty in games, right? There is a tight, there's a tight rope for devs to walk where you want it to be accessible. You want it to be fun and you want to make sure you're not making a game that's so frustrating that nobody could possibly enjoy it. But even if you do that, I mean, it might still hit global acclaim and people around the world might love it. Look at things like Getting Over It by Bennett Foddy. Like that game is made to be fucking annoying, but it doesn't matter because clearly that is some people's idea of fun, right? On the other hand, you get things that like slowly drain themselves of difficulty for the sake of accessibility to the point where they're not fun. Like I'm having fun in Minecraft right now because I enjoy the creative aspect of Minecraft still. But if I could have Minecraft that had like the difficulty of Monster Hunter or Dark Souls combat, I would play that for years to come. Like that would be my game. Like I would, I would just do that. Um, but that's not gonna happen because Minecraft is made to be accessible and, uh, you know, for a uh, vast audience of, you know, differing people who have different skill levels and different desires out of their game. And that's totally okay. I understand that. Um, it, again, sometimes things aren't made to be catered to me and that should be okay. We should be, we should be more okay with that as uh, a community, as gamers or whatever. This building might end up getting too tall if I do this. I'm going to check what this looks like on the outside after I break the white blocks underneath. So let's go do that. Uh, and if it ends up being too tall, I think it might be too tall. Let's ima let's scoot back and imagine two blocks taller than it already is. Because we don't want it to be so tall that it looks taller than it is wide necessarily. Um... Yeah, one block taller might be it, because I'm also going to have to put a roof on that, so it's going to end up, like, probably here-ish, right? 
Because one block taller makes it here. Roughly. And then you put a roof on that, and it's probably going to be an upper roof into a cone shape. I guess it's not. Yeah, I think one's the move. Um, so yeah, what I was saying is that, uh, games, um, being difficult can be really good and really fun, and everybody strives for a certain level of difficulty in their games. I don't care who you are or how much you think, like, oh, I don't like hard games, I don't like difficult games. You have done something in a game that was hard to do and you felt proud of yourself. And if you make games too easy, too accessible, and anybody could do it, eventually that stops being the case. You stop feeling like that because there is no challenge. Anybody could do it. Like if everybody gets every achievement just because they logged into a game, um, nobody's really getting anything at that point. That's just the devs clapping you on the back and saying, good job, champ, you did it. And uh, yeah, that's cute, but that's, that's not how I have fun with my games, personally at least. That's wild that you're doing that while typing, shrimp lawyer. Well done. <laughs> you are braver than I am. That's the thing, Alma, is that a lot of games... Hold on, let me grab myself a little... I'm going to grab myself a little soda. I would play Deep Rock Galactic. Yeah, do we have perms for that? You know what's funny is I haven't played a lot of Deep Rock Galactic. I played like four or five missions, so I know just enough to guide the other boys if I need to. And it's just this is perfect. I love this, right? Uh, I know just enough to guide the other boys so we're not confused and we're not struggling so much that we have no idea what's going on. But I know so little that I'm still super fresh, like a brand new baby to that game. Uh, so it makes it fun for everybody, including myself. So I'm not just playing like handholdy. I get to I get to play the game and experience the game too. And I love that like perfect storm. I love that. Dual star. I just had a homestuck flashback. You scared me. Um. So what was I saying? Right, right, right. Uh. Okay. Let's let, let me let me. I'm gonna stand still real quick. I'm not gonna read what you're saying for just a second because I do want to like call this conversation to a bit of a close, a nice narrative finish instead of dragging it out. What I am saying is that. Games are games at the end of the day. They are made to be fun. You should be having a good time when you play them, but struggle is not inherently anti-fun. You should feel a level of accomplishment when you play a game and get an achievement or beat a boss or do whatever it is you were trying to do in that game, whether that's like marrying uh, somebody in a dating sim that you were trying really hard for or, you know, beating the final boss, uh, beating Gwen or Ornstein and Smo, right? Like, there are different levels of challenge and achievement and uh, goal setting in games, and that isn't bad, but I do see a common trend in gaming right now of moving toward um, accessibility, not because we're trying to be accessible to people who have struggles playing games, who have like disabilities or, you know, physical like uh, things that make it harder for them to play games, but specifically for marketing. Accessibility for the sake of a broader audience to make more money, and I don't like that. I don't like when franchises that have established a certain level of difficulty make it easier just to be more appealing to a broader market. Things like WoW adding buying your way to max level or things like, um, you know, even to a degree, my favorite video game company, which is FromSoft. Zelda is my favorite franchise. FromSoft is my favorite company. Uh, FromSoft is still making their games easier with every iteration. And part of that is because they do want it to be accessible to people who might you know, have trouble playing their games. But a part of that is also just to make it more appealing to a broad audience. And I understand that, but it, it, bums, it, it bums me out, you know, when you can find cheese strats in games that otherwise might have lacked them. Like, every game is going to have a cheese strat, but a good example of this is Elden Ring's um, jump attacks. The jump attacks are really cool. They add a whole new dynamic to the game. The problem with jump attacks, though, is they're objectively the right choice in every situation. They do more stagger, have less, like, recovery frames. They, like, do a ton of damage. They make it so that heavy weapons are essentially very fast and add mobility to the attack pattern. And it's kind of a bummer. Armored Core 6 was no cakewalk. Mm, I don't know, because I heard about how hard Armored Core was, and as somebody who's never played Armored Core, I breezed right through it. Maybe I just found the right pattern of weapons to make it super easy, but for me, it wasn't a very hard game. I got I got uh, filtered for a second against uh, that one first guy, uh, Balefus or something like that. 
Uh, and that was it. That was the only time I got filtered. And I mean, it took a few tries, but I got through it a lot faster than I did Margaret, for example. WoW's character boost is to let you get in and play with your friends. Yeah, that's nice. They could start an ult. That's what I'm saying. Like, I get it. I understand why it exists. Again, I know. Uh, I'm just saying if your game is just in game and the only thing you have is skip our early game, we're embarrassed of it, it's bad, and we don't want you to experience it, then you don't have a very good game. There's a reason I play classic. That's a good game. If, you're, if your solution to people don't enjoy our early game isn't to fix the early game, but to say, ah, eh, we'll just let you pay to skip it. That's a bad sign to me. Uh-oh. I heard a boop boop. <laughs> Is this single player? No, I'm on the server right now. So make the class and level up then. I, I, what do you mean? Rouge, you're wrong there. You're wrong here. The reason the boost exists is for high-end players who need to make a specific class for raids. Make a class. Level it up. What's the problem? You like your game, no? Listen, I'm not going to tell you your way of playing the game is wrong. You can enjoy it how you want. And a lot of WoW veterans are going to say the same thing. They're going to say... Uh, you know, like, I don't want to have to go back through that process. I've already done it before, et cetera, et cetera. And that's cool. But me personally, if your early game isn't enjoyable enough to be, like, worth going through multiple times, I don't think you have a good early game. I don't think you want to be playing an MMO. What you want to be playing is an instance game where you go into a dungeon and you raid for high-end gear that upgrades over time. So you want to be playing something like Monster Hunter. You want to be playing something like League of Legends, right? With a sense of progression and a sense of skill increasing and a sense of like growth, but you don't want to go through a world and do quests and, and deal with the narrative and ask other players for help. What you want to do is queue up, do a dungeon that you know with mechanics that you know over and over and express your skill in that way. And that's not bad, that's fun. Those types of games are a lot of fun, but that's not an MMO. I do think putting every class on one character is a good, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A band-aid fix. I think it's not a bad thing, but I do think it, again, takes away a bit of that um, sense of accomplishment, right? Like if you're the best warrior on your server, that's really cool. Except everybody can be the best warrior on the server and they don't have to go back through the process. Though I guess in Final Fantasy XIV, you do have to re-level every class and go through the MSQ, not MSQ, but the main class quest line. I don't know. I don't know. I'm torn on that. I like, that's a personal taste thing. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think that's really cool. That's really fun. Personally, I like my characters being very different um, and like having different like uh, designs and styles and aesthetics and stories I tell about how they leveled up. Um, I think that's really cool. But that's just a personal taste thing. I don't think there's anything wrong with putting all your classes on one uh, one character. Richard likes spies. Welcome in. Or no, wait. Richard likes pies. Unless you're a Richard like spy. Yeah, that's true. Civil disorder. Even in the single player games, it allows you to do that. I don't know. Anyway, what I'm trying to say here is the way you play your games isn't wrong. If you enjoy the character boost system, that's fine. I get it. It's not for me. I, underst I understood a long time ago that Modern WoW is not a game that was made for me anymore. Um. Oops. Let me take a drink real quick. Uh, I am Z Spy. I am Z Spy. Jarati. I'll take care of that spy. I don't know what OR, o O S R S is. Eh. Anyway, the point is, Modern WoW is not is not a game that was made for me, and that's okay. I can live with that. Um. 
Shit, I should have grabbed more oak logs. One second. Let me get more oak logs and we'll keep talking. I never played old school RuneScape. I want to. I have played Albion online and I really, really, really enjoyed that game. I wonder if we have perms for that too, actually. Oops. One second. Um, let me focus for just a moment and we'll keep talking. How's that sound? I agree, Gail. I blame WoW for a lot of things. I still love uh, World of Warcraft to a degree and um, what it represents to me as far as like uh, my childhood or whatever. Here, let me hop in the Discord while I'm talking. That way others can join me if they want to. There we go. I forgot to do that, so it was open for others to jump in. Um, anyway. What was I saying? Oh! Uh, I blame Modern WoW, or not Modern WoW. I blame, um, probably around Wrath of the Lich King WoW for the single, single playerification of MMOs in many, 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 many contexts. And I understand that a lot of it was for the sake of convenience and at the time seemed like a good idea, but I was very uh, much uh, outspoken um, against looking for group and looking for raid and uh, all of that stuff as soon as it dropped. And, you know, I was told by like my friends who played at the time and my older sister, they're like, ah, you're being paranoid. It's a good thing. It makes it easier to find groups and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, yes, but it does like slowly kill the social side of these games. And Honestly, I still stand by that. I still think I was right. Um, I think that if you have the ability to have convenience, you will always take it because people like water will seek the path of least resistance. And there's nothing wrong with that, but it does take away the, um, you know, the, the sense of community that was there originally. It goes away. Because it has to, because it has to make way for what's there now. How am I going to do this right? I guess, um, I guess what I have to do is this. One second. I guess I got to do this, and I'm going to go pop, pop, and then we break that, and then we do this number. Nope, even that's not going to wait. Hmm. Oh, okay. I see. I see. So we'll do this. Pop, pop. We'll get back out there and break those down in just a second. I never realized how much focus doing an actual build on Minecraft takes and makes it hard to hold this conversation. At least to the level of, uh, you know, to the speaking level, I would like to hold this conversation because I think this is a conversation that is an important to a lot of people and maybe even a little sensitive to people. And I'm not saying that in like a disparaging or uh, I'm not saying that in a, in a mean way or like a mocking tone. It's important to me too. I mean, I think the state of MMOs right now is a little bit of a bummer and it, it makes me sad. And some people really love the state of MMOs right now and they feel like I'm attacking their hobby or their their uh, thing they, they enjoy. Um, I've had this conversation with my sister enough times to, to understand that sometimes it can be a, a, a bit of a touchy subject and that's totally respectable. There's nothing wrong with that. You should be passionate about the things you love. Um, I want to say I'm not attacking the way you enjoy your games or the way you uh, participate in them or what you find fun with those. It's just that I personally um, don't engage with how how easy things are for the sake of making it approachable for a single player. I get that like a lot of people are older now and they have kids or families they got to take care of and they've got responsibilities. But again, it boils down to why do you care if somebody's moving along further than you? Like, why are you mad you know, the, the thing I always hear is, oh, I'm not a 12 year old. I don't have time to play for 72 hours on like these, these Fortnite kids or whatever. And it's like, okay, but why are you mad at them? You did once. You don't have to be the star of the show. You don't have to have every item in the game. You don't have to have fucking Thunderbutt, the blessed like fart seeker. You can just, you can be normal and just play the game and have fun. 
Like, who cares if someone's further along than you? It doesn't always have to, like, be catering to you. You can still enjoy the game. There we go. Anyway, I'm, I'm just kind of talking in circles at this point. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get off this topic and talk about something else. Um, the point I'm making boils down to this. There is a fine balance, and the balance right now is skewed towards uh, very much engaging a single-player mindset of talk to no one, queue up, do your dungeons, get your items, queue up, do your raid, get your items, talk to no one, uh, sort your bank, play the game again and again and again that way. Uh, and I don't like that. Or sometimes a healthier mindset for this would be something like Final Fantasy where they skew themselves toward like, play the story. It's super engaging and it's almost as good as a single player game. And that's cool, but I would just play a single player game. Hi, Battle. Did I miss Battle? Did someone say Thunderbutt, Blessed Blade of the Fart Seeker? I sure fucking did. I, I summoned you. I summoned you with your weapon. Your mighty blade. No, I'm so close. All right, we're going to do this one. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, I do think it's about FOMO, but I think as a community, we need to start like acknowledging FOMO and moving past it a little bit. I think FOMO is very unhealthy. Thank you for the delicious member chips. I will dip those in my soup. Um, num, 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 num. Oops. I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just like able to separate myself or uh, my, my gamer ego from like my achievements in games. But for me, it's only ever created a sense of wonder missing out on stuff like that. I, I like, how do I say this in a way that's not fucking like self aggrandizing and, and douchey. I think when I was a kid, right? And I was playing something like, wow, I would watch somebody walk by and like in game raid gear or some like level 70 or 80 or whatever, swoop by and save my life and two shot a mob. And to me, I was just like, I, I, I was like filled with wonder, you know what I mean? Like, oh my God, how did he get that? What, whoa, that's so cool, that's so exciting. One day that could be me if I worked for it hard enough or whatever, or like, uh, even if I wasn't like, that could be me. It's just, that's like, there's a guy out there that's basically like the Batman of this world. It's unattainable, it's unbelievable I could ever be there. And that's not a bad thing, it's just cool that it exists. And he just saved my fucking life, you know what I mean? And it's like, just knowing that shit existed was exciting to me more so than like, Oh no, I, I can't get that because I have a job and kids or whatever. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I'm done talking about it. I've been talking about it for too long. If I had a nickel for every Christmas I've spent, sick. I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that's happened twice. Thanks for making it more bearable, duder. Hey, listen, turn up for what? Turn up for what? I'm here to make it terrible. How dare you say I'm making it better? <laughs> You're welcome, I guess. And thank you for the soup. You are a rare breed. Almost everyone will take your words to say instead of, where's mine? But yeah, enough of this topic. Yup. And I don't blame them, again, just as a closing statement. It's okay. It's okay if you have FOMO. That's normal. It's it's part of the human experience. I get it. You're not weird. You're not a baby. You're not like a fucking asshole for experiencing that. It's chill, dude. Oh, fuck. Um... Hmm. Oh shit. Uh, uh, okay. Made it.
Okay. Let's get back down there. We're going to take a little nap. We're going to cut down some of these logs underneath, etc., etc. We just had a really long conversation about MMOs, Jonah. But now we're done with that. Because I'm tired of it. I've talked about it for too long. The hour is late. Later than you think, Gandalf the Grey. Gandalf the Silly! Just finished making miso ginger butternut soup. I have no idea what that is, but it sounds delicious, Miss Mercurial. Here is your bowl. Um, nom, 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 nom. Please tell us the colors, markings of your cats for fan art purposes. It's a secret. You'll have to wait till I drop it on the little membership post, right? I got to make it worth it for the people who sat there and grabbed that. That's only fair. Uh, would you rather fight 100 goose-sized battles or one battle-sized goose? Um... Well, geese are actually pretty big, all things considered. So that'd be like fighting 100 toddler battles, and they still have the advantage of opposable thumbs. So I think one battle-sized goose, since that's going to be pretty tiny. Um, Wispy says, a glizzy. Thanks. Hey, welcome in, Soli. All right, let's take a nap. Battle's bigger than a goose? Uh, it depends, Van Scab. I think that one show that did it well would be something along the lines of um, Devilman Crybaby. Killed off its characters well <laughs> at one point. Uh, no spoilers, but at one point something happens that is big. Uh, and then later, I believe it's undone, but I haven't read the manga or watched the full show. But I think a bunch of important people do go. Um, and I think that was really cool. Uh, but in general, I think it can be lazy writing. It depends on how you handle it. Oh, I got to fix my... Hold on. Hold on. I might have to take my coat off. It's hot. No, actually, you know what? I can't take my coat off. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. Yeah, I don't want too many spoilers for Devil May Cry, baby, for those who haven't watched it. So don't, don't talk, 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 talk too much about what happens later in the show because I've missed a few things too. Um, but a lot of people haven't watched it and I don't want to spoil it for them. So let's just wait on that. But Devil May Cry, baby, did an interesting take on some of that, uh, style of storytelling. Oh shit, I'm going to have to cut down these stairs too. Man, I'm cooking through my inventory slots, huh? Bum, 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 bum. Careful with spoilers of other shows, Rosaders. Yeah, don't go wild. Um, we don't want to. We don't want to say something that uh, about a show people have not watched here, because we don't want them to miss out on their chance to experience pain. No. <laughs> Oh, I see. I haven't worked on the side enough. Okay. I was like, what's going on here? Wait, not orange. Well, actually, you know what? We'll fill in the orange slots here. And here, and here, and here. Uh, the actual house is not going to be made of this orange terracotta. Eventually, I will upgrade that. But for now, bear with me. I'm just trying to figure out how to move the floor up one because I didn't like how low it was. Okay. Bum, ba -dum, bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, bum. All right. Uh, so our outer floor is up one. Now that we have done that, I think I have done enough out here to reasonably head up the hill and check what this is going to look like and whether or not I like it and want to keep going this way. Let me, real quick, I'm going to take this white terracotta, run up to the uh, upper floor, and build one more uh, tier up, just to see if this looks a little bit more like what I was thinking about in my head when I started this build. 
I want to move this up too one more time. One second. Does that come all the way out? I can't tell. On this side. Uh, it does. Not. Wait, it peeks one out. One out and over the top of a... One out and over the top of a... Hey, thank you for the gifted, uh... Zunzblez. And thank you for the delicious, uh... Magenta soup, honey. On each. Uh, some soup for the Christmas elf. I'm not a Christmas elf! Not an elf! I'm a normal human. But I will still angrily... Sip at the soup. Yeah, thank you for the soup. <laughs> Nice build so far. Thanks. If no elf, why pointing ears? A guy can't be born with it with issues. I like that better. There's gonna be a lot more room on the side of the building too for decorating. Um, so what I'm thinking is I might create the bottom floor, like what is currently terracotta. I might make that out of stone. I might make these pillars either wood in the middle and stone as a base and then make this stone or I might make it cut stone. I think cut stone. Yeah, I was cooking stone earlier to make cut stone. That's right. And then we'll do the top out of that white terracotta and I'll interlace it with wood to make sort of like a waddle and daub vibe. I didn't bring any regular terracotta with me. Nice, nice, nice. We are now cooking. That looks way better. I love this. And then we can do some sort of decoration up here. Maybe we do some glazed terracotta, like we cook some of our terracotta or something. Or maybe we do like a banner up here. Uh, we could definitely get some windows snuck in. Maybe not right here, but like right here could be cool. Like we could do a two, maybe not two wide, but one wide window right there or something. We'll, we'll figure it out as we go. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Anyway, we got to finish raising the roof on a couple spots here. So let's do that. Sorry, I was cooking my brain trying to figure out where exactly everything's supposed to be. Uh... Wait, shouldn't there be a piece of wood here? One, two. One, two. Buckle my shoe. Is there wood up there? Oh, so there is. So let's see. Wood, blank. Wood, blank wood okay so there is wood there got it hmm. is there wood up here I can't why is there wood right there I don't understand what that is I'll have to go back up to the top and find out let's go around and go up and see what we're what we're messing up we're messing something up I just don't know what Welcome back to the world of the living, Alma. <laughs> I 
Good. Good, Dim Dawn. You're doing well. You're doing God's work. <laughs> okay, so let's... You know what's going to help me is I'm going to start... I'm going to start... Okay, I'm going to start doing the wood on the inside here that would be crossing this way. Because this upper floor is going to end up being a lot of wood texture up here. Unless I add floorboards or carpet. I could add carpet up here. Carpet might be the move. Get out of my head! Get out of my head! Okay, cool. So I was right. This is where... Okay, okay, okay. Oops, that's not right. Okay, that one's already done, apparently. I guess I already did that side. Why is this open? That's supposed to be closed. So now I know that I'm gonna go, whoa, Shinri, what's up, gamer? Merry Christmas, looking good so far. Looks like the build's coming along nicely. Yeah, you wanna see it from a distance? Check this out. Oops, hold on. I'll show you from far away. I'm gonna get there eventually. I gotta make rooms on the inside, but I'm doing the skeleton first and uh, we're moving it up a floor, which is taking a while. Today, I've been here for two hours and that was almost all mining and scooting this up one floor for the bottom floor because I didn't like how short it felt. But we're gonna get there. It's gonna go. I need an angle to really show it though. Let's try over here. There we go. We'll get there. I'm moving it up over here still. Meh. Meh. Re Christmas. Looking bad so far. It looks like Bill's coming along slowly and awfully. 1v1 me in Minecraft right now. You won't. I'm also going to upgrade this bridge to not be a piece of shit, but that's going to have to happen later. You know what? That's okay, Battle. You can Merry Christmas me all you want, but you and I, we're shaking hands on being Christmas grumps, so it doesn't change anything. Why do you think they call me the Crimson Scrooge? <laughs> That's why it's Christmas. Christmas can, can kick rocks. Matgora win. Get on WoW right now. You won't. 1v1 me right now, Battle. How'd you make that house uh, better than mine in like 14 minutes? I've been working on this for like three, four hours, probably real time, maybe five. So I didn't, I didn't. <laughs> that is the illusion of time attacking you. Mine took four, oh. Well, I mean, you had to have a lot of wool and stuff, right? So maybe it's just because it took you a while to farm wool. That's probably what it was. Okay, let's get back in there and work on the upper floor, shall we? Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. Yeah, wasn't it all white magenta, white magenta, white magenta or whatever? Wasn't it all wool? Was it not wool? What the hell is your house made of if it's not wool? Wait, why am I doing that? That actually needs to stay. I'm an idiot! Does that need to stay? Wait a minute, hold on. So, one, two, buckle my shoe, three, four... I gotta check something. So that's one, two, three, four tall. So I don't need that up there. Okay, I can take those down. We're taking those down. Oh, he kept dying to creepers. That makes sense. I see. Nar, stop. <laughs> Nike kicks. Don't stop, Judy, bro. Keep singing!
Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to get some carpet for this, I think. You guys wanna hear me sing? Uh, you don't get that for free. I have been, I'm happy to report, and by happy I mean uh, terrified and ashamed to report, that I have been looking at uh, possible songs I could maybe sing, no promises, for karaoke at some point. Um, again, no promises at all. Don't get your hopes up. But there's the possibility, one day, I will do a karaoke stream. Man, I quit halfway through doing these logs out here and I don't know why. So let's go ahead and get those done. Ah. Name them, coward. Name the songs. Uh I can tell you one song I've been looking at. Not that I'm not that I'm saying I'm going to sing it. I'm saying I might sing it. Uh What's a song that would suit my voice? How about... Uh... <laughs> uh... I'm trying to think of a not embarrassing one to tell you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Bloodhound, that's a good one. Yeah, the Chuck E. Cheese theme song. That could work, that could work. Um... Fuck. Um. Oh, uh, I will add to the karaoke. You don't need to add. There's no karaoke fund, but thank you, Lance, a lot. Metallica? I was thinking, oh, here's one. Uh, this is a song that, uh, could I? Yeah, I could sing that. Uh, Like a Stone by Audio Slave. I could do that. Probably. Maybe? Probably. Definitely not Carcalicious. I would sooner die. Mm -mm -mm. Attack on Titan opening. Is it in Japanese? Because if it is, do you know how much practice that would take me? I would lose my mind. Fergalicious? Possibly. Live and learn? Possibly. Uh, Toxic by Britney Spears? Definitely. I'd play Chivalry 2 one day. Maybe. Any metal songs? Um, I haven't really practiced metal screaming much, but I could definitely give it a shot. I'd be willing to try. Haka didn't give me lessons for nothing, right? <laughs> That's true. Metal's not just screamo. That is true. Why do I have all this raw copper? Why am I not cooking stone while I'm waiting? Because I'm going to need a lot of stone. What the hell is this? Why is this here? Why is this low down? Did I already? Oh, okay. I already replaced it. We're good. So, like I said, I've been digging around at songs, but the problem is uh, often just finding a song that I can actually sing. You know what I mean? Uh, Bury the Light from Devil May Cry. I doubt I could sing that, but possibly, possibly. Oh, well, that's nice, Jan. <laughs> Jan or Yan? Is it Jan? I'm going to say Jan. Uh, you know what? I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Uh, I don't know how I am your first VTuber. That was probably a tactical error on your part. But I, I guess I'm glad I could drag you into the air quotes wonderful world of YouTubers. <laughs> okay, is everything finally leveled out in here? Good. We're all right. We're on the upper floors now. Okay. Um. What are we talking about? Oh, karaoke. Um, 
like I said, it, the, the struggle for me is finding something that I can sing. Like, yeah, there might be things that are like suited to my voice or whatever, or my vocal range, but that doesn't mean that I can necessarily like match the singer how I would want to in a way that like does them some level of justice. Uh... Which maybe I just need to, I, you know what is wild to me? What always really impresses me from uh, singers is singers who are not trying to like mimic a vocalist or mimic a song, but are just like doing their own fucking thing. And they're like, I'll just sing it my way. I'm like, what the hell do you mean sing it your way? You mean you're just gonna freestyle this shit? You're just gonna make it happen? And they're like, yup. I'm like, damn, that takes a, a level of bravery I do not have. Good for them. How far out does that stick? Okay, so it's the second to last wall. Second to last wall. It does not stick out, I guess, right? So straight, and then one, two, and then one, two, three. So straight, one, two. You know what, we'll figure out details later. Let's just keep going. Get rid of all these bottom ones real quick. See you later, Vince Cap. You just need passion, if you say so. Ah! More passion, more passion. Oh, I'm not gonna be perfect, don't get me wrong. You're gonna, when you hear this karaoke, you're gonna be like, wow, this poor motherfucker's got a long way to go. And I'm gonna say, yes, yes I do. And I'll work on that. That is part of the idle journey. I'll make it happen. But uh, first I gotta find like a vocal coach, I guess, or something along those lines. Like, I think that's probably step number two, question mark. What is this passion you speak of? Where's my ax? Right here. I feel like I hear mobs and it's spooking me. The hell? Weird. One second, I'm almost done here. Okay, so we're done clearing out the lower floors for the most part. Wait, no, that was right. Was that right? I think I was right. Nope, that's wrong. Okay, cool. So we're still cool to chop these up. Let's keep chopping real quick. Karaoke's about having fun, not being good. Sing whatever you want. If you say so, I don't know. I'd be pretty embarrassed if I was doing terrible. Like, I'll do bad. I don't wanna do terrible, you know what I mean? I do want to put my best foot forward if I'm going to do this idol thing. Je oh, Jesus, fuck. I thought it was inside. Pretty sure the first time I stream karaoke, I'll need to be drunk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think the first time I did karaoke with uh, people, I was I was probably at least having a few drinks. You know what I mean? Exactly, exactly, Battle. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to do bad. I, I understand that there's no avoiding that I'm going to be bad at it, but I'm still going to, like, I'm not going to half-ass it, right? Like, I'm still going to try. Like, there's no point in, like, being like, oh, I'm just going to sing fucking, uh, like, I don't know who's a really good singer. Lana Del Rey? Like, I'm not going to go out here and, like, fucking try my hand at something I know I'm going to butcher and just do terrible at. 
I don't believe in having fun. Try hard it. Well, hold on. Now, I, I believe in having some level of fun. Some. Why? Uh oh, I see. There we go. Much better. Now we're talking. Yeah! Yeah! It's all coming together. Fun? In my hollow stars? To be honest, I love when you sing. Ugh. Wait, who are you talking to? Okay, here we go. I really enjoy your parts in the Bloodhound song. Okay, but what you got to understand about the Bloodhound song is I had somebody, like, helping me sing that. Like, I had somebody telling me, like, when I was off or, like, if my key was bad or, like, like that wasn't necessarily all me. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I did it, air quotes. Like, it was me, but I also, you know, had assistance. It's not like I'm just sitting there in a fucking karaoke booth by myself. Oh, no, that was right, actually. I, I got to put that back. Wait, why isn't that over here? Oh, because this is supposed to be a built-up wall. I'm an idiot. Yeah, the Dead World short cover, though, like, that was, like, a small, small, small part of it. And obviously, I had, like, Betel and Haka and Fleon as a vocal guide to a degree to kind of, like, do multiple takes. Not, like, singing live. Like, I'm sitting there going, uh, oh, that was shit. Uh, that was shit. Ah, that was shit over and over and over again until I'm happy with it. All right, where did I go wrong? Something's wrong here. Something's wrong. This floor is definitely going to need a carpet. It kind of sucks that this is uh, fucked up. Kind of a huge bummer, actually. Welcome back. What did I do wrong? How did this end up like... Ah, uh, man. Hmm. Oh, man. All right, that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll go back around and fix it in a second. Ooh, this guy stinks! Okay, cool. Uh, Mary Cody Ruse, me and a fellow Hakito came up with a duo name for you and Haka since he loves duo slash unit names. Crimson Crow. I was wondering if you like it. I thought it suits both of you quite well. Yeah, go for it. I mean, sure guys is fan titles, right? Who am I to tell you? No, no, that's not official. Actually. <laughs> nah, that's fine. I think it sounds cool as hell. Thank you for the delicious soup, by the way. I mean, I guess you got to ask Haka. I don't know if Haka gives a shit about fan names. Um, but hey, if that's how you want to address it, be my guest. Be a cool band name, actually. Uh, actually, that is not strictly canon. All right. 
Ba -ba -bow -bow. You know, I was talking about karaoke and I totally drifted off and forgot about it. I know a couple people are asking what songs. Um, I don't have a lot picked out right now. I've been fucking around with uh, a cover of Running Up That Hill by um, Loveless. I uh, would probably be able to do some dad rock or whatever. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out as we go. That's my closer on the karaoke statement. Just know that I'm trying and I'm, I'm looking into the possibility of actually like doing a karaoke stream at some point. I promise I'm not ignoring my idol journey. Yeah, that cover does slap. There's also a really uh, good cover of it by, I believe they're called, uh, now listen, I might be butchering this because it has a little O with a slash through it, but I want to say their band's name is Low Spirit. There we go. Everything looks a lot better now. This room would be jarring as hell if I did. I, I gotta put carpet in this room. I gotta put carpet in this room. Placebo, huh? I don't think I've heard Placebo's cover, nah. Well, I don't think this is going to be a bathroom. This will probably eventually be like the upper rooms, which I'll turn into bedrooms or something like that, or like a like tavern rooms, you know, that you can stay in. Uh, a hostel, is that what it's called? Oh good, I brought more up with me. Play Minecraft, you won't. Do it right now, I'm going for the long haul, Wolf Rain. You're gonna be here for a minute if you're waiting for me to finish streaming. What am I missing here? Is this supposed to be in... Mm. Mm. No, that would be wrong somehow. There's supposed to be one right here? go across and find out um oh so there is okay so there's supposed to be a block straight down from there hold on somewhere along the way that got blowed up there we go much better yay okay everything's looking even everything's looking nice this needs to be built in with the orange terracotta, I guess. Until I decide what I'm doing for flooring up here. Cool. What's wrong, buddy? We posted screenshots of our Minecraft builds. Would you rate us? Uh, I hardly think I'm qualified to be raiding any Minecraft builds, but uh, possibly we could do that as like, a, I don't know, a membership thing or something, maybe? Or just like a fun off-brand stream? It's possible. As far as carpet colors up there, I haven't decided yet. I will probably end up with something red, I guess. Yeah, if I had to guess, it'd be something red. But no promises. Oh, oh, that's right, because it was off. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five is where it should be. So, one, two, three, four, five. So it should be poking out right here. So, so far we're right. That's right, that's right, that's right, which means I need one right here is where it's supposed to be, which is right, then I need one right here, and then I need one right here. Did 
Did I? Did I delete too many white blot? I did. I think I did. Uh, shit, hopefully that's right. Is it gonna rain? It looks like it's gonna rain. Uh, let's see, so, ooh, that could have been bad. We got one, two, three over there that are all one out, so one out. And then we've got one, two, three. Okay, so then the next one is one, two out. One, two, three, one, two out, so that's too far. Change my mind. I'm going to make them further out. Okay, so let's add one on each of these. Hold on a second. I know I'm not talking a lot. I'm just thinking right now. Which means this needs to be... Oh, that's why. Okay, so this needs to be wood. Is what was going wrong. Okay. And then this is one out from there. I think we should be symmetrical now. Perfect. Okay. Don't do this, dude. You don't want to do this, dude. Okay. Dude, you've talked more in 1.5 hours than I've talked in the past uh, two days. <laughs> yeah. I tend to run my mouth a lot when I'm playing games. Good, Shadow Cat. Then you become infected. One, two. Okay. Finally. All right. So we finally finished the uh, base level. We moved it up a branch. We just got to get down the last of our little logs. Make sure there's no creepers around real quick. Just do our due diligence before we go. Sorry, bud. Just don't need you scuttling around out here, you know? Uh, so this is supposed to be a log, and then this is supposed to come out, but how far? I guess one more on each side? Oh, I'm missing a log here. I was like, why is that not working? I see. Okay. Ba -ba! Okay. So then what's going on right here? Why isn't that over here? Oh, because of this. Okay. This feels much better. This feels much roomier. It feels much more like an entryway. I like this a lot. I might drop these down into the ground at here. Like I might uh, carve the ground out here to make a sort of plaza and then drop these down. In fact, I think I will do that. I think I'm going to carve a plaza into this area. Maybe like around here and we'll do stairs down into it. So it makes sort of a dip down and then that's going to drop down into the plaza. Cool. Okay. Uh, hmm. Now that we did that, let's start looking at what we're going to do with this, which I think is every other one we decided, right? Essentially, we're like, no, wait. No, 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 no. That can't be right. That can't be right. That can't be right. Because I want it under the white part. To look like it's supporting the uh doll there. Got that doll in him. Okay. So then that would be there, and then this would be here, which would make this here, which would mean this is too much. But you know what? Maybe we just ramp up a little as we go. Nice. Uh, nice. We love to see it.
Okay. Okay. I could also, what I could do, right, is just build out like this so that eventually it just becomes like an actual support. Ooh, wait a minute. Maybe I like that. Shit. Yeah, shit. Maybe I like that better. Damn. All right, we'll do that. I'm going to need a lot of stairs, though. Man, I got to clean out this inventory. Uh, what do I not need right now? I don't need all this copper, that's for sure. Oh, and I got to put more stone in the oven. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Mm -mm. Hmm. So maybe you want to take a, a nap, but I have to eat Christmas dinner soon. Take a nap until Christmas dinner. No pressure, gamer. I don't expect anybody to hang out here uh, any longer <laughs> than they need to. <laughs> I was really happy to find a streamer I like, and the majority of streams are like 1 to 4 a.m. in my time zone, and I can't. Yeah, I try to have some of my streams be friendly to an EU time zone, because I know right now a lot of EU people are struggling to uh, find a streamer that, you know, sits in that time frame. But I also want to still, like, support ESD and stuff, too. So I'm trying to bounce back and forth. I think for now I'm doing a good job at juggling it, but uh, who knows, like, if that'll be for, like, ever if I'm going to be able to do that, or if that's something I'm going to struggle with in the future, but I hope I can juggle it. I think I can. Damn, I'm kind of a sucker for the way this is looking. Damn, yeah. Uh oh. Mm. Let's take a quick look, shall we? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I gotta go get more birch wood, apparently. Let's see, 538. Ooh, it'll... EU gang can watch it before sleep. It's nice. Yeah, I don't know what time it is for EU when I do these. Like, for me, right? like, when I started the stream, right? It was 2 p.m. EST. So I don't know what that looks like for EU gang, but I hope that's good, honestly. <laughs> I, um... Man, I kind of want to make the... I want to use dark stone. Where do you get dark stone? I guess it's really deep in the earth, right? Like, if I could do deep slate stone for this, that'd be really cool. Deep slate cut break. Starts at 7 p.m., 8 p.m. That's pretty good, actually. That's pretty good. Merry Chrys Chrysanthemum Roos and Rosaders. Thank you, Sonny. Merry uh, uh, Crystal uh, crystal Methiquins to you, too. That's a Homestuck reference. Uh... But yeah, I like doing both time frames. The only real problem that pops up with doing both time frames is that it ends up being like exactly 12 hours apart or pretty close to it for me. Uh, so that means that my sleep schedule is super fucked. But I mean, <laughs> when is my sleep schedule not fucked? Whatever. Agreed, Woomy. Agreed. You had a sleep schedule? I mean, a blink schedule? Does that count? All right, we got to go get more birch. Uh. So, time to go find some birch trees to fuck around with. We appreciate your sacrifice. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -mm -mm. Whoa. 
cool. Oh, man. I know some people have been like, when do you fucking sleep or whatever? Uh, on, like, Twitter at me? And the answer is basically never. Like, it, it, I'm probably going to be up at any given time zone tweeting. I can't help it. Or liking tweets or retweeting shit. I do not rest. Oh, yeah, I've got horses out here. I forgot about that. There's also wolves out here, I think. But I think I already put my bones away, huh? Yep. Ooh, a beehive. I could maybe get honey. Hmm. Interesting. Ooh, pumpkins. Wow, there's lots of little resources out here by my little mesa, huh? Hmm. I'm always out on the prowl. Man, the bees in this game are so fucking cute. Look at this bee. Look at this little dude. Are you trapped under that, bud? I got you, champ. See ya. Bye. No sleep, only naps. Minecraft bees heart. Holy shit, there's lavender fields out here too. Is that lavender? I think that's what that is. It's lavender. Hey, little dude. Well, I'll never drink water. I'll never sleep. You can't make me. Bum, bum, bum. Mm -mm. But yeah, be better than I am. Drink your water, eat your veggies, etc., etc. A very shonen protagonist of you, butt crunchies. <laughs> we'll just have to drink enough water to make up for it then. All right, Rusaders. With our powers combined, we can definitely hydrate Ruse. Let's go! Drink, everyone! Drink! Oh. I only have sake? Well, you better get drinking. <laughs> Man, some sake would go hard. I haven't had good sake in a while. I, I, last time I did that, I was at a sushi restaurant, and uh, they gave me some sort of, like, really nice hot melon sake, which was weird. I've never had, like, hot sake. Sake? Am I saying that right? I think it is. Sake. Sake? Sake. Sake. Uh, and, uh, it was really, really tasty. I was like, damn, this goes hard. I wish everything I ever drank was like this. Favorite alcoholic drinks. So I don't drink a lot of alcoholic things because I hate the taste of alcohol. It tastes like, like, nail polish remover to me, no matter what. Um, but when I do drink, I drink things that, like, can mask it to a small degree. I thought something opened a door over there, but it was just a skeleton. So things like strawberry daiquiris. I love drinking screwdrivers. Um... Sake can be okay. I've tried um, soju, but I haven't found one that I really like. I mean, I'll drink it, but it's still... Eh. Hard cider? No. Not today, Pyro. I uh, don't really drink any beer or anything like that. Uh, yeah, you know. I don't really drink a lot, though. I've already said this before, so I won't go on a huge tangent, but I basically only ever drink in social settings, especially if I'm around people who only really feel comfortable if you're drinking, like... There are some people who seem to, like, I don't know if it's because of, like, being self-conscious about them drinking and them feeling like you're judging them, or, like, maybe it just helps them, to like, lower their guard some, but some people, I feel like, are only really comfortable if you're drinking with them, so, uh, typically, those are the situations where I drink. Otherwise, I don't really. The Flanders gang disowns me, I parry that. Yeah, I like sweet red wines, okay, but even those, I could definitely still taste the alcohol. Hey, bud. Guess who's out here? 
Come on, you know you want to come out here and shoot at me. Ooh, ooh, what if you came and got me? Oh, what if you came and got me, though? Are you seriously going to stay over there? You suck. Aha! You missed! <laughs> Am I building the roof now? Not just yet. I will probably build um, one more floor up, on the, or one more, like, brick up on the whites. And then from there, well, I could leave it short. I could leave it too tall. Is it too tall or three tall right now? I guess it's three tall. Hmm. If I leave it three tall and then I do the roof, it'll create this sort of tapered like shortness. Hmm. My favorite foods, um, meat, uh, bread. Uh, I don't know. Welcome back, Leah. <laughs> yeah, it might be too tall. Hmm. It depends. It depends on what we want to do. Okay, so like, um, so a ham sandwich? Uh, not really. I prefer like, I also like starches a lot, like potatoes. Um, I like my meat um, cooked, typically. I do like ham sandwiches, don't get me wrong. I'll get down. I will fuck up a ham and cheddar sandwich um, if it's sharp cheddar. But, uh... So the question here, one second. The question here is, do I want the white to look taller than the first floor? Sometimes that can be pretty cool. Since it overhangs, it can be pretty interesting when this over, like, is bigger than the floor beneath it. We're building the criminal's cut. It's the tavern I'm usually hanging out in. When I'm not hanging out with the uh, armless boys at Gerard's Tavern. You know what's funny? I hate scallop potatoes. Can't stand them. Disgusting. Uh, I like almost any form of potatoes. I do not like scallop potatoes. I like baked potatoes, fries, tater tots, uh, potato salad, mashed potatoes. Um, I like, uh, I really love hash browns. Um, a lot of different types of potatoes, but I do not like scallop potatoes. I don't know what a potato lot key is. Roasted potatoes are okay. They're one of my least favorite ways to eat potatoes. I think my issue with roasted potatoes is you can't get the salt in there very well. You know what I mean? Like, by the time I, like, usually if I'm eating a roasted potato, it may as well be a fucking mashed potato because I'm going to mash a bunch of salt in there and a little bit of butter and stuff. What the hell is a potato smile? I'm trying to decide if I want that. I guess I'll leave this the height it's at because I'm probably going to do a round, like, cone-shaped roof, I guess. Do I want to do a cone-shaped roof? Hmm. Do you have a skincare routine? Uh, not one that I maintain very well, no. I don't like the feeling of lotion on my skin, so typically my skincare routine is make sure you wash your fucking face. <laughs> wash your body. Be in, you know, stand in the water for a while, I guess. I don't know. Uh, per personally, I don't like the feeling of lotion on my skin. It squicks me out a little bit. But I do think that skincare is important. One of my big skincare routines is never seeing the sun. I'm trying to decide if I want to do a cone-shaped roof or if I want to do a... Hmm... I think I kind of have to. I've kind of like forced myself into it with a rounded building. Uh, so I could do a cone for the main body and then I could do like a triangle shape for the front here and have it like insert into the cone. But I feel like that's going to really sell the whole Pokemon Center vibe and I don't really want to do that. I could do triangle, triangle. I could add... Hmm, it's tough. Flat roof? Ah, uh, flat roofs bore me though. A 
pagoda style layer roof. Maybe. I could use platforms to make a really, really subtle dome, essentially. Like, instead of doing, like, full blocks, if I used platforms, you could, like, really pull it in pretty quickly. It would make, like, a pretty simple, pretty shallow dome, which would be a rounded roof, um, which could look cool. Look at this fucking nerd talking about buildings and shit this early in the morning. Shut the fuck up, Haka. How dare you? <laughs> early, I say early in the morning and it's 4 p.m. <laughs> Morning, Haka. What you up to? Actually, I forgot to grab boogies. I just realized. Oops. Bro, I got I got fucking destroyed. <laughs> Let me get <laughs> your jump scare. Life. What do you mean destroyed? What happened? I um I I ate pork and my my stomach oh. doesn't do good with pork. What? Yeah. Why? <laughs> it's I don't know. It's like my kryptonite, bro. Pork? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Literally, I can eat anything, but pork is just like what really destroys me. Huh. Oh my god, I forgot how <laughs> creepy my Jump scare! Is. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, the Sinukuni debuff. I don't I don't know, man. I don't know where the fuck they get this pork from. This shit didn't happen in Japan. Wait, so it's just <laughs> the pork where you're at? Yeah. Oh, something's wrong with that pork chip. <laughs> or yeah, something the way man. you're the way you're making the pork. Maybe it's the seasoning. Uh I think it's just probably the the quality of life they probably give it here compared oh. to like because you know like in J in Japan everything's like super like they measure like every step they take with everything. I see. I see. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's probably why it's like you know of course like more sanitary and stuff like that. Man, I need to go eat meat over there then because I eat like dude, it's crazy. I'm not gonna lie, here in Southern Elysium, I'm eating meat fit for dogs, like dog meat. No, felt, felt. <laughs> no, that's exactly how I feels here too. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I love pork Except... and beef and chicken and salmon and fish. Oh, and catfish. dude, <laughs> dude. If we ever off collab, if we ever go to Japan together, we have to fucking do like a yakiniku stream, dude. That'll be sick. What's yakiniku? <gasps> oh. Oh, it's the Holy Grail, dude. So it's basically they bring you like, you know, like like Wagyu beef, like beef tongue, and they bring you like a basically anything you want. And you basically grill it like right in front of you. So if you want medium rare, you can just let it there for three seconds to uh, like, like turn it, turn it and then eat it easy. It's I would never so leave. Good. Is it an all you can eat? Uh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> And I know, I know the good one, dude. Ooh. Have I ever told you that I go into what I call a meat haze? Oh, what's that? So <laughs> that happened the other day, actually. Uh, oh. I don't, I don't typically remember to eat a lot. Like I'll forget to eat for like days at a time or whatever. Um, okay. But then when I remember to eat, I, I will sometimes go into what I call the meat haze, which is where for some reason I stop feeling the effects of like being full i can no longer process being full and if you put enough meat in front of me i'll just keep eating meat like non-stop like the other yeah. day i ate like eight chicken legs uh <laughs> i remember like a month ago i was at a family thing or whatever in southern mm -hmm. elysium and i ate uh three hamburgers two hot dogs a bratwurst uh two steaks <laughs> and a bunch of potato salad Holy and i was just shit. like oh no i've entered my meat haze <laughs> <laughs> my family's like stop stop you're fine. I'm no, like, dude, uh, I kind of like, no. <laughs> that's literally me. Like when I discover yakiniku and I discovered the fact that it's literally all you can eat. It's like, that's literally me. Mm -hmm. Like I can order like legit, like eight rice bowls. And they, they also ask you like, do you want a medium, small or large? And I'm just like, give me the biggest one you got. <laughs> I, well, I feel like when I'm at those all you can eat type things with like variety, I have to eat a bunch of small ones to make sure I don't like either get tired of the taste or don't get full too quick. Cause I always feel mm -hmm. bummed because there's always dude. one more thing I want. There is this, um, to the place I went with my manager, actually, um, there is this, like, they basically have, like, a rice bowl, which is, like, you know, like, uh, it's, I mean, not rice ball, bowl, like, like, a little, like, bowl, right? Oh, yeah, 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 it, yeah, 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 it has, like, uh, sesame oil, it has, like, all the seasonings and stuff like that, it also has, like, seaweed, but, dude, Ooh. let me tell you that, that with the meat, you put, like, a meat, and you make, like, a little wrap, it's so good. That sounds delicious. <laughs> so, you know, so I grew good. up never having sesame oil, I had the, uh... <laughs> Southern Elysium debuff, I guess. No, uh, my family never used sesame oil, and man, that's so good. It adds that sauce, like such a nice nutty flavor. Mm -hmm. I use it in my fried rice all the time now. Dude, we don't have, I mean, we have sesame oil here too, but it's really not a common, like, you know, like, 
it's not a common seasoning you would really use here unless you're doing something specific or you got you know conditioned to the flavor basically <laughs> yeah. but dude there's like so many flavors that i tried when i went to japan that literally like my freaking like palate just expanded by Good. how much like shit i had it's just like oh god i can't be normal again i can never I miss... go back to being normal <laughs> yeah i miss eel sauce so much dude oh. eel sauce is so good eel dude. sauce is so good you're so right yeah, for that it's, it's insane it's crazy i love eel sauce. every time i every time i join them I, I, I start talking about food <laughs> i'm so sorry you're torturing everyone no i'm just kidding it's fine <laughs> <laughs> how's your christmas treat yeah what are you up to Ah, uh, nothing much. Just uh, making a waiting room because I just woke up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> good dude! Holy shit, man! <laughs> like, I, was, I was so destroyed. I was like, I spent the whole like, like, like freaking like, um, like three a.m. in the bathroom. I was like, <laughs> 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 crying to yourself gently. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But then after, I was like, I was like, I was like, okay, I'm okay. Eat some more. Oh no, <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm fine now. Yum, 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 yum. Bro, it's 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 you know it's like once of the year kind of deal, so I really don't you know. Honestly, I don't blame you. It, like even a little. Yeah. Bit. I'd be doing mm -hmm. the same damn thing. It's so good, dude. I'm kind of hungry shit. now, though. Damn it. You're hungry? A little. You what did you have up. for 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 creamy? Nothing yet. You wait. You do do, do you celebrate Christmas? Uh, I mean, I acknowledge it. I don't typically if if I'm around family, I'll celebrate. But typically, it's just another mm. day. Uh, I'm gonna give myself something, all right? I'm, I think I'm gonna make like a pork loin, probably like a mushroom pork loin or whatever, which I mean, I'm being Ooh. lazy. I'm not even gonna like, <laughs> I, no, don't ooh me yet. I'm not making it. I bought one of those pre-made ones uh, cause I'm too lazy to do it today, but I'm gonna make mashed That's potatoes fine. and steamed broccoli. That sounds good, dude. Holy shit. I love mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. Mush potat, my favorite, my beloved. My favorite foods, despite being a huge meat lover are potato salad but it has to specifically be made the way my stepmom makes it or hot oh. pasta salad oh yeah i don't like cold pasta salad so I you like it hot, hot. Yeah, okay yeah, yeah, yeah. you get it you get it everybody I always like... looks at me like i'm a fucking freak when i say i like hot, no, pasta no, salad, yeah. hot potato salad no 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 dude like people also look at me like a freak because like for me in order to eat my food it needs to be boiling well i don't know about that but Definitely hot. No, it, it, it needs to be fucking like molten lava, dude. I need to fucking like, like, it needs to like burn the roof of my mouth. <laughs> you're trying to sizzle it. off your taste buds while you're eating? <laughs> no, that's how I like it, dude. I mean, fair, fair. The, the only food that I can tolerate like cold is probably like a mac and cheese. Uh, I don't like cold mac and cheese. I like hot mac and cheese. Oh, have you ever done bacon in your mac and cheese? Uh, bacon? Yeah, mac make and bacon and cut it up. Just toss it in your mac and cheese. It makes it 10 times better immediately. The one I want to try is the baked one because like I always see like mm -hmm. uh, Elysium families have like the baked one and they basically put like breadcrumbs or stuff like that and like we just don't do it like that in Cedar Curry and it looks so delicious. It's pretty all right. Like, I mean, I've tried some baked mac and cheese. It, um, sometimes I feel like the breadcrumbs honestly take away from it a little bit. Like they can make it a little chewy at weird intervals or crunchy when I'm like, oh, that's a funky mm. texture with my mac and cheese. But it's all right. If, if you use good white cheddar, I think it tastes delicious though. That's the thing. Oh, cheese is also ass here. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, if you really want to have like good cheese, you have to buy like the big um, like not cheese wheels, but like the big like what's it called um, like the like the cheese slices, and oh. those the they, they cost a fortune, dude. Oh. Holy shit. That sucks. I mean, I actually yeah. was I grew up hating cheese. I didn't start liking cheese until like, the last couple of years actually. Uh, How can you hate cheese? I don't know. I just I despise it. I would take it off of pizza even. Like I'd take the toppings off, take the cheese off, and then put the toppings back on the pizza. <laughs> I'll fucking kill you. Listen, dude. I was also a neurotic little freak who ate pizza with like a fork and knife. So. <laughs> oh my god. You were one of those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, lord. Ah. A little ooh, monster. Uh, I kind of lost respect for you, buddy. There you had respect for me. That. I mean, I have respect for everyone. That's a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> but, but that's also a bonus because, like, if you take off the cheese of your pizza, you take off the toppings. That means I could eat it. So you no, know, no, it's, no. It's, you could have my cheese, not my toppings. Don't do that. Oh, uh, oh. So you're a picky motherfucker. You Hell take yeah. off the freaking cheese and Fuck you take yeah. off the toppings and you put the toppings back. No, no, no. I was a picky motherfucker. Now I'll eat anything, eat once at least. I'll try anything and give it a fair shake. Uh, 
One thing I realized I don't like doing this is octopus. Mm. It, ooh, and black bean paste. Ugh, can't stand that. Oh. It tastes like shoveling dirt directly into my mouth. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 I feel that way with ses. Uh, with, not, not, what's it called? Um, Fuck. black sesame. Black sesame, like the black sesame paste, really made me feel like that too. And oh. also the, the sweet bean as well. It was like ooh. I can't squid too. You. Squid can be a little, a little. Hmm. It depends. I have to be in the mood for like squid. Squid, huh? Is it better than octopus? Octopus is way better. Let me tell you that. I really don't like either. Huh? From what I've seen. I mean, I could be wrong. One, two, three. Make it one. Oh, I see what I did wrong here. Sorry, I'm it's looking at my build at the same time. <laughs> nah, no worries, dude. It's like a, it's, it's like a difference in like texture as well, honestly. Oh, I see. I see. Mm-hmm. One, two, it depends on how like you eat it and stuff like that. But like the squid that I had at sushi was not not for me. Oh, <laughs> it was, yeah, yeah. And that's like a lot, you know. It it takes me it takes a lot for me to be like, yeah, this is not for me. <laughs> Fair. Yeah, so I had I octopus to eat in anything. sushi the first time, and I was like, yuck, no, thank you, fuck no. Also, mochi, I don't like mochi, dude. Mo I, you know, I actually don't like mochi either. I heard about how good it was, and I was like, oh, this is going to be fire. And I'm like, mm, dude, it's okay. They hyped, they hyped it up for me so much. Like, the whole, like, oh, my God, Mochi's like amazing in Japan. You should try it. And I was like, uh, no. I don't know what it even is. Like, isn't it like a sweet, like, like. So to be fair, here's the thing. I've never had real mochi. Like, I've had, like, the frozen kind that you buy at, like, the fucking market or whatever. And then you, like, Oh, what, what ice cream? Yeah, yeah. Ah, I heard that one's good compared to it because I I had like, uh, um, collab cafe mochi, mochi, which is actually not that like you know good. Apparently, it's just for pictures and shit. Uh -huh. But then I had like regular mochi because I was like, no, ain't no way this is that bad. Mm -hmm. And then I was just like, no, it is that bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. <laughs> it's 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 really the texture. Like I'm a, I'm a, I'm a picky texture eater. Um, oh yeah yeah yeah. That was like, yeah. I tend to be pretty yeah. okay with texture for the most part. I know some people struggle with texture in their food, like um, like bacon fat, for example, or like fat on your mm. steak. I love. Oh that no, shit. I love that shit. Yeah, that's good. Oh, um, do you I like you feel about tea? watermelon? Oh watermelon. no, I like bubble tea. I like bubble tea. I like mm, sometimes. I sometimes like bubble tea. I feel like it doesn't add a lot. I would rather just drink a glass of fucking tea at that point. But it's it's okay. Mm. Uh, how do I feel about watermelon? Love watermelon. It's delicious. Oof, I don't like watermelon. Why not? Uh, the texture, dude. What do you the mean the texture? texture, texture dude. Fine. It's there like, is no texture. Dude, there is texture. There's absolutely texture there. No. It just... It, th th there is. There is. There it, is. It's I, like I, biting into a fucking packing peanut. It's fine. You love it. That's bad. No, 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 no. It's good. It's got a good it's, mouth crunch. Bro, I mean, yeah, yeah. It has a good... like. Which is kind of funny because I love iceberg lettuce. Like, whenever I put it in, like, rolls and shit for the crunchy munchy but whenever you give me like watermelon i'm like eh, 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 eh. <laughs> yeah <laughs> i stopped functioning it's like eh. mm. no I, I, don't, I don't like it that much i'm a watermelon liker sorry i'm not a watermelon <laughs> hater i still respect you don't worry oh <laughs> that's more than i can say for you huh <laughs> <laughs> I, I just don't like it man it just doesn't feel like ew, i don't know that's me fair. no like me no like yeah, we should not go that all. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Not good at all is taking it too far. Take it back. <laughs> um, I don't like it, man. No, I get it. Okay, so one, two. One, two, three. That doesn't Let me know uh, my weakness. Yeah, just give me like watermelon pork and it'll like, explode. <laughs> <laughs> now I know what your weakness is, fool. Dude, I like literally get fucking destroyed. I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Boom. There goes Haka. It's like, it's like an immediate explosion. <laughs> God damn. That's kind of fucking funny. Though. Is it? Yeah. Is I mean, my, oh. my, my pain is funny to you? Always, yeah. Bro, what the fuck? I'm your, <clears throat> I'm your senpai. You should respect me. Oh, yeah? Name every album my senpai's ever released then. Uh, well, uh, Shattered Wings, uh -huh. um, Raven's Paradigm, uh -huh. um, uh, Dead World. Uh -huh. Flex. Uh huh. That's about it. No, nope, they're singles, by the way. Wrong. <laughs> oh, uh, always die. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. What else? What else have I, um, 
What else? Uh, that's that's about it, I think. Hmm, hmm, hmm. They count as albums because they're singles. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> I, I accept that. You know what I really like? I, I didn't know what this word meant until recently, but I really like concept albums. Ooh, dude. Holy shit. I have so many ideas for like concept albums. It could, they could like, kind of go crazy inside my brain. Drop one. <laughs> Drop one? Dude, I, I would love to. I really wanted to do like a like like a concept album that has always been in my mind. Mm. It's like you know make make like a concept album about like imposter syndrome and stuff like that. Oh, that could be cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you know like and like ma like theme every song around like the feeling of it. Like you know anxiety. Like you know like self doubt, imposter syndrome, and stuff like that. Shit, that so point, it goes like a fucking, fucking hard mental illness concept album. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 kind of like that, but it's more like you know like sort of like uh, how my brain uh, my brain deals with those feelings and stuff like that mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah yeah that makes yeah, sense yeah yeah it's like a little window in my brain sort of <laughs> i always like those though man I, there's this guy um fuck what's his name it's called kmac 102 oh no, wait i'm bullshitting his name kmac wait let me actually where the fuck did I, I get a potato sorry a zombie <laughs> probably zombie. oh shit i can start a um, potato farm that's actually pretty big it's KMAC 2021. He started doing like guitar memes, like okay. legit like guitar, guitar memes of YouTube, but then he dropped like the thickest album ever. It was like, holy fuck. Oh. <laughs> like, like, god damn. <laughs> you haven't heard it yet. Do, do you like Mega Man? I love Mega Man. Oh, have you heard the Proto Men? The Proto Man? The no. Proto Men. So the Proto Men released two concept albums. The first of which follows Mega Man after the death of Proto Man. Uh, the second Ooh. one follows Dr. Light when he's a young man and how he came to make Mega Man. It's pretty cool. Oh, shit. Is there, there's a band called The Proto Man? The Proto Men, yeah. Damn, I have not heard that. What the fuck? Ooh, it's good. It's good. Uh, another concept album I really like is Tarot by Aether Realm. Oh, yeah, you show me that one. Mm. You show me that one. It's really fucking good. Oh, yeah. I love shit like that, man. Like, you know, like, like basically making, like, songs themed around, like, a topic. Yeah! Or songs, like, themed, like, you know, it kind of, like, gives you, like, that extra push to, like, you know, kind of, like, go sick with it. <laughs> I know, and, it, like, <laughs> telling a narrative, if you can, like, sort of vaguely continue a narrative, I think it hits the same notes as, like, Disney villain songs, where it's, like, you have that extra yeah. fire because it has a, it has a visual almost in your mind. Like, it's trying to tell you something. Yeah, exactly. That's why I love character songs. Like... In anime media, like you probably don't are not familiar with this, but like there are certain like, animes that basically make like character thong like char thongs songs um <laughs> character songs like themed around like the character. Uh -huh. And it's basically like the voice actress singing as the character and stuff like that. Like Kudo awesome. Black Butler has a lot of those, which is my favorite like character song album. Huh. Yeah, no, I don't yeah. think I've ever um heard that. Heard any It's of good those shit, either. dude. I'd be down I would love for a, I would love for us to ever like release like a character song album someday. That'd be so Ooh, cool, cool dude. What kind yeah, of genre do you think you'd be in? No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, obviously, uh, <laughs> chill hop. No, fuck that. Yeah, same, like, same. Uh, probably metalcore or some shit like that, dude. Mm -hmm. uh, although it'd be really funny if I just dropped like the fattest like jazz song ever. You know, Ooh, like, <laughs> okay, let's, let's do metalcore, but then slides a fucking saxophone in there when no one's listening. Dude, Ooh. it's like freaking like uh, I think this is this is a band called Checkers or something like that. Mm -hmm. Or uh, fuck, I always like mess up their name, but it's really good shit. They they mix like jazz fusion with like metalcore and shit. That's it's like so good. Cool as hell. It goes hard. It goes fucking hard, dude. Oh, I believe it really it. does. Like that's the cool thing about music. You really don't have to like you know like think too much about it. Like it just comes naturally sometimes. It's just like oh shit, this might not be like what I usually listen uh, to, like, you know, like in my day to day, but you can just go crazy with it. It comes naturally, <laughs> he says. Yeah. Oh, okay. Not I mean, me. Dude. It's fine. No, dude, shut the fuck up. Music is like the last uh, alien frontier for me. Music is the last thing where I'm like, I 100% do not understand this. And mm. uh, for a long time, I was like, I don't want to. Uh, but now I want to. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're an idol, bro. You kind of have to. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I get it, though. It's 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 like whenever something is like, you know, very like foreign, it can be like, you know, like a little bit like nerve wracking. Like, uh, like at least something foreign for me is just like, you know, like first like person shooter games and stuff like that. Uh. It's, it's stuff that I would like to be good someday. But at the same time, it really scares me and stuff like that. But, you know, it's like. Something I would like to at least try to be decent on, like someday, you know? Yeah, stuff fuck like that. 
Right. Mm-hmm. So when are you hopping on Hunt Showdown with it? <laughs> Bro, it, like whenever, like literally, like I see you guys playing Hunt. It looks so fun. It is. It, it legit looks so good. <laughs> it's hard, but it's a lot of fun. You just got to train your was... ears. Yeah, you're freaking like elf ears, dude. Like, ah! it's, it's... <laughs> you don't have elf eyes. You're like, Roos, what do your elf ears listen? What do your elf ears hear? <laughs> yeah. That's my secret cap. I hear everything. Uh, I'm always listening. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always listening. Uh, what do I want to do with the? Are you still working your little house? Yeah, yeah. I'm making a plaza right now outside the front. Holy shit! I'm working on doing a sort of a dip down. I think I want to have like stairs that come down and then stairs that go back up into the house. Uh, but I'm debating if I want to do like platform flooring. I don't hmm. think I want to use birch because I already use birch for the floorboards in the main house. Oh, okay. Um, so I'm just debating if I want to use like smooth stone or if I want to do may, may, maybe a log uh, floor, like you know, like the like the natural logs, so mm-hmm. it kind of looks like homey. Good. Bro, you know what I wish Minecraft had? Fucking piranhas, dude. I would have like oh. a piranha pool at the very entrance. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Just seeing them jump, like trying to like eat people. Wait a fucking second. It's my village. There's mine carts right across from my fucking tavern. Oh, that's a mine shaft. Yeah. Huh. I never realized running across this bridge dozens of times. Well, you know what that means? Another stream exploring, baby. Let's go. Where I'm gonna go next to find my iron, probably. Mm. Oh yeah, you're 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 playing this the natural way, right? Huh? You're not using you're not taking use of our benefits that we have in the in the common area. No, I don't need any help. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Mm. It's like having my own like little ant colony, but you're the ant. <laughs> <laughs> That only works until I come to kill you, Haka Senpai. No, no, dude. Imagine being eaten by your own ant colony. Damn, what a way to go. Holy shit, dude. I mean, out of everyone, and of of, of course, Gerard, you look like you'll be into cannibalism, I'll be honest with you. Oh, absolutely. I'm not into it. Like, it's not a thing I love, but I mean, I'll fucking do it. It's it's not something you actively, like, pursue to do. Yeah, like, I'm not out here like, god damn, I wish I could cannibalize somebody. But on the other hand, like, fuck, I'll cannibalize somebody. Wait, you you don't? No. (laughs) Oh shit! Okay, I mean, my bad. Um, <laughs> you do? <laughs> How is it every time I talk to you, we talk about cannibalism at least a little bit? Yeah, I I know it's it's it's, it's a recurring common topic. <laughs> that is weird. <laughs> nah, man, it just shows that we're in the same level, dude. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see. We're both crazy like that. Outrageously crazy. Like, like when we're sick with it. Oh shit. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't see anything wrong with cannibalism. Jokes aside, like, fuck it. I mean, what are you gonna do? I that mean, for, su- for, sur- for survival like purposes, I really don't see anything bad, you know? Yeah, what are you gonna do with that? Yeah. What, are you but gonna bury the them? I'm not burning calories on that. If it's a survival situation, I'm just gonna start chomping them legs, champ. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> right, but what, what if we eat criminals, bro? All right, well, hold on. Here's the thing. <laughs> see, Haka, here's the thing <laughs> about eating criminals. <laughs> if you incentivize if you incentivize criminality, it makes uh-huh. it so suddenly, mysteriously, there's a lot more uh, convictions. Isn't that weird how more people get convicted when you incentivize criminality? <laughs> uh. Which is to say, if you were like, oh, well, what if we just eat the criminals, dude? It's like, oh, okay, that's great. Until the government's like, you know what? Actually, this is now a felony, and that's a felony, and this is a felony. Uh, man, stupid government. I know. It's always the fucking government, dude. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Dude, I had <laughs> I had a tangent in one of my socks of those and they were like, but wait, like it you should eat them depending on like what they did. It goes like, yeah, if they shoplifted a little bit, I could just like nibble on their finger, you know, like just like a small little like punishment, like a <laughs> 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 <It's> like, <laughs> What if they stole a bubble gum? Just like I mean <laughs> Maybe like a little cannibalism doesn't hurt as like a, a capital punishment. But. 
<laughs> yeah, I used to think that when I was like a kid or whatever. I was like, oh yeah, well, you know, I'm just like we should, uh, we should, we should do like if we don't understand the human brain, why don't we just do open brain surgery on criminals? And then I realized, oh, that would really incentivize making a lot more convictions and uh, charging people more often with what they <laughs> no, did. Yeah. So it's probably a bad idea. It would be in the government's interest then to have more criminals. Dude, they'll arrest me for fucking jaywalking. Exactly. I'll be like, split open the fucking surgery table. Yeah, we don't want to do that. I think it's easy to have that black and white mentality of like, well, this person's bad and this person's good, but there's a lot of nuance. Mm. And uh, frankly, it's hard to find a criminal that's worse than a politician. No. <laughs> Hey, I didn't on, say man. that. That's not Cover's opinion. I, hey, I take that back. Hey, hey, come on, man. I'm the president of the Hakitos, man. You really, right. you, really you really can't do this to me, man. All right. All right. You're free. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm joking. <laughs> 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 no, I'm sure most people get into politics because they want to do good. They have a desire to change uh, the world for the better. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's why I'm running for the president of Earth. Just you wait. Same. I, wait a minute. You're my Just competition? You no, we're in the same party. Hmm. We're just going to be like a like like a tag team president. Damn you know? straight, we're in the same party. What's that? What's that? <laughs> Whoever parties the hardest becomes president of Earth. That's how it works. Holy shit, dude! How, how are you with alcohol? Are you good drinking? Are you are you bad at drinking? Um, it's hard for me to get drunk because I tend to. Me too. I, I'm not like. I'm not saying I'm, I'm. I'm honestly kind of a lightweight, but the problem is, as soon as I feel myself getting tipsy, I start to like self-diagnose like i go down a checklist on my body i'm like okay fingers are getting numb i'm getting dizzy i'm losing balance and it like freaks me out that i might lose control or like stop being within my faculties and i think that fear brings me back into sober sobriety no quickly. me too me too whenever i feel like i'm losing control I'm like whoa wait a second <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 like it's been a while since I, I've been like you know like shit faced like absolutely like destroyed. That only happened like in high school. Oh, but after wait a minute. after um, <laughs> that only happened um in, in um um yeah, that only happened in, in when I was uh, of course um uh, drinking legal H. Yes. Oh yeah, um, okay, uh, that's yeah, good. Yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah 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 that's yeah yeah mm -hmm, um, yeah. Um but then I um 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 uh, I developed brain cells that sort of you know helped me like mature as a person. Uh. -uh. And that's when I was like, nah, this shit ain't hitting anymore, dude. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> Honestly, not a single uh, ounce of blame there because, I don't know, I grew up in a... <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm trying to avoid trauma dumping. Let me think for a second. Uh, <laughs> I had good examples of why not to have too much alcohol a lot yeah. when I was younger. Oh, yeah. uh, and I think for a long time, I grew up resenting people who drank and resenting uh, drinking as like a form of mental weakness or something like that. And I think the reason I actually started drinking um, later is because I realized I was using it as a sort of moral high ground. Like I realized mm. it, even if I didn't want to subconsciously, I thought I was better than people who drank. No, yeah, 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 yeah. exactly, exactly, exactly. Because I remember when I was like, you know, like younger and I was like, oh, look at those dummies drinking. Ha <laughs> ha, stupid, stupid. Yeah. Stup it. And now I'm just like, mm, I'm beer. Yeah. <laughs> so I started drinking because of that. And I mean, I only really drink socially now, but I've yeah, me too. only been like drunk, drunk once. And uh, mm. that was great because the police showed up. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Which is wild because it was the nerdiest, lamest shit you could possibly imagine. It wasn't even like a wild party. It was like four, <laughs> fuck, no, five friends, six friends. Six Play friends were with me. <laughs> yeah, we were fucking like talking about uh, the D and D campaign I was running. We were playing a board game and being somewhat rowdy. Don't get me wrong. And then the fucking mm. police answer the door and everybody's passed out on the ground, like in the living room. And I'm like, <laughs> I, I come out of my room, you know, because I'm like, whatever. I'm sleep. I get the bed. I'm the one hosting. So I'm in my room. Mm -hmm. I come out fucking shirtless. Like, what the hell? Who's banging to the door? And then I go to the door and I answer the door and the police are there and they're like, hey, we got a noise complaint and that there's some domestic violence going on. They heard some yelling. <laughs> I was like, sir, unless I kick the shit out of all six of the people behind me and knock them clean unconscious, there's no domestic violence happening right now. Uh, we were just shit. chilling and drinking and playing board games. And he's like, okay, we'll keep it down. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I just imagine you coming out with your wizard hat, like, what's the problem, officer? I was wearing a pot on my head right before I opened the door. I took the pot off. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I, I think that's probably the reason why they just like, why don't you like, okay, yeah, all right, you guys keep it quiet. <laughs> it was like the lamest, least like partying energy you've ever heard. There was no like fighting or wrestling or anything. Like, yeah, we laughed a lot. I think we played some Mario yeah. Kart or something, but whatever. 
Mm. Wild. Damn, dude, you guys party hard. Yeah, you South know. <laughs> we go we go fucking crazy. We go stupid. <laughs> Man, I'm I'm kinda sad that like, you know, growing up I was never exposed to like, you know, like like fantasy stuff, like magic and mm -hmm. stuff like that, like Dungeons and Dragons. Because like, if I were exposed to that, dude, I'll be a little freak. I'll be like, <laughs> I roll, I roll my dice to take all actions in my life. <laughs> you know, it's never too late to be a little fucking freak. I can oh, help dude. you. Fuck yeah, I'm all for it. <laughs> I will train you to be a little freak bastard. Gotta head out to face the horrors of the working. Uh, oh no. Uh, good luck, Grace. And thank you for the delicious soup. Have a good Christmas, Rudis and Haka. Ah. Good shoot. Thank you, Grace. Haka, I still haven't decided what flooring I'm using. I've been too invested in our conversation. What have I done? Natural wood. Nah, I don't think so. J try it. Try it. Get natural log and put it there. And but I have so much natural log looks. already on the building. Look. Well, yeah, it gives it a nice contrast. It makes it like a sandwich. I don't want a sandwich. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's, it's a good sandwich, you know? Mmm. I could try stripped oh, logs. Oh, stripped logs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That could, that could. Yeah, I think, I think it'll be pretty good. Maybe like a shade darker tender birch. Oh, this is oak. So I'd have to find dark oak. Wait, mm. isn't that, isn't that birch? No, this is oak. I could do birch. Oh yeah. Try birch then if it's a different one. Yeah. Let's see what birch yeah. looks like stripped and we'll see what oak looks like stripped and we'll decide based on that though. I think I used all Wait. of my birch. I is that not birch? Oh, no, I have birch right here. This is birch. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's like creamier. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, you see my vision there? I see your vision. I see your vision. Bro, trust me. I'm a, I'm a um, interior designer. What does it look like stacked next to each other? It's not too bad, I guess. It just feels natural, you know? Merry Christmas, Chaco. Yeah. All right. We'll try it out. We'll give it a shot. Uh, I do need to have some stairs that lead down. So we'll do the oak, I think, because I already have a ton of it. Um, so I'm just going to dig into here and then we'll just drop it down and then I'll do some stairs. Actually, I don't need to do the border. Save myself some oak. Ooh, Chaco. Thank you for the gifted memberships. You're too kind. Wow, thank you for giving him memberships. He's just a little boy. I'm just a little guy. He's tiny, but he's nice, I promise you. Well, nice. Hmm. He has... He, he, he's scared of projection. What'd you just say to me? <laughs> he's scared of projection. No, I'm not! <laughs> he's just scared of showing kindness because he's afraid of showing weakness. I'm not afraid of anything. Except for the things I'm afraid of, which is a lot of things. <laughs> what are you What's like your worst fear? Um, probably being tortured, I guess. Oh, dude, yeah, that one's damn. That one's fucked up. Yeah. Oof. I never thought about that one. I can accept a lot of types of death. Hmm. Honestly, the way I process fear is different now. Anyway, I've realized like lately that the way I process fear is um. Uh, it's not how I processed fear when I was a kid. Anyway, uh, I think somewhere along the line, I just realized that like panicking about things serves no purpose. So I'm just pretty calm in most situations. Even when I'm like fucking scared out of my mind, I just tend to be pretty chill about it. Mm, yeah. Cause he feels like it's like the most logical thing to be right. You kind of like analyze the situation you're in. And then you're like, you know, if you, I feel that sometimes in certain situations, my brain also like, it makes me think like, if I get scared, I lose, you know? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's, it's like, it's kind of fucked up to think that way sometimes, but uh, you know, it's, it's kind of how my brain helps you cope with it too. Definitely. You know, what's mm. funny is I think I ended up developing one. It's, it's what I call, <laughs> why do I have terms for all this stupid shit? Meat haze. Uh, it's what I call tornado fear. Um, oh, so I grew up in an area with like tons of tornadoes or whatever. Uh, and you get so used to it that you just don't really think about it anymore. And like a lot of people will just go out and sit on the porch or whatever and watch the tornado. No big deal. Uh, because you realize after a certain point, mm. there's just really fucking nothing you can do about it. Like if a tornado is going to kill you, it's going to kill you. So you stop yeah. being afraid of it and you just kind of like, eh, whatever, it's here. I'll, I'll just accept that it's here. And you just don't really process that fear. And I guess I've just taken that into a lot of my fears or aspects of life. Mm. Like I used to be afraid of heights, right? And uh, Oh, yeah. I had a fear of flying. 
but I realized I'm only afraid of the act of getting on the plane once I'm on the plane and in the air. Much like a tornado, I no longer have any control of the situation and like yeah. my fear goes away. Like I'll sleep like a fucking baby on a plane. Being getting <laughs> yeah. to the plane is scary. Being on the yeah, plane yeah, yeah, means yeah, yeah, nothing. Yeah. I'm I'm mostly scared of the airport and the security and not yeah. the plane itself. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. <laughs> that's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's mainly what I'm scared of. Like being in the plane itself, like it's just like, oh, it is what it is. If this shit crashes, well, whatever, you know. Mm. Yeah, I really can't control it because it's just like you know, if 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 I start freaking out or I start giving my brain like scenarios that you know are most likely not gonna happen because apparently uh, traveling in a plane is like the safest shit you can do. Yeah, I've heard it's actually really um, yeah. really safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's it, it you know it, it all it, it's it's like a like how would say like a at least like a five percent probability of happening you know but it's never zero. Well, <laughs> nothing's ever zero. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Like a stone cutter. I need to figure that out. Stone cutter. But in a boat, you'll never see me in a fucking boat, dude. Holy shit. No, fuck boats. No, thank you. Oh, yeah, fuck, me. Iron. Yeah, fuck, <laughs> fuck boats, dude. God damn. I gotta get some iron. Yeah, you're never gonna catch me on the ocean. I know the Crockett's coming for me, and yep. I'm about to give him the chance. Yep, 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 me too. If I snooze, I lose, and let me tell you... Night, Gale! Those, those, are, those are hungry puppies. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I got those, yeah. little, those little grippers. Put those grippers away! Dude, oh my god, the ocean's so fucking scary. Fuck the ocean. Fuck getting anywhere near it. Why do you think I live in yeah. Southern Elysium? Really <laughs> oh God, dude. I, I'm scared. <laughs> I get scared. Can't blame you. Uh, I need a torch just to get in this little tomb here. When are you getting on Minecraft? Me, I'm working on some shit, bro. Oh, so you hate me? No, I don't hate you. I'm just a very busy champagne. <laughs> I'm a busy <laughs> champ. <laughs> That's it. I'm killing, you. I'm killing you with a rock. <laughs> Ooh, there's a tre present in here. Dude, this is a fucking like, whenever I call myself a senpai, I kind of cringe a little, but I think it's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like the, ah, uh, uh. <laughs> ah, oh. It's like, oh. <laughs> I know that feeling. Yeah. Hey, yo, shit's getting spicy out here. There's some, some zombies. It's getting stinky. Oh, are you in the, are you in the mine shaft? Yeah, I decided I'd poke in here for a bit, dig around, see if I can find some actual Ooh. iron. But I'm also trying to maintain conversation, but memorize my path through here so I can come back if I need to. Damn, look at him. He's thinking. I'm gaming. I'm gaming. Oh, my God. MLG. Watch this 360 no-scale. Ah! See? Holy that was shit. Sick, right? That was insane, dude. You're, you're sick with it. You're uh, good with it. <laughs> I know. They should sign you to a uh, face clan, but for Minecraft. I'm actually in face clan for Animal Crossing, believe it or not. Oh, dude, you too? Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, I thought the offer was like, you know, individual, man. Well, I'll see you in the next season. I think we're gonna be on the same team, probably. All right, okay, okay, okay. We're, we're gonna have the great, like, uh, like the great turnip sh showdown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever grows the biggest turnip wins. Dude, I want to play one of those. Um... Farming games, uh, but specifically, Ooh. I want to try out Rune Factory because I hear it's really good. Oh, Rune Factory is good. People really like Rune Factory. Do I have any more food? I don't. I gotta get out of here. Actually, oops. Dude, I, I kind of want to play like, like Harvest Moon, but at the same time, I got Stardew Valley, and I gonna kind of got hooked on it. I can't really get into Stardew Valley, oddly enough. <gasps> Why not? I don't know. I, I genuinely don't understand what it is about that game that fails to hook me, but it fails to hook me. What the fuck is wrong with you? I, I don't know. It just doesn't cannot, quite scratch the right itch somehow. I cannot believe this, dude. I oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, need to, I need to sit down. Yeah, Otherwise, well, you better. Down. Hold on. <laughs> how do you not? How do you not like Stardew? Dude, Stardew Valley like literally connects my brain into like my Zen mode. It's just like, oh, I'm peaceful now. I think it's the like daytime cycle that annoys the piss out of me, and I want to spend more best. time. Nah, that's I think I want more best. time. Dude, that's the best thing ever because it feels like you know, like you have purpose. Uh, nah, I just want to vibe. Like if I want to vibe and I want to farm, I want to vibe and I want to farm. You know what? I uh, unironically I think is one of the better mm -hmm. farming simulators. Which one? Valheim. <laughs> no, yeah, Valheim was really fun. Dude, but the thing about Valheim is that if you play with a group of friends 
and you miss one day, they they're suddenly in the fucking like I like, like br br bronze age, and I was like, huh? I barely got sticks here. <sighs> <laughs> Like, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, I think the problem with Valheim is you need... The, the problem with any group, like, survival game, for example, like Minecraft, is mm. to really enjoy it, I feel like it has to be limited time, right? Like, you can't yeah, have an always-on yeah, yeah, server. Yeah, 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 You know, like, if I did a Valheim server for Hollow Stars, what I'd probably do is I'd be like, okay, so, like, it's a Valheim Sunday, and mm. I'm going to turn on the server for eight hours, and whoever wants to be there can be there, but I'm turning it off after eight hours so nobody can get ahead of anybody. <laughs> That's what happened with my brother. Um, he used to play a lot of Minecraft with his friends, but it was like modern Minecraft. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah. he had a classmate that was like a freaking like DJ dude. He would be there for like 24 hours straight up. And like, he, he's always like the warning. Like, he'd be like, yeah, don't be like him, you know? You let him like free one day, and he's like, he has a fucking dragon the next day. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's my problem. I, 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 uh, I used to play the Pixelmon mod on Minecraft every once in a while. But mm. you get people who just rush through it, you know? And it's like, I understand yeah. that's their fun, and they're, they should be allowed to have that fun. But on the yeah, other absolutely. hand, I don't want everybody else to feel left behind. I don't want to feel left no. behind. No, yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. That's why my brain is just like the, <laughs> I want it to be the same speed. <laughs> yeah. I like your weeping when you're feeling that. Dude, I, I, I weep a little, you know? Merry Christmas, Holly. Welcome back. You gotta weep a little bit to feel. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm torn. I'm torn about it because, like, I want everybody to have their own fun, but I want everybody to, like, progress as, like, a community, as, like, a little, like, pocket of society. And I think it's right. a lot of fun when you do do that. Um, Fuck yeah, dude. So, yeah, if I run, like, a Valheim or a Project Zomboid or something like that, I'll probably make dude. it, like, a limited opening server. Zomboid is so much fun. I've never really gotten very far in Zomboid, but I want to one day. Um, Vesper opened uh, a server that I joined like a couple of times. I actually had a couple like Sunboy, um, streams and it was really fun. Like, like the whole like mechanics of it, like, you know, like the, you have to smoke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like stuff like that. It's really, really good. Like, you know, like it, it's very like minion school, like mechanics like that. That kind of makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Like it, it was funny when my little guy was like, he's stressed. Make him read a magazine. <laughs> <laughs> he's stressed out. Chill out. Read a book. Yeah, it's like, oh my god, he's just like me for real, for real. <laughs> it's good stuff, dude. I mean, I love games like that, like simulators and, you know, I mean, do games like this have a name? The simulators will be the best, right? Um, yeah, survival crafting games survival, or simulators yeah, or whatever you want to survival, call Survival simulators and stuff like that. Mm. Yeah. What was I doing? Oh, I was going to make a fucking stone cutter. Stone cutter. Yeah, I love stone cutters. They're super handy. They I'm make it pissed so that you they can get they a ton of stuff. I'm, I'm kind of pissed they don't hurt you. Like, you know, like they kind of have like a saw like right in front of them. Yeah. Right. It'd Let me like step on it and like... die. Yeah, dude. Imagine if you could do like a freaking like, like stone cutter trap, dude. That'd be cool as hell. That'd be sick. Like, imagine like everybody's like, no, no, that, that's it's my safe place. And then bum, like with pistons, <laughs> you open the door and then they die. And then they're dead. Exactly. That's the good shit. Oh, look at me. I'm so productive. I did a waiting room that took so much out of me. Oh my gosh. You did a waiting room? <laughs> Are you okay? I, you need help? I, no, dude. I'm I can get the doctor. <laughs> oh, hey, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm the jigsaw killer, they say. <laughs> <laughs> dude. Hey, oh, we'll start. Rainstorm. Ooh, it's a little rainy. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. I love rain, oh, rain though. Rain is good, except when I'm streaming or recording. Why? Because whenever it rains over here, it's literally like the freaking like cataracts, like of like 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 freaking like Niagara Falls, like just falls, you know, into like my whole house. It's just like. Pfft. Yeah, but that's super cool. Not really when you're streaming. <laughs> oh, don't be such a babe. No, I'm just kidding. That makes sense. Dude, I was recording the other day. I was like such a deadline and then suddenly like, pfft, it was like, oh God. Oh no. During a deadline? Yeah, that'd be brutal. Yeah. It's kind of, it's, it's cute, but kind of annoying sometimes, you know? Because Ooh, the, ha the Hakitos. Oh, that looks good. Thanks. We're getting there. Kind of goes hard. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
They also come with power outages, like right, right, you know, holding their hand. That's the bad part. That would suck. I have to crank up my generator like that by daylight. <laughs> <laughs> Gets kill checked every time it turns off. Oh no! Aka stream goes down. Oh, sorry guys, I missed the skill check. My bad, my bad. <laughs> my, my bad, let me try again. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, now I'm ready. Now I'm ready. Maybe I'll make myself a latte. Ooh. Do you like a uh, chai latte? No, actually. Well, to be fair, I haven't <gasps> tried chai latte in a long time. Um, But when I worked as a barista, I didn't really like it. It's good. It's spicy. It's like spicy, you know. It's, it's lots of like nice, like 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 very full flavors. Hmm. Okay. Do you like dirty chai? Have you ever had a dirty chai? Isn't a dirty chai just a chai latte with a shot in it? Yeah. No. <laughs> it, 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 it it enhances the flavor. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I believe you, but on the other hand, I'm like, man, it's just not my jam. Hmm. Are you more like a vanilla latte person? Nah, mocha. Oh, okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. For some reason, I really don't like the the flavor of chocolate with coffee. It 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 uh, can make the coffee taste more bitter. I think is the problem for a lot of people. Mm, yeah, I, I I do drink my coffee black though. But sometimes whenever I feel like you know you're tougher than me, I, I would never. You don't wait. You don't you don't drink black coffee? Nah. If you do it the right way, it's actually not that bitter. Hmm. I, I like, like a coffee with just like mm -hmm. some cream in it and I will drink espresso straight, but that's just cause you can just fucking pound it back like shots. Like I, when I was oh, a yeah. barista, I would drink like, <laughs> I would drink like a lot of shots. <laughs> I'd come in in the morning and be like, all right, so four shots of espresso real quick. Just kick that back as fast as I can. And then about four hours in my shift, I'd be like, all right, four shots of espresso, kick that back. About four more hours in, four shots of espresso, kick that back. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just there like tweaking in your shift. It's like, oh, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Man, it sucked working there, though. I was, I was a, uh, how do I say this without saying company? Uh, I was a herald of the celestial stag. <laughs> and I, uh, <laughs> oh. they made me work both bars half the time. So you needed that caffeine. You had to fucking go. The celestial stag. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god wait th that's different than the the mermaid company right no no think 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 hard what is it celestial what, what what does that entail um sorry bro i don't know i'm not from there it has to do with, it has to do with stars <laughs> ah, ah and then a stag is a buck ah, <laughs> ah, so the mermaid company yeah more or less <laughs> <laughs> yeah i worked for the mermaid company for a while it was pretty cool or i mean sometimes sometimes it really fucking sucked uh this is looking pretty Dude. good i like this actually um but i don't wanna mm, i can build like a little pit like a looks little pretty good there, yeah I, I don't know i feel like maybe, i could decorate this somewhat but. maybe if you make it wider you can add like a fireplace in the middle but that that means you have to like probably do like a four 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 like mm. like a two by two by two like fireplace there because you don't have like a you know like an extra block for just being in the middle mm. or you could do a fireplace pit uh, like yeah i was kind of thinking a fire pit for a second but i don't think i have the space for it I, like what could i do like put a six long fire pit here but then like you'd have to go around it to get into the tavern that'd be annoying no don't put it there maybe put it uh right next to it like put it like sideways like you know like it's kind of like a like a no 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 not there like that that's like a, the entrance right yeah, so like maybe there. put it put it next to the building. Oh, I see what you're saying. Just like completely removed from that little plaza area. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, maybe, maybe. Like around. Oh, there, I could do can do like be... some burned uh, fucking terracotta or glazed, yeah. glazed terracotta here. Heck yeah. Hmm. You can also put like logs for seats and stuff like that. You know, mm -hmm. make it very like like campy. How does terracotta glaze work? Do you just cook it? Oh, I guess you just cook it. Let's take a look at that yellow terracotta. I'm gonna drop it in there too. Ooh, ooh, that's not bad. Pretty cool. Oh, glazed terracotta? Yeah, that's a uh, yellow glazed terracotta. Ooh, okay. Put a couple of those together. Hmm. I'll consider it, Sanders. <laughs> 
It'll be a tavern where they sell exclusively coffee or whatever. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, those are very shinry colors. Oh, shinry should use this. It looks like a little koi almost. The orange and teal and white. Oh, yeah, it does. Huh. Very cool. Uh, let's see what else we got. Regular terracotta. I should also check the white terracotta when I get a chance. It's not cooking it. Why's it not cooking it? Probably gonna hop off with my little roosy woosy. I have to do some shit. Yeah, good luck, Haka. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Thank you for like sitting down in the, in the voice chat. It's really fun to like, you know, just like do like impromptu collapse and stuff like that. It's very nice. We yeah. should do that more often. <laughs> Agree. Just pop in whenever you feel like it. No problem. Heck yeah. Thank you for having me, Roos. Thank yeah. you for having me, Receders. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> All right. That was Haka, everybody. These are all pretty, but I think I like the yellow the most. What other colors of terracotta are there? I guess I can just carve out some on the side of this. No, you know what? I have some laying around. Fuck, I'm out of food. Uh, hmm. What do you do with glow berries? Hmm. Hmm. Light gray terracotta. We've already done white. We've done oh, brown terracotta. I think that's it for now. I do you think I see like a reddish terracotta up there? Is that orange? That's orange, brown, orange, light gray, white, yellow, orange. Regular terracotta. What's that sandy stuff? Oh, glowberries can hang. That's cool. Can red sand make um can red sand make different colored glass or is it still just glass with dye? Ooh, light gray is not bad. Very brown. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. Still think I'm feeling the yellow, but I do think brown's a close contender. I don't have any red. I don't know where to get red glazed terracotta because I don't have any red right now. Keep in mind, this is only for the uh, front area. It's going to be like sort of a carpet. It's going to be like right here, probably these six blocks. Or maybe even a full walkway. We'll see. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. It was actually made for me. Oh, I had the name pulled up a second ago. Fuck. Mm, I got to think. I believe it was Rainbox 17. Yes. I should look that up. I'll look that up in a minute. Anyway, thank you. The hat was made as a gift. It's very beautiful. I love it. I'll see if I can spot any red glazed terracotta, but no, pro uh, no promises. Or red terracotta, I mean, not glazed. A lot of orange, yellow, white, gray. Are you sure you don't need to dye the terracotta to make red? No, I think this is regular terracotta. Hey, thanks, break shot. Thank you for the delicious soup. Um, num, 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 num. Delicious. I don't have any red dye. Where the hell am I going to get red dye? 
What do you think I made of money? I gotta work with what I got. I'll take a look down the ravine. One second. Oh, there's red. Okay, there's red down there. I just gotta get down there. Man, I wish I had some food. Uh, I might need to start a small farm somewhere, but I don't really want it to be by the tavern necessarily. I guess I can put it up on that hill for now. Put it up on that hill for now. I do like that yellow a lot, but we'll take a quick look at red. Wait, I don't have any dirt. I can't just make a farm. Also, it wouldn't be a very quick method of getting food. Hmm. Oh, I have cake. That'll work. Delicious cake. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, isn't this super Shinri coated, this one here? Woo! That made my stomach drop. <laughs> Bow, bow, bow. Okay, here we are. Red. It is red, right? Yep, red terracotta. Nice. I don't want to mar the face of the cliff too bad, so I think I'm going to dig in from here. We'll just get like a stack of 64. I don't think I'm gonna need more than that because I'm not exactly like building a whole floor out of this or anything, unless it looks really, really good. Damn straight, you gotta preserve the aesthetics of the land. That's why I like building away from other people. I can never really count on them to make sure they chop down a whole tree or make sure they don't like blow up a creeper pit and then not fill it up or I don't know, like terraform a hill I really liked. So you gotta be careful with that stuff. Everybody's got red dye inside of them. Technically, yes, that's true. Oh, we already had a full stack. Whoops. Oh. Um, well, I broke my pickaxe, so I guess that's it. Time to go. Hmm. Now we need to find our way back up with no pickaxe. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, that's not too bad. Squeed! Dude, if you don't cover, your, if you don't fill your creeper pits, I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm so tired of people not filling their creeper pits. You will get more mobs spawning, and this is why we can't have nice things. Then you hear very annoying, like, witches and zombies and, like, the constant sound of skeletons, like, clink clanking around in there. Blah. Cover your creeper pits! Sevi, how could you do this? A creeper pit is like when a creeper blows up a huge chunk of earth and then someone just like puts a layer of blocks directly on top of it. But they don't fill it in. So mobs spawn underneath and then it's just loud and annoying constantly near your base. Listen, if you use it as a basis for a house, that's one thing. But if you're just not doing it because you want to be lazy, blech.
We made it! What if I'm here to cause chaos? Do it on your own land! I like chaos as much as the next guy, but that's just causing chores for others. All right, let's see what we got here. Red glazed terracotta. I do like the swirly patterns on it, though it does come across a little aggressive. It could be kind of cool, though. Put a bunch of those together. It kind of looks like seashells in a way. Maybe it's just because I'm associating it with these ones. These ones kind of come across beachy in a way. If you put, like, this and this together, and maybe this. So if you take the orange, the brown, and the red, you could get, like, a really beachy vibe. I don't know if that gives me, like, entryway vibes. I think we're going to go with yellow in this case. I think yellow is the way to do it. Do five yellow. Oh, you have to dye the black one? Yeah. Or as Gerard might say, Yada hada. Gimme, 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 I gotta make another pickaxe, but I'll probably have to make it out of stone. Okay. Mm-mm-mm. Man, I might also step away at some point to make myself a delicious latte. Uh, but I'll let you know before I do that. Let's try this out. So boom. Ow. No, that can't be right. There's got to be a way to make a cool pattern out of this. So I think it's going to be reliant on, I think what I want to do is like this, and then maybe this. Did I do that wrong? I did that wrong. So it would be here. Uh-huh. Okay, so then here. And then here, and then here, and then here. Not quite. I don't love it. Maybe. I'm a sucker for green. It's not terrible. that okay it's not bad a witch a witch yeah 
Pretty good, pretty good. I think the problem with terracotta is it's often associated in fours, right? So doing it in a six is kind of a tough pattern. I could try to find ways to do it in fours. Maybe I do four here or here, but that's inherently not going to work because this is on an odd number. Mm. I'll think about it. Oh, Lily Gilly, thank you for the delicious soup. Ruse, you've cursed me. At Christmas dinner, my uncle was telling a story. He was saying something along the lines of then one, two hours later, but as soon as he said one, two, my brain jumped to buckle my shoe. Merry Christmas, you veritable gremlin. <laughs> Perfect. Exactly the kind of brain worms I'm trying to make. If I can't be here making you suffer, you know, in person, then the little shadow ruse is living in your mind will have to do it for me. <laughs> All right, well, hmm. Here's the plan. I think I'm gonna take a brief hiatus. Uh, I'm gonna go make myself something to drink and I will be right back. Uh, so hang out with Zephyr in the meantime. How's that sound? Or do you guys wanna be on the starting soon? No, I don't wanna put you on the starting soon screen. So I don't want you to feel like I'm gone, gone. I'm gonna do this. I could just disappear and leave you in Minecraft. <laughs> You guys want to chill with Zephyr? Give us the Minecraft ASMR. All right, I'll leave you the Minecraft ASMR. Yeah, I need to get a BRB screen. I really want to do like a BRB screen that's like a bunch of your guys' art you've done because I want to find a way to showcase it, uh, you know, in a meaningful way. I think that would be really cool. <laughs> I heard you out there, witch. All right, Zephyr, try your best not to kill them. BRB.
everybody in. Just kidding. I can't sing that. I'm not allowed. <laughs> Hello, gamers. We're back. Well, I guess you guys were always here. Maybe, maybe it's just I'm back. Maybe you, you, you're still here. Maybe you're still alive. <gasps> Aww. Aww. Like a fucked up villager. Hold on. I want to see if my cat wants to come hang out. You want to say hi? Come here. Say hi. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a second. Say hi. Come on. Oh, there you go, big guy. Check this out. What do you think about this? You want to say hello? Huh? You want to say hello? Look, look. Are you swatting at me? You want a little tweet? Well, don't bump the mic. No! Don't bump the mic, bud. You want a little tweet? No, 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 don't get up there. <laughs> you heavy little thing. All right, hop down, hop down. Come on. Okay, I gotta stop playing with the cat here. I gotta go back to being a streamer. <laughs> Come here, bud. Okay, there we go. I gave them their treats. They're okay. Bruce Cat Stream win? <laughs> never, never. You can't convince me. All right, watch out, you little dorks. Get out of the way. How heavy is my cat? Too heavy. He's built like a brick shit house. Go on. Watch out. You already got yours. Stop swatting me. One of my cats, I'm not going to say how many I have. One of my cats is very gentle and will walk up behind me and gently place one paw on my elbow. Like reach up past my chair and place one paw on my elbow and just say... And I'm like, what the hell is that sound? You sound like a lizard. You don't sound like a cat at all, little bastard. <laughs> but if he starts to get annoyed, he will gently take out his claws and just ever so slightly scratch me, which is super insane. I'm like, stop it, you little bastard. He doesn't draw blood, but just enough to be irritating. I'm like, you quit it. Little monster. He's very polite. Anyway, I made myself a latte, so I'm going to have some of that. What are you guys drinking? What are we drinking today? Holy shit, Zephyr talking about stock trading? Hey, listen, if you do well on stocks, uh, you owe it to Zephyr and I to share your billions. <laughs> no, I do not read warrior cats to them. Drinking diesel? Let's go. All right. Here's the thing, gamers. Uh, I have, I'm doing well on this, and I'm liking where it's going. I'm liking what it's looking like, but I do have to do a thing. Uh, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to shift gears for a little bit. We're gonna go into full uh, Zatsudan mode, I guess. <laughs> no, bud, stop poking my hand, my arm. Uh, I need food. I am out of food. I need a 
food source. And so I'm going to go fishing. We're going to go into fishing mode. We're activating our fishing mode. Oh my gosh, he's not based in fishing pilled. Oh, but I am. Uh, we'll come back to that. Obviously, I'm going to need space here. Your chirping trilling activated my kitten. Thank you for saying hello to her. Hello, kitten. I know how to speak, cat. That's why wild cats like me so much. Oh, thank you for the soup, by the way. Nom, 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 nom. All right, witch. Now you meet your maker. Are you upstairs? Oh, man. I think they're upstairs. Fuck. You know what? Maybe they'll despawn by the time we come back. Let's go fishing, shall we? Uh, I do want to see if there's an easier way down over this way. If not, we'll just jump right in and we'll uh, we'll deal with the consequences later. Hey, look. More mineshaft stuff. I wonder how deep that mineshaft goes because it starts over here. Which is actually pretty cool that it's like right there across from my tavern. Um, we'll have to explore that one day. Whoa, 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 whoa! Interesting. Oh, this is a pretty soft incline. Okay, we'll ride this down. We'll go fishing down here on the beach. And uh, yeah, let's go to the beach each. Uh, I made myself a hazel latte during the break there. I came back to the chat, Rizzing Zephyr and Witch Laughter. Thanks for the super comfy stream, by the way. Hey, listen, this is the one time I'll give you a comfy stream as a Christmas, Christmas treat. Okay? I know it's Christmas, and a lot of you want to just chill out and vibe, and I can respect that. Now we're going to do some cozy fishing. If I can remember how to fish. Huh. Am I missing something? Is it supposed to be bubbling that much? Oh, that's right. You'll see like a little dash line in the water as the fish come close to it. Okay. Wait, there's some salmon right there. I can just jump in there and get them. Mmm. Dare I? Ah! A bone! Oh, well, that's awkward. Hey, sport, what's up? What are you doing down here anyway, big guy? Come here. Why are you so slow? I thought you were fast underwater. Hurry up. Uh, yeah, so this water effect comes with Optifine and Shaders, specifically. There you go, bud. Keep it up, keep it up. Night, honey. Or on each. Please hurry up, dude. How you mine for fish? You gotta use a fishing rod. That's the secret. Think of the delicious soup. Yeah, it's Optifine plus a shader. Oh, uh, there's more fucking drown here. Hold on. A baby drown? What? Give me back my salmon, you piece of shit. What are you holding? Is that salmon? I can't tell anymore. What are you holding, little guy? 
Give me it. What is it? Give me it. What the hell did you just give me? A Nautilus shell? What do I do with Nautilus shells? Hmm. Interesting. Wait, rah, go away! Uh. I'm too lazy for this. I'm just gonna fish. That's rare? Yeah, but what do you do with it? I'm gonna sip my latte and fish with my other hand. Yeah, I love this water texture. It's very cool, very chill. Oops. Ah, a mini Zatsudan. Sure, let's say that. Oh, it's how you get the underwater breath. I see. That's pretty cool. That, oh, I got to right click. I'm an idiot. I've been left clicking. <laughs> you got to turn your quality up. There we go. Uh, now we're kicking it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not every hee hee is a Gerard left. Thank you. I can hee hee on my own. I've got my big boy hee hee britches on. Thank you. I don't want a puffer fish. Uh, what do I get rid of here? Uh, I guess I don't need that red sand. What's for Christmas dinner? Well, technically, I've already said what's for Christmas dinner, but I'll tell you again, because why not, right? Uh, I'm going to be having some pork loin, uh, probably like a mushroom glazed pork loin, and mashed potatoes, and steamed broccoli. I have never messed with water or potion making, so I don't know how to make a water breathing potion. Sorry, gamer. Raw cod, huh? That's not bad. How slow is fishing as a food source? Probably pretty slow, but we'll, I'll, I'll make it work. I might build like a little fishing shack out here to chill at. Then again, I want to just sleep through the night. Oh, that's a lot of... Ooh. That's a lot of free food right there if I died for it. Hmm. I think I'm diving for it. Ah, piss. Man, this river sure is full of fucking drowned, huh? What's that about? Stop drowning yourselves, dweebs. For dessert? Mm, I might have like a Dutch apple pie with a bit of uh, ice cream on top. Maybe like a little uh, vanilla ice cream. We'll see. Oh, that's pretty actually. Maybe a little bright. Let's look this way. There we go. That's pretty. Hey, Osaya. Welcome in. There we go. Now the sun's going down enough to stare up there. Pretty. You know, I don't much like pies. I like apple pie, okay? And I like uh, chocolate pudding pie, but for the most part, I'm actually pretty against pies. I don't think I have that much of a sweet tooth, honestly. I think that's part of the problem. All right, we should get home and go to bed. We'll come back down here and fish a lot longer after. Whoa! Thank you for the crimson Christmas, cr uh, Crift? Crift? Huh. <laughs> Thank you, Cassandra. Uh, before I sleep, gonna catch the VOD later? Hell yeah, it's gonna be 
kind of a long VOD, so no pressure. But if you want something to watch while you're working on something or you got a few hours, go for it. Anyway, thank you very much for the cream zupa. Um, nom, 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 nom. Delicious. I'm going to have my member chips with that. Uh, and sleep well. Have a great Crimsmas. <laughs> I can't wait to fill this lower area out. Soon. Soon. Yeah, I'm not a big pie person, and I'm not a big, um... Cake person. I like cake okay. Like, I'll eat cake, but eh. Shrug. That's a funny sound. Uh, let me just get a big sip of this latte before I go. I used to hate apple pie, but I grew into it. I mean, I'm not saying I hate sweets. Like, no, I'm not a huge sweets person, but I don't despise them or anything. They're just not my favorite. Oh, hold on one second, BRP. Be right back, just a moment. Yeah, I like salty and savory more than sweet. We're back. Woo, that was close. Unagi. I don't know what unagi pie is. Mm. I don't much like peaches or mangoes, so that wouldn't work for me, unfortunately. All right, I'm back. Let's get fishing. Fish fear me. Let's get fishing. You know what game I never thought I'd like? It's like I can still hear him sad. So I've, I've been fishing a few times in my life and uh, it's not my favorite activity. I find it a little dull and I don't really like sticking the worms on the hooks. It kind of bothers me, especially if I'm not gonna eat the fish. Like why bother hooking the fish and killing the worm and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, if I'm not gonna use it, right? However, it is Zen and I can understand that because I have played a game, I bought a game once as a joke, like a ha ha he he, I'm gonna play this as a goof, a gaff. Um, and it was, I think, Ultimate Bass Fishing Simulator or something like that. And that game is unequivocally one of the chillest fucking games I've played, which is wild. Because I'm like, I don't know, I don't really like fishing, but that game's chill. If you can get that on like a $5 sale, or if you want to buy it full price, I guess, go for it. Hey, oh! Good luck, Momoshi. We're just chilling and fishing. Fishing in games is better than fishing IRL. True. Bat Venom says, hey, Ruse, just got back from Family Nonsense. Hope your crims miss has been treating you well. Yeah, it's been really chill so far, which is great because no one's bothering me. <laughs> Can I give the unspecified uh, number of cats a pat on the head? Yes. Yes, I will do that. What the hell? A flame bubble. All right. 
I'll get rid of these sticks. Uh, I really thought my fishing pole was going to die faster than this, so I made a bunch and maybe I overdid it. Yeah, that makes sense. If you're going to fish for your food and you're willing to like gut the fish and do all the stuff you need to do to prep it, totally go fishing. I do. It is one of my goals at some point to learn to do that. If only so I could be self-sufficient when I'm like near a body of water. Dried mangoes. I've tried dried strawberries. I don't know about dried mangoes. Maybe. Oh, also, I don't know if I said it already, but thank you, Batman, for the delicious, delicious soup. Mmm, Christmas soup. Hey, I got new shoes. That's pretty cool. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> Thanks, Reese's. I love my design, too. Luckily, I was born incredibly beautiful and oh, oh, so humble. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, Yeah, my model mama did a great job with me, and by that, I mean birthing me. <laughs> Going fishing? You better believe it. I got to get some food. I've, I've realized I ran out of food. I love microplastics. They're delicious. Man, we're really chilling. We're really chilling now. This is this is ultimate vibe zone. Came into the world with Zephyr in tow. You better believe it. Bruce, do you have a hair care routine? Yeah. Uh, wash your hair. Condition your hair. Uh, shake it out when you get out of the shower. Repeat. Keep doing it. Nidapedia? Thank you for those five member chips. I'm going to dip those right in that soup. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Thank you very much. Don't bother with drying it with a towel. Just shake your head. Oh, whoops. I wasn't paying attention. You don't want a little puffer fish. Kind of weird. No, don't use two-in-one shampoos, you goobers. Night Norway or no or wait. Nar. Nar. <laughs> yeah, you shake your hair like a dog. Uh, I don't think I have a favorite soup. Probably ramen. I have talked about that actually. I do love ramen. I used to have this uh really nice uh we should probably stop talking about food. But I, last thing, last thing about food, and then I'm going to switch topics. I used to have this really nice ramen shop I would go to that had the seafood scampi. That's probably my favorite soup. It had, like, salmon and scallops and um, green onion and uh, fried egg. Uh, man, it was so good. Oh, it was so good. It was so good. I miss it. Man. I gotta go get some real ramen soon. I've been eating that uh, Marchan stuff, and Marchan's, like, super great. Uh, but, man, it is, it, it's just different. When you get it at a restaurant, uh, take me back. Take me back. I miss her. <laughs> Stop it. I'm hungry. Well, it's Crimsmas. Go make yourself something to eat. What do you mean? I'm not good with spicy food. Uh, I mean, I've gotten better with it. Like, I'll eat, like, you know, average levels of spice, I guess, or, like, slightly below average. Like, you know, sh shiracha and stuff like that. Like, I put that in my yakisoba, but um, typically I'm not great with spice. Good luck with your pasta. At this point, this is a just chatting stream, and that's totally fine with me. Getting better with spicy is just you killing your taste buds. Yeah, I mean, I don't ever want to be like so like reliant on spice that I can't eat food without it because A, then you always need spice. Uh, and B, I feel like it's going to lower my palate to a degree. There's a difference between like increasing my palate to enjoy more spice and making it so I can't enjoy anything without spice. I 
I have no weaknesses. How dare you, comma? Yeah, my nose runs a little when I eat spicy food, and I tend to salivate more, which is annoying. That being said, you should get used to some level of spice. I think a lot of people were raised with, like, absolutely no spice. Uh, myself included. Like, I couldn't even eat fucking mild salsa. Um, and that's bad, because then you really do limit your palate a ton, and that's just a huge bummer. There's a lot of really good food out there with spice in it. Also, I feel like a lot of food, uh, I, I just, I grew up with like a really bad palate being a really picky eater. And it took me a long time to get out of that. And now I'm like, just now discovering certain tastes I like, like pickled taste. I really enjoy the taste of pickled stuff. Um, and it sucks because I didn't know you could combine that in certain ways. Like pouring, um, what is it? Uh, pickled uh green onion yeah pickled green onion what or white the whites of a green onion you know what i'm talking about scallions if you pour that and the pickled juice over the top of bibimbap oh my god it hits so hard plus you add sriracha so it adds a little spice and then you've got the ground pork in there and you've got the veggies creating a base and the zucchini absorbs all the flavor and the carrots are just like a nice like sort of like just a little bit of firmness to them you know what i mean oh god uh uh man i love food I grew up hating food, but now I love food. Definitely try as many foods as you can. Even if it seems unappealing at first, I think you might be surprised. Ah, my little tavern. It's coming along. It's looking pretty good. Um, once I'm done getting a, a, a certain amount of food ready to rock, I will continue the tavern. Uh, how dare you? Whoa, 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 whoa. Beautiful is debatable. Lord of the Rings nerd? No, 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 no. I am a Lord of the Rings scholar. <laughs> but thank you for the soup, and thank you for the five gifted memberships to go with that soup. Min tea. Min tea fresh? What's the wildest food you've ever tried? Probably uh, black bean paste octopus sushi. Not my favorite. I've tried some pretty spicy um, foods too. I had um, some friends when I was, right after I got out of high school actually, and they took me to an Indian restaurant and they were like, try this. I'm like, that's way too spicy. They're like, try this. I'm like, that's way too spicy. And then they try said, try this. It is the least spicy curry in here. And I tried that and I said, that is way too fucking spicy. So I ended up just sitting there eating non bread. I think they thought it was just fucking funny to watch me. And I mean, to be fair, it was funny. <laughs> they were cool guys though. I haven't talked to them in a minute. Hmm. Anyway. Good times. It was fun. Of course, they grew up eating that, so they had a little bit more resistance than me. <laughs> Cooking stream, huh? I don't know. I haven't thought about it, really. Oh, do I already have to make more chests? I think I'm going to have to start actually organizing this shit soon. As in, like... You know, dedicated, like, this is my food chest. This is my this chest. I have food in here, but I don't want to rely on the gifts of others, so. Dun, dun, dun. Ba, 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 uh, let's put some more terracotta in here. Just stuff I don't really want to carry with me at the moment. So that I could fish just a little longer. Sure, that's fine. Um, let me go grab just one of these so that it'll stack. Okay, we're gonna keep moving. Um, chocolate curry hits so hard. Go to food right there. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't found a curry I like. Even sweet curries, because I've tried a few Japanese curries. Not my thing, really. I don't know what it is about curry. It just doesn't hit right for me. 
You know what I recently tried, actually? Uh, I visited a... Uh, um, I visited a city, and um, there was... um. Oh, what am I trying to say? Uh, there was a place I went to, a sit-down restaurant, and they had omu rice. And I was like, mm, it's okay. I, I always thought omu rice looked super delicious and like anime and stuff, so I thought it was going to be really, 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 really good. It was okay. I don't hate it. I just don't love it. This is super chill. I'm vibing with this. This plus this music, man, I'm kicking it. <laughs> I haven't had good omu rice in a long time. Did you do the magic spell? It tastes better. I did not do the magic spell. How's that work, nihilistic? You know what's funny is I don't love ketchup, but I, I like ketchup okay. Like I'll eat ketchup with chicken fingers and fries and stuff. So like, I thought I would like it. I used to, did anybody else ever do this? Uh, my dad, the way he eats scrambled eggs is he actually mixes ketchup in with the scrambled eggs, which is wild. In retrospect, looking back on that, I'm like, why would you do that? But as a kid, I remember liking it okay. I didn't, I, I wasn't like, I, typically I just didn't bother, but I'm like, really wild. Nope, that's a polarizing opinion. <laughs> a lot of people be like, it's good. Other people be like, what? Other people be like, ew, no, God, no. Breakfast salsa. I could see that. I could see that. Typically when I do breakfast, I just do like sunny side up eggs, bacon, maybe a little toast. Uh, if I'm feeling fancy, I will try to make uh, hash browns, but I have never, ever, ever, ever once succeeded in making hash browns like Waffle House. Nothing hits like Waffle House hash browns at 3 a.m. If, you, if you've ever experienced coming back from like a cosplay convention or like a, a Ren fair and going to Waffle House in full costume at 3 a.m., I think maybe it's the risk that like somebody there might shank me underneath the ribs uh, for looking the way I do. I think that's what makes the food taste so good. I'm not sure, but something about their hash browns is divine and has never, ever been topped for me. I've never tasted hash browns better than Waffle House hash browns. Oh, no, I'm not an American. That's an Earth thing. I'm a South Elysian. Something like that. It's like Denny's if... It's like if Denny's went on, like, a four-year drug bender and then spent, like, 12 years in a maximum security prison. Waffle House is like Denny's, except every single patron is eyeing you down, and at any given moment, somebody might just throw a chair over the counter and start a bar fight, even though nobody's drinking. Yeah, it's Denny's with PvP turned on. Exactly, comma. Thank you. Waffle House was the chair video. Yes, you're right. It's a it's a lawless place. But nobody makes food like a Waffle House employee. And I think it's because it takes a certain level of, like, just unmitigated gall. Just, like, balls made of, like, certified fucking adamantium. Like, the, the type of steel that would make a neutron star blush. You know what I mean? Like, density to work as a Waffle House chef because you know that every day could be your last. Your customers are dicks. They don't want to talk to you. Any of them could or would kill you and yet you still work there. Like, something about that that combination of personality traits makes for the best hash brown makers alive. Good old Waffle House. I miss it. I haven't been to a Waffle House in a long time. Weatherspoons? I've never been to a Weatherspoons. I've never been to the UK. I've actually never been out of South Elysium. We just have one Waffle House here in South Elysium. <laughs> Canonically. You can ask anybody. Anybody. Uh, but I've never been out of the place I was born. So uh, I want to. I want to. I hope to someday. I want to go to Xenokuni, I think. I want to go to Earth and visit a couple places. I would visit the UK. I'd visit... Uh, UK, I want to visit Japan, uh, probably Ireland would be cool, Germany, I want to go to, at some point I want to visit Russia, just because I want to see, I want to go to Brazil, actually, uh, I want to go to, what is it, Canada, I think, would be cool, I don't have a Waffle House in Northern Elysium, but I have had a steak at 2am at Pancake Manor in full con, uh, con costume before, it is a special experience, 
Pancake Manor is such a cool name. What the fuck? That sounds way cooler than something called Waffle House. That sounds fancy. Going to the UK is not worth it. I think living in the UK would be stressful and I probably wouldn't want to do that, but I think visiting as a tourist would be fine. Oh, I want to go to Australia at some point, especially in New Zealand, actually. I want to go to New Zealand first and then maybe Australia after. Bruce cosplays? No. Probably not. <laughs> that's true that's true mm -hmm. isn't Australia part of Elysium no I don't think so I don't think we have a place called Australia out here in Elysium do we who lives in Midwest Elysium um you mean Western Elysium the HQ boys I guess That's beautiful, Flora. Congratulations on becoming nobility. Oh, Dingo Land. Yeah, I've seen Dingo Land. Yeah, yeah, that's a place. I haven't been there, but I've heard of it. Northern Elysium, huh? Interesting. <laughs> ah, Southern Elysium's all right. It's got its upsides and its downsides. I haven't been to every part of Southern Elysium. Um, not even many parts, really. Uh, but I'd like to. Give me more fish, please. What are we at? Oh, that's not bad. That's an okay food store. I think I want to get up to like 64-ish of one of these fish, and then we'll be calling it even. Clear de mons. De what, huh? Listen, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of Badlands on crack. Sometimes you just got to go to a country so that you could fight a spider the size of your torso. Nothing wrong with that. South Asylum? Nah, I'm good. Flor Florida. Florida in the south? Oh, Florida. Yeah, I've heard of that place. I hear it's pretty fucking buck wild. I wouldn't go there personally. Haggis. <laughs> I've never tried haggis. Haggis? Haggis? I want to. I want to at some point. I want to try most foods. Man, this is so chill. I'm vibing. I'm feeling it. Usually I'm not big on the whole comfy thing, but this is kind of nice. Once in a while, you know? Ah, uh, we'll see. One day I'm going to travel for sure. I got to save up enough money bounty hunting to do that, though. You lived in Florida? Wouldn't recommend it. I've never lived in Florida, but I hear my parents stayed there for a while. <laughs> they seem to like it okay. Ooh, a spoiler. Hello there. Ah, the server lag, please! Thanks for the string, I needed that. Bye. Okay, a fun game to play is Google Florida Man and your birthday to see what comes up. Hmm. Huh. Leave one of those, take all of these. I gotta eat some, because apparently I've taken some damage. Okay, cook cod is pretty good food. That's pretty good. That heals me up quite a bit, actually. I like that. 
Imagine if someone cosplayed Crimson Ruse. That would be very jarring. I'm not gonna lie. Imagine somebody cosplaying, like, like, think about it right now. Imagine somebody cosplaying yourself. Wouldn't that be weird to you? I mean, it's like chill. I think it's cool, flattering or whatever, but it would be so like, what? I wish more spiders had spawned in the night. I could have gotten more string. Ah, well. I like watching that creeper struggle on that edge. He's like, how do I get down? How do I get down? It's kind of funny. Motorcycle racing. <laughs> I haven't done any motorcycle racing. Maybe I should get a bike. Oh, that'd be kind of fucking fire, actually. I'd look cool as hell. Get myself a Cloud Strife bike, a big crimson coat flapping in the wind, mask on, axe out, ready to rock. Ooh, I could do like a, ooh, that'd be kind of cool. I could do like an Akira slide and slash someone's head off. Cha! Honestly, life in the Badlands isn't that bad. If you know what you're doing, it's pretty chill out of here right now. I mean, in the Badlands of Southern Elysium, not great. In the Badlands of Minecraft, I'm vibing. Nothing super wrong here. I mean, I've had a few fights, you know, a few night, night times before I got my tavern established where I was just struggling to live, but no big deal. Hey, welcome in, Kawaii Neko. You're not late. You're chill. Hey, listen, as long as people are being normal about their cosplays, I don't mind. You can be a big bastard, but be a big bastard in a chill way that's not disruptive. I think most fan bases that get a reputation for being kind of cringe are almost always because somebody takes the fan base a little too far. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, like Homestuck or what else has a reputation? Danganronpa, uh, the Steven Universe fan base, that kind of stuff. It's almost always because somebody in cosplay or somebody who's a fan does something weird. And it's just like, dude, you can just enjoy your fan base without taking it to a level that's disruptive to the people around you. Sometimes furries. I find furries are often pretty respectful. I, I, I've, I've met very few. In fact, in person, I've met no furries that are like, obtuse or annoying most of the time they just want to be left alone or left to their own devices to enjoy the shit they enjoy but i'm sure there's a few undertale yeah you're very brave mk <laughs> uh it might suck when you're part of those fan bases leah but i wouldn't take it personally I think a lot of times fan bases are just going to get hate because you get a really vocal minority of people who make it weird or cringe. But, I mean, fuck, I talk about how much I like Homestuck all the time. Like, I don't give a shit. I can enjoy a medium or a media separate from the fan base that surrounds it. You know what I mean? And I can still acknowledge the good and bad parts of it. For example, I mean, I watched Steven Universe when it came out. I really liked Steven Universe. I thought the ending was shit. And sometimes the fan base was shit. But... But, I mean, the media itself was fine for a long time. Was that a... Did I... Are you fucking me? I've got enough fishing rods. Oh, man. Oh, dude. Approaching cosplayers awkwardly for pictures is some of the weirdest shit. I've had some real weird experiences uh, at conventions. So, <laughs> I, I'm not like necessarily horror story. Well, I've had experiences. Let's say that. Anyway, uh, from everybody, all, like an entire, the, the whole spectrum of humanity. Uh, I've had weird people approach me who are like, uh, you know, femme presenting or mass presenting. I've had like older people approach me who are weird, younger people approach me who are weird. Weirdos come in all shapes and sizes. And a lot of the times I don't think they're like being weird on purpose. I think maybe they're just awkward. So I try to give them the benefit of the doubt, but man, whew, 
but there's a lot of strange people around. So be safe. Uh, Ryo Kasai being the cosplayer. I've only been to a convention once out of cosplay. I really wish I had gone to more conventions out of cosplay to just enjoy them for what they are. Because a lot of my time, most of my time really at conventions was spent being stopped to be like, hey, can I get a picture? 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 And it's like, okay, like I've spent my entire day just walking uh, and then stopping and then walking and then stopping and then walking and then stopping. And it's like, I go to like maybe one panel um, and that's cool, but I would like to go just like in general at some point. Go not start. No, <laughs> no, no. No, I don't feel like I have to be in cosplay. You know what's funny is I don't really make cosplays. I don't buy them either. I, I tend to just like, you know, I surround myself with artistic people. So a lot of the times it's just been people who are like, hey, would you cosplay this if I made it? And I'm like, yeah, I'll go with you. You know, like friends or family or whatever. Um, and I'm like, yeah, I'll wear that, whatever. Uh, it makes me feel bad because a lot of times people are like, I love your cosplay. I'm like, I'm not really a cosplayer per se. I'm just wearing this like that person over there made it or, you know, he made it or she made it. Whoever I'm going with at the time. I'm like, they made this. Uh, I'm just wearing it. But thanks. Oh, that makes sense. A dedicated photo wall. That'd be pretty cool, actually. Yeah, typically I'm just going for like not moral support like i'm enjoying myself i like being you know in cosplay i think wearing a costume's fun it's just the process of making it isn't where i get my joy like i like talking to people uh at conventions and just shooting the shit and talking about the character i'm cosplaying or talking about like what did go into crafting it for the little bit that i know hyping up the people that make the costumes you know what i mean that kind of stuff uh for me a lot of it is the socializing is the appeal uh but sometimes it can go a little overboard because i tend to get uh a little worn down after a certain amount of time and I just want to go like go to a panel or be normal or just chill for a bit I've never boothed at a con that could be fun I don't really have any products I could provide though I'm not an artist I'm not like a singer and I, I don't like I don't know I don't really do anything I could sell at a booth so maybe I could just go to hold down a booth at some point but A panel guest? That would be really strange. I'm not going to lie. But I could probably do that, like, remotely, right? Like, I don't have to go to do that. I don't think. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've had very few experiences with creepy photographers, but I mean, I've had my share uh, here and there. Most most people are pretty chill. Most people are very respectful. I think it's become like the norm to understand like convention etiquette to a degree. I mean, it's not perfect, obviously. It never will be, uh, especially when you have bad actors. But I think for the most part, people are pretty respectful today. I hope anyway. At least last time I went, but it's been like three years since I've been to a convention now. I was sitting in a tree at a con, a Castiel cosplayer offered me a joint, and then for the next three years, I kept running into them at random cons, and they were always in the same cosplay, and they always gave me a joint. I think a lot of people are like career cosplayers who just wear the one cosplay they made, because it takes a lot of money and time to make a cosplay, so why not just stick in the one you really enjoy, you know what I mean? So like a lot of cosplays, if they're local, you'll get like these people who have a reputation for always being the same guy, you know what I mean? Like always the same like Deadpool or whatever. Uh, and that can be cool, unless they're weird. Uh, but hey, at least they offered you a free joint. <laughs> Thanks for the soup. Yeah, my advice to you is if you're a cosplayer is don't ever go to a location uh, separate from the con. Hey, what's up, Octavio? What did you just say to me? The hell did you just say to me? Okay, fair enough. Hi, Octavio. Merry Crimsmas. <laughs> My advice is do not go to a location that is not at the con alone. Um, photographers will try to get you into positions. Not, okay, this is really shitty. And I don't mean photographers. That sounded like I'm saying all photographers. Some people who are photographers for a specific reason will try to get you alone 
to take pictures and you know not, i'm not saying they're going to be like super creeps but they'll probably at least make a pass at you uh so typically take a friend uh preferably a friend who's not afraid to defend you or defend themselves physically uh is my advice um I definitely know that a lot of photographers use it as an excuse. Not a lot, sorry, a small minority of photographers use being a cosplay photographer as an excuse to basically just shoot their shot. And like, fucking shoot your shot, I guess, but don't lure someone to a situation where they feel unsafe if they refuse you, if you're gonna shoot your shot. Don't be a fucking creep, you know what I mean? You can usually see the red flags if they're like, hey, do you wanna go to this hotel and do it? Or do you wanna go to this like abandoned building? And if you're like, hey, can I bring my friend? And they're like, mm, I'd rather we go alone than no, say no, every time say no. Honestly, probably just take the shoots at the convention. I gotta get out of here. It's dark now. Uh, I don't know, dude. People are weird. And I mean, like, I'm not saying that... I mean, some people... It's tough. Don't get me wrong. That, that like, behavior, super creepy, should not be defended. I'm not defending it. I think a lot of people are just awkward, and they think that's somehow romantic or cool or cute, and it's not. I try not to immediately judge people um, and assume that they're, like, being a fucking creep, but, I mean, that kind of behavior is pretty creepy, so I would urge anybody who thinks that's funny or cute or charming or is gives you a better chance at it, don't do that. Oh. What? <laughs> oh no. Well, watching too much anime does to a motherfucker. It turns you into a VTuber. Look at me now. No, I'm just kidding. I don't even watch that much anime. I need to watch more anime. I'm trying to watch more anime. I really got to finish Free Rin. I keep saying I'm going to, but I've got a lot of projects on the back burner now. Um, I need to re-rewatch Elf because I fell asleep halfway through, actually. I blinked through it. Um, and I need to finish the last three Warrior Cat books, which I really got to get on top of. And I want to watch Free Rin. Hmm. That's a couple things I want to do. Yeah, shouldn't he shouldn't logged off a while ago? You're saying that like it's a job requirement. It's not, but it's a requirement for me. I want to always be consuming new stuff or, you know, sometimes old stuff uh, because I want to, uh, I don't know, expand my horizons and make sure I'm always doing something. I think not just as a content creator, so you always have something to talk about, but as a person, it's a good idea to try and input as much, uh, oh, a name tag, that's pretty cool. Input as much into yourself as you can. Because then you're always growing, if that makes sense. Broaden those horizons. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a manga? Huh. I didn't know that. Sanders, I don't think it's weird to approach a cosplayer and ask for a photo, as long as you're, like, respectful about it. You know what I mean? Like, I've nine time, 999 times out of 10, I don't think anything about somebody rolling up and be like, hey, can I get a quick picture? But if someone rolls up and they're like, hey, can we go to this place and, like, get a photo? And, like, is it okay if I touch you or whatever? And it's like, yeah, dude, like, thank you for asking. But if you, like, it's just kind of in wording and intent, I think, most of the time. Like, if someone's like, can I put my hand on your shoulder for this? Or, like, is it okay if I, like, lightly touch your hip? I'm like, yeah, dude, that's chill. But if someone's like, can I touch you? That's just kind of a weird way to phrase it. You know what I mean? So a lot of times I think it's just about, like, understanding what it is you're asking and asking clearly. And it's not weird. Yeah, it's basically, a lot of it is how you word things. I've had that too. You know what's funny? <laughs> this is stupid, but more frequently, I have had like other cosplayers do that to me without asking. Isn't that wild? Like if I'm cosplaying a character and they're from the same series, it is more frequently come up than another cosplayer just kind of like, it puts their hand on my shoulder or on my side without asking. And it hasn't happened a lot, two or three times, but I've only had one person out of cosplay do that without asking. Most people are very respectful, though. Like, 
a ton of people are very respectful. Like nine, 99%, I mean 99% of people are just super cool. Uh, you don't really have to worry about it for the most part. That's wild, Dipper Dawn. That sucks. Sorry. Anxiety is tough, but I mean, you'll be happier for it if you have those photos for later, right? Yeah, yeah. Your subconscious senses will usually uh, warn you beforehand if something's weird or off. That's wild, Uwashi. Was it an actual blade? They shouldn't have even had that at the convention. Well, the moose, then you might want to start with cosplays that aren't embarrassing. You know what I mean? Like, it depends on what you're cosplaying and, like, the level of confidence you have with it. Um, I think what can help a lot of times is doing a cosplay that's super casual. Like, um, a character that just dresses in casual wear or doesn't require a wig or something like that. If your hair is similar enough. Or if you could style it that way. Or you could dress in cosplay that's, like... If you have the skill set, but you're not confident in the way you look, you can cosplay full armored characters or, like, cool mascot characters. But I think a lot of the time, it's just about accepting that people, like, are just there to have fun. And it's not about, like, usually it's a pretty judgment-free zone. Like, everybody's just there to have a good time. So I, I th find that helps with the anxiety for me. Urza? From Urza. I've heard the name. For some reason, I want to say Final Fantasy. Is that... Fairy tale? I haven't watched Fairy Tale, but I think that's what that's from. Oh, don't doubt. I've done Homestuck cosplays. That ain't embarrassing. I'm down. <laughs> well, AK, a good way to approach cosplay starting out is figuring out what you want out of cosplay. Do you just want to do like cosplay modeling? In that case, you can usually get away with just like buying your cosplays, which is kind of a bummer. I mean, like from the perspective of somebody who knows a lot of people who make their own cosplays from scratch, it's kind of a shame that cosplay has turned into a modeling competition more than like a craftsmanship thing now. I feel like a lot of like your most popular famous cosplayers or the best cosplayers are the ones who get the most pictures, including, you know, sometimes people I know only get it because they're like physically appealing and that's a bit of a bummer um i feel like cosplay used to be about you know craftsmanship and who can make something really impressive or really cool or just like you know expressing your love for the thing that you um the, the media or the franchise that you enjoy and lately especially on social media it's just everybody buys their cosplay and whoever looks the best just does the best uh not like the best looking cosplay but the best looking person and that's a bummer and I say that from somebody who's typically never made cosplays and at the risk of sounding like an egotistical prick, I don't think I look bad in cosplay. I tend to I tend to get compliments on my physical appearance, but that makes me kind of sad a lot of times because I'm like, I kind of wish you would focus on like the craftsmanship of the person who made this. Like, I'm yes, I'm modeling this, but like, that's not impressive. I was just born looking like this asshole. Like, I thank you for the compliment, but the, the compliment should go to the craftsmanship. Um, so I'm a little torn. I think you can get into cosplay pretty easily just by buying outfits, though, uh, online if you're not comfortable crafting it. And if that's all you want out of it and you just want to wear costumes and goof around with your friends and socialize, that's totally chill. Uh, I do miss cosplay being about craftsmanship, but I think that's that's largely passed for a, a lot of spaces. Not impossible. And a lot of people still really like craftsmanship, but um, like like all things with social media, it eventually comes down to like a popularity contest. And social media has pretty much influenced every part of everybody's life from now on. So it is what it is. There are many people who still craft. It's true. It's true. And yeah, some people put a lot of work into their appearance, like strict workouts and whatnot and stuff like that. But sometimes there's no amount of like modifying your body that's going to make you look like certain characters. And you could just avoid those characters and, you know, not cosplay them if you really want to. But I mean, that's kind of a shame, right? Like then you don't get to be the character you love.
Oh, Monster Hunter cosplays go hard. I mean, you can find it in anything. Like, there's a lot of Sailor Moon cosplayers out there who really work really hard on their craft and stuff like that. There's a lot of Monster Hunter cosplayers. You know, it runs the gambit from, uh, like, magical girls to full armored cosplays to, like, Gundams to, to Western fantasy to, like, full night suits and stuff like that. Cosplay craftsmanship is alive and well. It's just on social media specifically, it is largely about who is the best looking, and that's a bummer. And sometimes it cons. Yes, anybody should be allowed to cosplay Ruse, even if you don't have sick pecs. Go for it. Cosplay me. Don't be embarrassed about your body. Yeah, yeah, the, the, uh, woo, the Fallout cosplayers go wild. Yeah, absolutely, Queen. I think if I ever got back into cosplay and if I wanted to start making costumes, I would probably, like, you know, adjust my cosplay based on, like, I guess age and body type, but it takes me a long while to age, so it's it's debatable. Typically, I've always cosplayed characters I'm close enough to, like, looking like that I can just do it without wearing a wig because I just don't want to. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, okay, so you're, like, the Kirito cosplayer with the messy hair. No, no. I mean, like, characters that genuinely you can make your hair look like them. Um, not like, you know, the military cropped Kirito cosplayer. <laughs> Which I know is a bad reputation in the cosplay community. Uh, but I just don't like wearing them. They're stuffy, they're itchy. And, you know, if my body type suits a character, I'll cosplay it. Not Legolas. My hair's too short for Legolas. I guess it would work with my ears. And if I grew my hair out and bleached the black parts... But then I'd probably bleach the blonde parts, too, and they would get brighter. I don't know if that would work very well. Dude, sewing cosplay seems like such a hassle. For the friends I've had who've done it, it just seems like so much work. I'm like, why are you always so mad while you're doing this? And invariably, all of them I've asked are like, I'm not mad, I'm having a good time, when they throw shit across the room. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Listen, I have the utmost respect for artists and craftsmen. Anybody who can do that stuff, good for you. Uh, I don't really have the skill to craft anything with my own two hands. Almost all of my abilities rely on punching things, axing things, or like the theater of the mind. I'm good at puzzles. I'm good at games. I'm good at solving things. I like to think I'm relatively quick-witted. Um, I'm fast to learn stuff. But when it comes to like... Endeavors that rely strictly on your creativity, I definitely struggle. I work well within boundaries. I work well when there's a system of rules to keep me in place and limit what I can get up to. I think I would make a good game dev. And I know everybody thinks they would make a good game dev, but I mean that in the most, like... Strictly, I understand it's not all fun and games and there's a lot of work that goes into it and there's a lot that comes into organizing a group with that. But I genuinely think that I have a pretty strong grasp on like how the market works and what you need to do to make a good game. Obviously, I would want to learn a little bit more programming before I did that, but one day, one day. I would probably love escape rooms, but I've never actually gone to one. Sorry, dude. I need strings. Psych! You missed. You suck! Boo! Um. Night, night, Poulette. Sleep well, my sweet summer child. Put that. Put that. Put that. Put that.
Have I ever considered making a game or had any ideas for one? I have sat down to try and make a board game like eight times. I have been tossing around the idea of a different, of a TTRPG for like four years now. Uh, I've worked mostly on the setting more so than the mechanics, unfortunately, because I haven't had the time to sit down and research the dice systems I want to do. And I've worked a little bit in Unity, but not a lot. I made like a little line runner game um, entirely off a of tutorial. So it's not impressive, trust me. Uh, but yeah, I have ideas for a game I would want to make. Um, but I think it depends on scope, right? I think what a lot of, uh, early devs struggle with is figuring out scope and what you can get done. Like if I'm a solo dev, that's going to change what I can get done versus like having a team. Holy shit. What the hell does loyalty do? That looks like a strong book. I can't tell you about the TTRPG design because I'll have to tell you about that on a membership stream at some point. Astell made a TTRPG? No shot. That's sick. That's awesome. Oh, it's a trident thing, huh? What's fire aspect do? Ah, oh, you're good, Saya. No worries. An eight-player mystery RPG. Huh. I would never even consider sitting down and making a mystery murder game, but that sounds fun as hell. I do enjoy playing them once in a while. I like those social deduction games where you got it, like, it relies almost entirely on lying. Or, like, fabricating a cool story. Man, maybe I should sit down and get to know Estelle. Estelle sounds cool as hell. Ah, oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll probably sit down and make a homebrew setting for Hollow Stars at some point. I will most likely just run it off the 5e system because I promise you my TTRPG uh, setting is not ready for that. I might, and I say might, slide in some of the races and cultures I've designed, but uh, mechanical wise, I'd probably just go with 5e for now. It's a system I know the most. That or Pathfinder 2e. I already beat Santa. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I don't much like playing in other people's settings. I typically lean on homebrew because I feel like... I don't know. I feel like I, I don't want to like... Uh take the vision that, uh, you know, the original designers had for their characters or their setting or, the, you know, their their uh, their peoples and their cultures and stuff. I don't want to take that for granted and necessarily spin that in my own way. And I feel like the freedom that comes with just designing my own histories and, like, you know, peoples is more fun to me from a world-building perspective. There's nothing wrong with pre-made pre settings, though. And honestly, one really cool thing about, like, tabletop is you can often take pre-made stuff and just slide it into your own world. Like, if there's, like, oh, this is an adventure set specifically in, like, the Lost Mines of Fandelver. I'm like, okay, well, now these are the 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 found mines of uh, Mandelvar. Pop by, see what's going on. And then you just change it enough, and you add a few of your own characters, and you find a way to, like, slide it into your, the overarching narrative of your campaign and make it somewhat relevant. Bam, done. Uh, do I prefer rules with only mechanics and is it compatible with different settings? I, I like settings. I like settings. I like like Sword Coast and, uh, you know, Faerun and stuff like that. Uh, I like settings because it inspires me to work off of and gives me ideas for my own setting. 
I typically don't play in those settings, but I like having them there anyway. Like, it's wasteful dev time, I guess, for me to be like, yeah, no, I don't use your setting, but it inspires me to work on my own stuff. But that's basically how it is for me. Is, uh, settings are typically just there, so I can be like, oh, that's pretty cool. That's interesting. Here's what I would change about that. I haven't played the Apocalypse World Engine. Hollow Stars EN. I feel like Hollow Stars would fit into a setting similar to something like Final Fantasy before it would fit into something uh, d and I, th I feel like D&D &D is a little too high fantasy. And in a lot of ways, it kind of avoids, um, you know, like, gun swords and uh stuff like that i feel like final fantasy is a little more copacetic something uh hollow stars themed which personally my taste is much more toward western either dark fantasy or high fantasy than it is like magitech and gun blades but i mean i could see the appeal i understand fabula ultima I would check that out. Have you guys seen, there's a there's a channel I love watching on YouTube that has really cool like um, world building. Uh, it is a little body horror, so fair warning before you check it out, but I think it's called Monster Garden. Uh, his world building is absolutely nutty. Super duper cool. You should check it out if you get a chance. I think I'd like Blades in the Dark, yeah. But I don't think I... I think my heart lies with like class-based typical fantasy, especially if it's somewhat low magic. Uh, both, Saya. He talks about how, like, magic works in his world, and it has to do with, like, specific body modifications and, uh, surgical alterations of people. So it can get a little, uh, on the graphical side, but it's very interesting. And the way his, uh, cultures work, and the way his monsters work, and the way magic as a whole works, and witches and witch hunters are very cool. Um, he seems like somebody who probably took inspiration from, like, Warhammer Fantasy starting out, or something very grim dark, and then kind of ran with it and made his own thing. You know, I'm not big on superhero media either. I think superheroes are cool, but they strictly exist in the realm of like, I consume this this media to me, which is to say I never imagine myself in that setting. I don't really care to like, think about like, oh, what would I be if I was a superhero? Like what would my costume look like? Like that just never appealed to me really. I don't know why, because I like it okay as a, as a source of media. Like I watch it once in a while, but yeah, you know. I do not like Age of Sigmar is what I think. Greetings. <laughs> I think that would be interesting as a one-shot or a one-off story, uh, Vistler, but I don't know that I would want to play like a campaign in a setting like that. Kyo says, have you heard of the Mothership TTRPG? I have not. It's a sci-fi horror system, and I think it works well with one-shots, but campaigns are also possible. The only sci-fi setting I've considered running in was Starfinder, but I would be interested in checking out the Expanse books. Uh, Jack said, my old D&D &D group once did a bounty hunter run where our benefactor was a totally not evil vampire called Sylvanas. We would hunt criminals and collect contracts directly inspired from Hunt Showdown. Wow, that's pretty cool. That's very cool, actually. I like that. It sounds badass. I've never played Mutants and Masterminds. Actually, my older sister was a huge fan of that setting, uh, or, you know, game system. Not really, not my thing, no. I don't think I would play that. Uh, I, I, not like I would never, but I don't think I would seek that. Does that make sense? Never played Vampire the Masquerade, no. It seems interesting to me, though. I think I'd rather play a werewolf game, though, than that one. I think aesthetically, I lean more toward uh, finding werewolves cool than vampires. Vampires can be cool in their own right. It's just sometimes they, I feel like they take themselves a little too seriously. It's like, 
watching a, a mall ninja think he's the most badass thing in the world, I feel like I couldn't help but laugh at a vampire, you know? Like, I feel like a vampire would just make me chuckle. I'd be like, you're not scary, dude. You're, you're a little ostentatious at best. <laughs> I think the problem with vampires is that they've largely become romanticized and in a law, in many ways, they've become like, um, toned down to appeal, uh, to their level of, um, What's the word I'm trying to say? They, they try to make vampires really appealing. And I think that like, that's cool and that's interesting in its own right. But to me, the interesting part of vampires has always been, um, has always been their proximity to still being human, right? Like being a vampire should not be cool. It should be a moral and ethical dilemma that makes it hard to like be alive, I think. Like to want to still be living. Like, yeah, if a bad person becomes a vampire, like, cool, they're chill, they don't give a fuck, they're happy to murder as much as they need to to survive. But, you know, like, if a normal person who, like, has a normal moral structure, I guess, becomes a vampire, theoretically, it should be a tormented existence in many ways. Uh, and not, like, a cool, sexy, fun tormented existence, but, like, the kind that's, like, really shitty, like, spent watching many people die and, you know, the, the, the grim reality that comes with that, hiding the bodies and dealing with, like, you know authorities and just living a life in the shadows on the run all the time you're the equivalent of like a drug addled like serial killer at that point and it's not sexy it's not fun it's not put together it's not cool it's a true terrible like addiction that you either have to like choose to die from or make other be judge jury and executioner for others Yeah, no more garlic bread, which is the real tragedy, don't you think? All of that, and you never played Masquerade. No. I do like suffering in my fiction, yes. I do, I do. I think that, like, some level of suffering is what helps people grow. I think tragic characters are usually the most interesting because they're the most believable, at least to my lived experience. Specifically, I really like tragic characters who rise, rise above that struggle and that tragedy. I'm not saying I want all tragedy. I don't want like fucking, uh, I hate movies that are like just fucking torture or whatever. Like I don't like Saw, for example, but I like tragedy with reason or people or, or media that finds meaning in the rougher parts of life but I also like you know slice of life shit super chill stuff I like my happy stories too I've never seen Saltburn no hmm I'm doing my best to stay on one topic here and not keep flipping. So I'm going to talk about vampires in media for a moment. Uh, or, you know, horror, horror mod. Let's go to, let's say, let's say we're talking about horror monsters in media right now, right? Um, so specifically, I think that I like werewolves because in a lot of ways, they serve as a force of nature type of monster. Um, they are rarely glorified or like made out to be super cool and, and aesthetic and fun. Like they are cool. Don't get me wrong. It's still a rampaging badass monster. But the werewolf themselves is almost always a victim of that curse. Like, they don't like it. They're not having fun. It's not empowering. It's not like they can just turn it on and beat the shit out of people. It happens to them, and it's usually a bad thing. Um, so that's kind of fun. Uh, and, I mean, if there's a dose of badassness in there, that's fun, as long as the character recognizes how terrible it is to be a werewolf. Uh, and then, on the other hand, you've got vampires, where the media runs the gambit of, like, Twilight, where being a vampire is essentially just like the best shit in the world. Like there's a there's a complete workaround. It's not bad. It's immortality, permanent youth. You're always like super sexy and fun and having a great time. You're super strong, super fast. You have magical telepathic powers. Sometimes just actual magic powers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All the way down to like being fucking Nosferatu, where you're this like ugly golem esque creature with an actual terrible curse and like your moral structure is degraded down to like nothingness. You're essentially just a walking mosquito of a person looking for your next kill, and that's. That's interesting. I think that can be 
the two sides of that coin are interesting. And I like media that sometimes prevents, presents both as if it's like a slow degradation down to becoming sort of that Nosferatu type creature. Night, deity. Oh yeah, get in here and talk my ear off about TTRPGs. You won't. Um, I like the Castlevania animated series. I think it's visually very appealing. Uh, big, big Alucard fan. <laughs> uh, I think Trevor's very cool. Honestly, I think the whole main three are very cool. I like Sifa, Trevor, and Alucard a lot. Uh, but I don't like the narrative inconsistency with some of the vampires. I think Dracula is a really cool, really compelling villain. I think he's a ton of fun. I think his lieutenants sometimes struggle, uh, to be interesting characters. I find that a lot of them are definitely leaning a little too far into that. It's super cool and fun to be a vampire all the time, and I have no downsides. <laughs> I have no questions about my morality or what it's like to be this. I just am. <laughs> Oh, it's very different from the source material, I agree. Also, I think the art in the um, Castlevania animated series is fantastic. And the animation. The fight scenes, the choreography goes hard. See, I don't like the trope of being born a vampire, though. Because vampires are undead, right? Like, they're supposed to be corpses. That's like baked into their main lore, I feel like. Um, so the idea that vampires could have kids doesn't make sense to me. Like, being born a vampire just doesn't check out. And if you are born a vampire, you're still immortal, so you'd just be a fucking baby forever. You would never develop cognizance. That's my main struggle with, like, Alucard as a character, is that he's, like, the son of Dracula. Uh, and I'm like, uh, I don't know about that, dude. That doesn't make much sense, but I guess whatever. I get it. it any sufficiently, like, fantasy creature is eventually going to have, like, the half that fantasy creature. I mean, vampires, half vampires, half werewolves, half elves, whatever. Every fantasy creature is eventually going to be, like, somebody's going to be like, well, what if we needed a way to, like... Uh, not have the downsides of being this creature, but still be cool and badass and like tormented and edgy on the inside. So like a vampire, but he's uh he's he's uh he's immune to sun because uh he's half vampire, but he's still super fast and strong. We promise, you know that kind of stuff. Alucard is half, and I do like Alucard, but Alucard, I can like the character and not like the way that they exist in the media they're in. I think Alucard's a very compelling character. I think Alucard is a lazy excuse for a vampire. What is Dracula untold? Hmm. Half races with only the downsides would be a really interesting uh, path to explore. I agree, Pyro Eternal. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, but I think the original Dracula has kind of, like, been passed by the wayside to a certain degree. I think, like, the whole vampires being weak to the sun is kind of core to their their uh, mythology at this point. I've never watched... Wait, no, I did watch Vampire Hunter D. Very recently, actually. I don't remember a lot from it, but I watched it because I accidentally stumbled across some fucking AMV for it, and I was like, this looks like it goes hard. The art style's cool as hell. Um, I remember liking it okay. I think I watched, like, the, the movie or whatever. It seemed interesting. I've not watched Nocturne yet. No spoilers, please. I have not read into the Celtic lore of vampire origins. I find it interesting that most societies have some form of vamp vampire or vampire or whatever the fuck. Um, I didn't get a chance to know I'm Nikon, so hard to say. Seems like a cool dude, I guess. No, I never watched Helsing. Nah. 
I haven't consumed a ton of vampire media. I'm going to be honest with you. I've consumed Castlevania. I read the Twilight books when I was younger. Um, I watched the series or the movies and was not a huge fan of either the books or the movies. And I've looked into Vampire the Masquerade just because I find they're like weird uh, vampire um, species really interesting, but I've never like consumed any media or story from Vampire the Masquerade. I've just like looked at the wiki. Is Homestuck a vampire media? It has a vampire in it, but no, I wouldn't call it vampire media necessarily. I think that uh, that character whose name I will not spoil falls very flatly into the vampires with no downsides. Slash J. Oh, my bad. <laughs> oh, I have watched What We Do in the Shadows. It's very good. I think it's fucking hilarious. I love What We Do in the Shadows. Welcome back, Moon Pie. Huh? Oh, I got a bowl. Nifty. The series. I watched the series. Lazo. <laughs> oh man. What's that guy? What's his what's his secret name when he becomes like Tex or whatever? He like wears the flannel shirt and he wears the Oh god damn it. I love that stupid character, dude. There's a new season? What? Aw, oh, man. I should watch that. I hear you out there, spider. Come get some, champ. Where the head, though? Jackie Daytona. That's him. Jackie Daytona. <laughs> My name's Jackie Daytona. Uh, Bunny Hugger says, one of my favorite pieces of vampire media is actually Brian David Gilbert's parody of Staying Alive. I don't know what Staying Alive is. I'll elaborate it in my next super chat because character looks. <laughs> you do not have to super chat to elaborate, but thank you very much for the soup. I've never watched Evil Dead. I wouldn't know. God, I'm trying to remember. There's a TikTok audio that was going around recently uh, for that character it, uh, in What We Do in the Shadows. And it was the funniest shit, dude. I'm trying to remember. Captain Kid, welcome in. And thank you for the uh, delicious member chip. I will dip that in that soup that Bunny Hugger just dropped. Oh, that makes sense, Bunny Hugger. Yeah, that sounds really cool. Is that just like a little cute, quick ditty? Like, is it like a little song? Or is it like something I have to consume long form, like a whole play? Because I would check that out. Evil Dead's funky? I've heard, I've heard. Oh, dude, the energy vampires are fucking hilarious. I know that probably started as like some sort of joke in the like writer's room and they're like, actually, let's actually do that. That would be fun as fuck. Nightwings. You know what's funny is I've never watched any of Brian Dabert, Dabert? David Gilbert's uh, content and yet I've seen so much Brian David Gilbert uh, through other content. I see him a lot on YouTube shorts and stuff like that and other people's things and I've always agreed with his takes. So I feel like I would enjoy watching him run a campaign. I just haven't sat down and done it. I struggle to stay engaged for long form D&D &D campaign media just because I, um, I don't know why really. Like I tried to watch Critical Role. I got about halfway through season two and then I gave up. Uh, I, I enjoyed all of uh, the first season of Taz, but that's because I got to listen to it and I didn't have to watch it so I could do other things while I was doing it. I don't know. Watching it just makes... It's, it's hard for me. It's a lot of time commitment, I think, is what it boils down to. Just a short song. It's very funny to watch, or very fun to watch. I'll check it out, Bunny Hugger. Think of the soup.
You know, I haven't finished the graphic novels of Taz. I think I own the first four, and they're just sitting there. I haven't even looked at them, which is a bummer, because I want to. I really got to re-listen to the first arc of Taz. I got I to gotta get back to my boy Taco. Sometimes I still quote Taco, and that's great, but then when people don't know what I'm quoting, and I just whip out, Hey, what's your name, thug? I'm about to tentacle your dick. People are like, what the fuck did you just say? I'm like, it's, it's a reference, I swear. And they're like, hmm... Is it though? And I'm like, it is, it is, I swear. And they're like, what could that possibly be a reference to? <laughs> for uh, for your, uh, to explain the character Taco is a wizard who is about to use the arms of Hadar spell, which summons a bunch of shadow tentacles that try to like crush opponents. He was talking to an automaton uh, and saying he was going to kill it, basically. He was, he was threatening to kill it just in a really dumb way. Or Avard's black tentacles, that's right. Wait, what's Arms of Hadar? What am I... Is that a warlock spell I'm thinking of? I think I'm thinking of a warlock spell. Kravitz! Night, Savvy Cat. Goodbye, Leah. Sleep well. I'm going to be here for a, at least a little while longer. How long have I been going? Uh, about five and a half hours. That's not bad. I'm still kicking it. I'm still vibing. I'm enjoying it. Ah, okay. Hunger of uh, Hadar. Okay, got it. Billy Blue Jeans. Oh, yeah, Billy Blue Jeans. Yeah, that's right. Man, I miss old Mabim Bam, too. That shit was fucking hilarious. There's nothing wrong with the fact that they are dads now, but they do talk about being dads a lot, and I feel like that just kind of sometimes can kill content for me. I think it's a natural progression of people who, like, have children. Obviously, it's a big part of your life, so you're going to want to talk about it a lot. Man, I kind of miss when they weren't dads. <laughs> the same for, like, um... When I when I got uh, uh, picked up by Armus and the government like gave me this job or whatever, while I, in between watching um, the HQ and Vanguard boys, I was like, shit, I need to quickly like branch uh, brush up on my my anime uh, shit because I'm about to be a, an anime boy. Uh, look at me, look at my beautiful anime face. So I started watching Trash Taste, and I find their early episodes were really really funny. But their latest episodes, I'm like, man, you talk about being dads a lot. <laughs> Not dads, I mean uh. Their relationships and that's fine once in a while but sometimes i'm like ah, i just don't vibe with it as much man it feels almost wistful sometimes like i feel like the natural progression of podcasts is uh, it starts out just being goofy and funny and then eventually it goes back to like it, it, it sinks down into like talking about the old days and I'm, I'm like dude you're still alive talk about the now days you're chill i still think trash taste is pretty funny uh, for the record, I haven't listened to them in a while. I'm not saying they've, like, fallen off or anything. It's just, it's not necessarily the content. It's, it's never going to be the same content it was when they started out, just like anything else, really. That's true, Saya. You do run out of wild takes to discuss with the same three people, but I think part of that is just always updating what you're, like, intaking, you know? Like, find more takes, watch more media, consume more books, blah, 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 blah. Fight Santa to the death. <laughs> I have seen Mushishi. I like it. It was like a fever dream, though, because I watched it while very sick on the Nintendo DS. Ruse on uh, NTR? What's NTR? Do I know that? Do I know that? Oh, National Tempest Radio. I don't think so. I'm not Tempest, but I do love National Tempest Radio. Uh, yeah, I mean, if uh, Altair was still uh, up to guess, I would definitely pop in there at some point. Uh, but I would also pop in on most podcasts. I still think that, like, genuinely, the Trash Taste Boys are very funny. I would be down for that. I think that uh, if I, if it would be my dream to be on Mabim Bam one day, but I'm not, like, one of their brothers, so it would be hard to do unless they adopt me. 
Maybe I can get Clint McElroy to adopt me. Clint, if you're listening and you're looking for another son, I, I promise I can lift heavy things for you. And, um, uh, I'll run a campaign if you guys want. My brother, my brother, and me. And Ruse! <laughs> Oh, that's right. I forgot Lynn Manuel's. Manuel's technically their fourth brother. All right, I'll be brother number five. That's fine. I'm fine with that. That's okay. Night, Bambi. Sleep well. You know what I've been doing a lot in place of podcasts? Because I just haven't had time to sit down and listen to a lot of podcasts lately is I watch video essays. Uh, I really like Tail Foundry right now. I think Tail Foundry is very funny. Also, fun fact, Tail Foundry is a homestuck. I found out just the other day so you know it just it's infected every side of the internet um i like uh who else do i watch a lot i've been watching a guy named thor recently because he talks a lot about like game dev stuff he's a previous past blizzard employee i've been watching um obviously i watch a lot of uh jacob geller mm, who else have i been watching lately oh um that one one, uh, the one with the red, red, the red guy and the, no, red lady, blue guy. What's their names? God damn it. Uh, uh, fuck. I don't remember. I think it's Sarcastic Productions. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it was. That's what it was. Yeah, Shark Boy and Lava Girl. I love their podcast. No, <laughs> Overly Sarcastic Productions. I do like their stuff. I think it's interesting. Um, what else do I watch sometimes? I can't, uh, it's all flying past my brain. I don't know. I usually watch their myth stuff, yeah. Occasionally I'll watch their trope docs too, but I like their myth stuff. Oh, I just recently got into watching um, Vine Sauce, which is funny. I feel like I missed that whole era, apparently. I guess that just slid past me. Vinny. That's his name. Vinny. That's who I was thinking of. Mythbusters? Nah, not really. My favorite podcast genre? Uh, just people talking about shit, I guess. Comedy, hopefully. I have watched a lot of Curious Archive. Yeah, I like Curious Archive. Definitely. Very interesting stuff. Thank you for the delicious soup, Bat Venom. You know, I've heard about the last podcast on the left a few times now. What's that about? Huh. Hidden monster hunter weapons. That sounds cool. I have not watched a lot of Super Eye Patch Wolf. A lot of, uh, you know, other, like, people and uh, associates, not friends, because I don't have any of those, but other content creators have suggested Super Eye Patch Wolf to me. Um, I probably would. Jerma? Does Jerma run a podcast or a talk show? I thought Jerma was just a streamer. Never really watched Jerma either. I missed out on, like, Jerma and Markiplier. I think I kind of just missed out on being raised on YouTube. Maybe I just missed out on a lot of YouTube trends. You know, I should have said this before I started fishing, but I should have I should have thrown out a disclaimer. I apologize to the VOD watchers for this two hour segment of fishing. <laughs> Not the indefinite hiatus, that's brutal. I feel like Don't do that. I feel like I would like watching uh, ow, Markiplier and Jerma's content if I gave it a chance. I just really haven't taken the time to sit down and do that. Weren't you talking about Unis Honest a couple days ago? Yes, I was. I make references to things I haven't consumed all the time. That's how I got stuck fucking reading Warrior Cats. <laughs> I, uh, by, by raising myself on the internet, I vicariously picked up hundreds of references to things I don't really know. 
I understand the reference and why it exists, but I don't know the content. I think the trick to that is just admitting that you don't know it and being upfront about that. Unus Betis. Yeah, exactly. Oh, fuck off. Ah, we'll do it in a minute. Um, bum 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 bum. Exactly, Saya. <laughs> I have approximate knowledge of many things, just like Schrodinger's Sphinx. Just like I approximately know that that reference comes from Adventure Time, even though I never watched much Adventure Time. But I know it's from that, because much like that weird thing in Adventure Time, was it a chimera or something? I have approximate knowledge of many things, Finn the Human Boy. <laughs> oh, the pancake song. Yeah, I know that one too, definitely. What the? Ooh, wrong button. Damn. I'm running out of space. All right, we'll do one more day's worth of fishing trips, and then I'm done fishing for a while. Um, and then we'll get back to building our building. How's that sound? What time we got? I've been going for about six hours. That's not bad. I got another few in me. Why not? May as well keep you dorks company. I wouldn't want you to get lonely, you big babies. <laughs> Twelve hours. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know about twelve hours. That's that's a lot of free content right there, baby. I'm gonna have to ask the government for time and a half. <laughs> twelve hour stream. Woo! What are we at? Six hours? So I could go another six and do that? Maybe. Maybe. Hello, friend. Why'd you do that, dude? Why'd you do that? You know what I do want to do is I want to watch Adventure Time just to consume their, uh, just to, just to, just to experience the Lich as an enemy. He seems really cool. I like that part where he's like, kneel, no, fall. I'm like, damn, that goes hard. That's good Lich, Lich energy right there, dude. When he rolls up, he's just like, fall. You're a strong human boy. I'm like, fuck. How is a cartoon for children, gonna write a better lich than most, like, actual media with liches. I don't think you're too old to watch Adventure Time. Ale song. I wish I wasn't too old, but nah, I mean, what... <laughs> What the fuck ever, dude? Media is timeless. Media is classic. I mean, like anybody consume can consume fucking any media. There's a ton of adults out there watching fucking Bluey to get over the traumas of their terrible families. I mean, I haven't watched any Bluey, but I hear a lot of people like it. It's chill. I mean, at the end of the day, if Adventure Time has good writing, it has good writing. There's going to be parts you don't vibe with, right? Like Finn is still a child, so Finn's going to do stupid childish things that you roll your eyes at, right? But I still assume that like, there are parts that, you know, you can ex experience and kind of live vicariously through your own lived experience as a child through, right? Dude, that is the hardest line. That goes cold. Oh, oh, that's cold. You are strong, child, but I am beyond strength. Saying you're beyond strength just goes fucking nutty, dude. God damn, the writers, whoever wrote The Lich did a wild job. I don't think I've ever listened to any of the music from it, Bunny Hugger, but thank you for the delicious soup. I mean, other than like the opening song. Oh no, that's not true. Cause I've heard the uh, everything chain or stays. Yeah, that's yeah. I've heard that. I've heard that actually. That is that is pretty good. 
You know what uh, animated media I watched? Not recently, but in recent years, I guess, that I really liked was... Um, what was that uh, show uh, with the guy with the wizard hat and he's all pinky purple colored and he travels between multiple realities? Uh, and the last episode was like a super big bummer, but it was super cool. No, 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 not Chowder. No. Nah. Midnight Gospel. Midnight Gospel goes hard. Ooh, that was a good animated. That's good. That's good. Watch Midnight Gospel if you want to hurt in your heart a little bit. Buggy's honka honkas. Um, I don't know who Buggy is, but all right, welcome in. Thank you for joining and giving me that delicious membership. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah, Midnight Gospel goes pretty hard. The same animator from Adventure Time. Oh, I see. That's probably why my brain passively associated the two. Who's Buggy the Clown? I've never watched Infinity Train, but I heard good things about it. Check it out, Ale Song. I promise you won't regret it. Don't get me wrong. It's very absurdist. And the few, first few episodes seem really like goofy and out there. And they are. I think the way they did the show was they had a podcast that they recorded first and then animated over it. And I believe the last episode, the podcast host is interviewing his own mother, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know. It's it's touching in a lot of ways. It, it talks about a lot of interesting things in life and silly things, but also like, I think, important things. And uh, I think, like all great media, it's important to bounce between levity and seriousness. Noah Lito, thank you for the gifted membership. Um, yum, 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 yum. I have watched Over the Garden Wall. I like it a lot. I like the theories about it, the theory crafting that goes with it. It's very existential. Yeah, yeah. You watched it when you were high? Oh, I don't know if I would risk that. I mean, I don't think I've ever been high, but if I was, I don't think I would watch it. <laughs> Yeah, over the garden wall is very good. What's that little song his little brother's always singing? Mm. Yeah, Gravity Falls is okay. Yeah, yeah. Did that? What the hell? Give me that back. What the hell? Oh, I see. You are strong, child. And I am beyond strength. I can't get it out of my head now. Ooh, efficiency, nice. Yeah, I watched Violet Evergarden. I liked it okay. It wasn't like... It, uh, well, I tried to help you, bud. Uh, it, it didn't stick with me super hard. I thought it was good. Um, it didn't make me feel that sad or anything. It was, it was just okay. It was pretty good. It was very beautiful, uh, visually. Where did that go? Did I pick it up? Oh, it's over here. Hmm. Whoa, that was fast. What does the curse of vanishing do? Does it just disappear when it breaks or whatever? Is that what that does? Oh, that's the one. Potatoes and molasses. That's what I was thinking of, yeah. Ooh, that was a very sad episode. You're right, Hale. Haley, rather. Good question, Wolfster. Remind me of that question later. Since we're talking about media right now, I'm trying to train myself to keep things on track and not jump topics back and forth. Uh, but... But remind me of that question later, because I have, actually. Uh, not the one you re uh, said, but I've done map making uh, games before.
Huh. Curse of Binding, huh? I'll keep an eye out for that one. Oh, you're good, Wolster. I just find that it's often easier for everybody to participate with me if I don't, like, follow my fucking ADHD train down every single branch. Because if I had my way, I would probably be talking about 12 different topics in five minutes. And that's just not great for everybody to keep track of, especially if you're a poor VOD watcher and you have no way to direct the conversation. <laughs> uh, that's a, I guess that's me being air quotes considerate, but it's not because I don't care about you. It's just that I am going to be the best streamer that ever lived so part of that is uh training myself to do better yeah yeah <laughs> we got a lot of fish now we're doing real good real good it's been a couple good days of fishing this isn't bad at all um unbreaking three really and lure three that's really good really nice I get the feeling I could use a whole nother day of fishing with just this rod. I will be the best. Maybe I'm not naturally suited to this type of uh, work, but you know what? If I'm going to be doing it, I don't have to ask anything. I'm going to go all in, baby. Soon, everybody in the planet's going to know my name, except for those who don't. <laughs> I'll be a household name, like uh, Michael Mouse. <laughs> I'm going to be like the Pikachu of VTubers. When you're like, oh, yeah, your mom's going to be like, oh, VTubers? I've heard of that, dear. You mean like Ruse? And they're going to see like fucking any other VTuber. And they're going to be like, oh, like Ruse. And you're going to be like, what? No, mom. That's, uh, you know, that's fucking Steel steel Rodent. They're gonna, you're going to be they're gonna be like, oh, yeah, just like Ruse. <laughs> Oh, uh, thanks, Fox. And thank you for the delicious soup. Yum, 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 yum. Crimson Chew. Exactly. Now you're getting it. Okay, here we go. That's right. We full assed it. Let's go. <laughs> Oh no, your poor mother having to like listen to Ruse content. I'm so sorry. Ah! You missed. Woo! Sucks to suck! That's MLG Gaming right there, dude. This is why I'm on the phase team. That was wild. Even grannies must know Ruse. Yeah, I'm the, I got you a Nintendo. Exactly. Exactly. Well, I can still be your most hated. Listen, what if I'm not famous, but I'm infamous, all right? What if I'm like a household hated name? Like to whisper my, to utter my name is to utter the dark words of, uh, you know, uh, uh, uh Lord Moldybutt or whatever. Like to say ruse in your house is to, is to sin. I should make a farm out of that carrot. I should probably pick that up, actually. Ew, don't say nice things to me about your... Oh, no. You gotta explain how terrible I am. Whoa, wait a minute. There's a horse out there. Adra, welcome to being a Rusader. Hmm. Dinkleberg. Jimmy's mom. Gerard's mom. <laughs> I'm sorry, Gerard. I'm sure your mom's a classy dinosaur. I'm just kidding. Dude, get fucking shoot. Dude, if your grandma doesn't know how to turn on the computer, that's the perfect time to explain to your grandma what a VTuber is. 
Merry Christmas to you as well, Ween. Thank you for the delicious Christmas gift. I will put that directly under my tree and then I'll open it uh, later and say, ooh, a treat for me. Thank you for the soup. An Eda bag? Go for it. That sounds cool as hell. Be my guest. If you want to make it as like an altar of hate, feel free. Imagine explaining VTubers to a Victorian child. Imagine explaining anything to a fucking Victorian child other than gruel. See you later, Hellish. Good luck. Happy holidays. You know, I never thought to ask, I'm not going to lie, about Gerard's family. I mean, I'm sure somebody out there is Gerard's family. <laughs> Isn't Octavio a Victorian child? Uh, he's got the constitution of one. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. I did ask that on the last Minecraft stream, actually, error. Depending on how much money King Rexford has. Or Queen Rex Rexford. I'm not picky. I mean, whatever, man. <laughs> You little goobers. I'm an asshole to you. Just like I am to everybody else. Are they taunting me? Is that salmon taunting me right now? I'm gonna dive in there and start killing. I'm already level 30, whoa. me present my evidence i call you names all the time i call you nerds dorks goobers idiots axles dak axes <laughs> i tell you how much i hate you what do you mean i'm not mean to you listen i am a ball of wrath and hatred so horrendous so vile that entropy retreats from me No, 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 not axles. Axholes. I don't love anyone. I only hate. No, no, I'm not keeping you company on Christmas. I'm... This, I'm ruining your Christmas by being an ever-present bad vibe. I'm like a rusty penny you can't get rid of. How do you like that? Yeah. I'm only here putting in my time showing how dedicated I am to being a real piece of shit. <laughs> I'm not a soon. I just hate everyone. Blech. Yeah, I'm pretty tricky like that. Some would say I'm a genius. Ooh, we're already at the six hour mark. Not bad. I think that means it's time for me to crack open a delicious energy drink. Um, yum, 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 yum. Those little fuckers are taunting me, I swear it. But I gotta kill this rod today, so I'm just gonna keep going. You're just keeping it at a, at a distance because if we get too close, you're afraid we'll learn your true feelings. <laughs> I wear my feelings on my sleeve. Remember always that. How the hell does that? What? Huh? No, 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 no. That's not how that works. 
More like on your mask? Ah, my mask. Yeah. On your axe? Well, be careful. Listen, I didn't name that emote, okay? I didn't upload that emote. My manager handled it for me. It said I had to have one nice emote. I gave you your one. You're welcome. I'm catching fishes for myself. I'm going to eat all these right in front of you. I'm going to stare you dead in the eyes as you starve. <laughs> no. Shikamane doesn't know me. Shikamane thinks they know me. Shikamane doesn't realize how much hate I have boiling just under the surface. Get out of here with those hearts, you little stinking animals! You monsters. You would come in here and you would spread this lie? You would slander my good name with your, your, your love? Disgusting. I think not. No, no. Ugh. All right, whatever. Get it out of your system. Yeah, yeah. Yuck it up, assholes. Have fun. Enjoy. You'll change your mind. And ew. No, not a heart. Ugh. I guess. Thank you for the soup. Technically. Uh. I choose to ignore the message. <laughs> I don't care if it's Christmas. What do you think? I got you something? I'm just going to finish fishing here. And we're going to go lay down. And we're all going to pretend this didn't happen. Thank you, Anonymous Sour, cr sour Cream. For the uh, delicious uh, membership. I'll give you one fish. One cold, wet fish. That's your Christmas gift. I no longer perceive those. Uh, ew, you being here as a gift? Ugh. Ugh. That says something about your judgment, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm sorry you have a cathophobia, but you're just going to have to get past it. This isn't even an, a, a, a cathosaur. <laughs> it's crimsonous, not rusemous. Just say you don't even know me. Say it! Confused because I'm trying, I'm trying to be mean to you by sending you love? I don't think that's how that works. You know what? I appreciate the delicious soup anyway. Thank you. How dare you? Anyway. Changing topics. Let's let's no longer talk about ugh, emotions or things like that. Let's talk about how I'm done fishing and I can go back to building now. Uh, we're going to head back to the house and I'm going to go sleep for a minute. And then we will get back to work. Uh, I'm going to cook up these fish in the meantime and we'll figure stuff out, shall we? I do love the rain in the background, but I do not have time for rain right now. Be gone, Skellington. I deal with you not. Ooh, you almost had me. Ooh, you almost had me. Feels bad. Sucks to suck. Cringe. Nice try, dork. Mmm, delicious cooked cod. All right, let me just grab a drink here. Yeah. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Ugh, love. Anyway, thanks for the soup. Cheels. I'll hand that love off to the first person I find in the street. 
I'm gonna take that, ball it up in my fist, and just toss it at the first person I see. <laughs> ah, everything's edible if you try hard enough. Ooh, wine. I ran out of wine yesterday. I was actually drinking a little wine while I was hanging out uh, on Shinry stream. Minion, bless the tea. Merry Christmas, Zephyr and Ruse. Have a good day, Rusaders. No, you have a good day. How's that? Let me turn, the, you know what? Nope, I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna take it in this hand. I'm gonna put it in this hand. I'm gonna turn it around and I'm gonna toss it back to you. I'm sliding it back across the table. You have a good day. Have a great day. But thank you for the delicious uh, magenta soup. Uh, I don't need that. I gotta cook these eventually. Uh, let's just put away all this junk. I really just don't want to hold on to it. Uh, we'll put our fishing stuff down here so I can come back to it later. I don't want this. Don't want this. Don't want this. Don't want this. Uh, I don't want that. 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 And we're good. Okay, back to work, shall Whoa! You know what? <laughs> okay, I will. I will not no longer battle you in a in a battle of goodwill because I will simply lose that. But thank you for the twenty gifted. I will dip all of those uh, gifted memberships in that delicious magenta soup you gave me. Thank you very much, and a merry Christmas to you. Real quick, when chat slows down, am I saying? Letha, right? Is it Letha or Leith? Or Lethe? Be honest. I've got to say it right. I'm losing my mind. I feel like there's so many names, and usually I'm pretty good at guessing name pronunciations, but lately I've been struggling. Leithy. Oh, Leithy. I see. I see. I see. I don't think it's leather. I think that's a lie. Hey, hey! What do you mean, goodbye? You didn't even tell me! Latte! It's not latte. It's gotta be Lethe Tea, right? Lethe Tea. That makes sense. That rhymes. That makes sense to me. I said Merry Cringemas yesterday. I can't make that joke twice. That's pathetic. I gotta cook that shit hot. Fresh. Ow! I'm like a walking comedy McDonald's out here. Wait, no. I mean, I don't want to be a walk- Ah! Why am I not using my axe? What the hell? Why did they just start punching midway through that? Anyway, I gotta be not a comedy McDonald's. I don't want to be out here just pre-baking stuff, setting it in the warmer, waiting to fire it off like some sort of like, you know, half-cocked hamburger that's been getting stale for the last four hours. I gotta make this shit Gordon Ramsay-esque. I gotta get in the kitchen and cook fresh every single time I show up, baby. I gotta make you that delicious filet mignon. Little Crimson's hot and ready. Dude, I love Little Caesars. I'm not going to lie. Little Caesars goes hard. And you're wrong. The most Dave Strider-ass line I've ever heard. Oh. Oh, brother. You're not ready for my morning rants. You're lucky I've kept it, uh... I've kept it chill so far. <laughs> Dude, hot and ready is so good. Some people are gonna tell you that they're they don't like Little Caesars, and I'm gonna tell you you just hate poor people. <laughs> if you don't like Little Caesars, you hate poor people. Uh, and what I mean is that you are facetious and you assume because it's cheap, it's not good, and you're wrong. You're wrong, and you should accept that it is good just because it's hot and ready and it's five dollars does not make it bad. Hot Little Caesars tastes great. I would eat Little Caesars over some twenty or thirty dollar pizzas. That's how good it is. Just because it's perceived as poor people food doesn't mean it's not good. Because it's good. Stuffed crust is great. I love stuffed crust. All right, what am I doing? Oh yeah, I wanted to finish this building. That's right. Uh, 
uh, it's probably about time for me to start furnishing the lower floors. I'll work on the upper floor once I'm done with the lower floor. Why don't I pull up a picture of the criminal's cut and work off that? I'm poor and I still hate it. You're lying to me. You're lying to me. You love Little Caesars. You're just saying things. Ooh, I haven't tried the half pizza, half cheesy bread special, but that sounds delicious. I would definitely try that. That sounds tasty as hell. I don't know. I feel like it tastes great. I think a problem with a lot of air quotes fancy pizza is they use way too much sauce. You know what I mean? Like, there's just too much. And I'm like, no, dude, you're, you're overdoing it. Please relax. Just vibe for a little bit. Oh, shit. My oven ready? Mm -mm -mm. Look at all that cod. So good and tasty. Psycho, uh... Magi, if you like dipping your pizza in barbecue sauce, you might just like ordering a barbecue sauce pizza with pineapple and ham on top. That goes hard. They replace the red sauce with barbecue sauce entirely. I will never make my own pizza. That's too much work. All right, hold on. I'm going to chug a big drink of this. I'm toasty. Okay, that is a fair point. Little Caesars will give you hot girl tummy issues, but it's worth it. You just got to make a day of it. You know what I mean? Like when I sit down and say to myself, okay, today's the day. I'm going to make myself some chili dogs. If I sit there and I eat my four delicious chili dogs with my whole can of chili on top, I know what's going to happen. I'm going to be full to bursting and it's going to suck. And... Then I'm going to start digesting, and my stomach's going to try to revolt against me. And multiple times in a row, I'm going to have to punch myself and my abs to establish dominance and show my body who's in charge. And I'll have cramps that are so crippling for the entire day, I can barely move. But I'm still going to go about my day and say, fuck you. It's all good. Ooh, chili cheese dogs. Yeah, you had a bit of shredded cheddar on there? Let's go, baby. You like sourdough pizza crust? So cream. Ah. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah, it's a special event. You just you just commit your day to it. Huh. Pan pizzas with self-rising dough. I don't know about that. You know what pizzas I have been enjoying lately are those frozen pizzas. Uh, either Red Baron or DiGiorno's whenever they're on sale. Yum, 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 yum. Idols don't get tummy aches? Incorrect. Every single idol has hot girl tummy issues. There is not one idol you enjoy that does not have hot girl tummy issues. I can promise you that. Every single idol, canonically, in every reality, in every world, is unified in having hot girl tummy issues. It's okay. We just, we suck it up. Pa beauty is pain, and pain is beauty. Ow. Uh, okay, so what do we want to do the outer walls in? Mmm. Welcome back. Let me think for a second. Actually, I want to pull up that picture of, uh... I want to pull up my picture of, um... The criminal's cut real quick. 
you guys want me to put it on the screen for you, or is that going to be really distracting? It might be really tiny if I put it on the screen, though. And then I wouldn't be able to see the details. Hmm. Okay, I can make that. Um, that looks like the upper floor. Maybe the upper floor comes the tavern that'd be weird though I can do it that'd be weird hmm that's a bummer because that means hmm hmm uh give me a second I'm just gonna grab this It's gonna be really big at first, so ignore how big this is. Sorry. I'm not that sorry. Don't look at those posters. Those are fake. Those aren't real. Don't look at those. That's fake. That's fake. I'm not wanted. That's a joke. That's a prank. We'll put it up here, I guess. Um, And I'll keep it on my other screen to see. It's not like too distracting, right? It's not too in the way. And I'll put this on my other screen and I'll keep an eye on it over there. We'll work off that. I did not realize that the lower floor of the tavern was also Waddle and Daw, which is a bit of a bummer. Because I need to change what I'm doing with the roof. Okay, so what I could do is uh, since, uh, it, I, oh, man, um, uh, hmm. I need to think. Hmm. You find them online, but I, I don't use any mods on the Minecraft server here. Uh, So obviously on the left side over there, I'm going to want a fireplace, I think. I'm going to put a fireplace over here. And then this is going to be you the wall you see on the left side here. And then this is probably going to be the cutoff to where the back wall that starts the bar is going to be. So this area back here will have the stairs up to the next floor. Um... So I'm essentially gonna make a square room out of this room by using this wall as my baseline for the square. And this, from here to here, all of this is gonna be the main tavern area where you sit. And then back here will be the bar. And then you go up the stairs from here and that'll take you up to the second floor. But that means I need to change the walls down here to the white walls, which is a bummer. Huh. Hmm. But if I change the walls to white down on this lower floor, let me let me back up and get a long look at this again. One second. Kind of a bummer. Hmm. I really wanted the top to be the like white walls. And the bottom would be stone. But what I might do is I might make the bottom white walls. And then I'll switch the flooring to either dark oak or acacia maybe. Or maybe regular oak. We'll see how light it gets. Um, I'll have the fireplace travel up through to the top floor and out the top there. And then maybe I make the upper floor out of wooden planks. Because it looks like the upper walls of the lower floor are actually wooden planks. Hmm. Is DVR supposed to be on? No, but if it is, it is. <laughs> Too late to fix it now. Hmm. What 
What do I make the upper rooms out of? I don't want it to be an all-white building, right? See, that's the problem. Uh, initially, the idea was this was going to be cobblestone down here. This is what I get for not looking at my reference picture. And then the upper floor was going to be waddle and daub. But now it's going to be waddle and daub lower floor, which makes the upper floor... Which makes the upper floor... Hmm... I could. Okay, so you're not wrong, generics. That's a good idea. I could do that. I could make it so that the upper floor actually has a staircase leading up into it, and the upper floor is the main floor. And then there's stairs down. No, because there's stairs back there that lead up. I guess what I'm thinking, what I'm struggling with right now, right, is I want the upper floor. I wanted the upper floor to be the lighter color to contrast really well because you got that sort of dark back wall right so you want this dark right here and then this light to stand out against things but now I'm struggling about what I want to do I guess I could do both floors out of the white with with uh, wood yeah I'll put a sign outside hex fan no problem well, let's start by replacing the bottom floor with the white, and we'll decide based on that. How's that sound? I don't think the criminal's cut has a torture chamber. <laughs> it's a tavern. I could do two block thick walls, but it's going to eat up so much of the inside. I've considered doing the inside like white, like an inside border. But it's going to eat up so much of the uh, space in here that it would suddenly be really, really cramped, which is a bummer. Yeah, go for it. Listen, any creative endeavor you guys want to pursue, you don't really need my permission to do it. Follow your dreams. Do what you want to do. I mean, I'm not saying it's going to be strictly canonical immediately, but uh, if you want to do something, you go for it. What is Waddle and Daub? Uh, it is a form of construction that was popular around the middle medieval era. Uh, specifically in a lot of European countries where they basically took like mud, uh, manure, straw, and a couple other things, mixed it all together into like sort of like a paste structure, and then they would use it to fill in around like wood, for example. So they do like wooden beams, right, to make the skeleton of the house, and then they'd fill it in with that structure, and then sometimes they'd lacquer over it in like white, uh, and that would insulate really well against like heat and cold and stuff. It was also relatively lightweight. So you could have like these overhang type buildings. And the reason they did these overhang buildings uh, where it's like smaller on the lower floor than it is on the upper floor, at least it's assumed, uh, in a lot of places was because they had strict zoning laws. So like there was a uh, really heavy taxes, but the taxes were based on how much space your like circumference of your building took up. So they would make smaller circumferences at the ground level because that's what was measured and then build out wider on top because you didn't get taxed for that. So you could like have strong support beams to hold an upper floor that was larger. Why is it called the criminal's cut? I don't know, I guess the owner thought it sounded funny. A lot of shady types gathered around here, that might be part of it. <laughs> Okay, so let's see here. Um, okay, 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 let's get to work. I don't know if I've ever really talked to the owner. I don't know his name. That's a good question. On the other hand, I don't know if I care to know his name. <laughs> Hmm. 
That's only if the authorities come here. Which they might. But I won't be here if they show up. Also, I'm completely, absolutely, 100% working within the bounds of the law now. I have a license. I'm allowed to bounty hunt. And I always, uh, uh, always definitely have only bounty hunted legally. <laughs> definitely. I guess that does brighten up the room a lot, which is nice. Do I pay my bounty hunting tax? That's a great question. Uh, and I will answer you that question one day. We love cool history stuff. Yeah, Gerard handles the taxes. I handle the punching of monsters. <laughs> we go and then i could put like a little fireplace built in right here maybe with like a little one brick tall i'll put like a little campfire there and then we'll have like a little chimney shoot shoot up out of that uh maybe i do like a little overhang i could do like little half blocks maybe like if i do i could do stairs what if hmm okay what if i did bear with me for a second i'm just gonna check something I thought I had stairs. I guess I used them. Oh, no, they're there. Right, so, like, what if I do, like, this number, you know? And then we do, like, a little half plank right here. Um, And then I could do maybe a fence right here and right here. Or I could even do... And then we do a half block right here. And that'll be, like, a fireplace. No, I put the fire on the ground here. So I do a campfire there. Okay, let's do a campfire real quick. One second. How do I make a campfire? Oh. Okay, I need sticks. Oh, I yeah, a stick. Mm-mm-mm. And a Merry Crimsmas to you as well. All right, so like if I do something like this, right? I guess the back wall would have to be made out of stone too. I'd have to cut this out and make stone here to make that make sense. But I like the idea. It's cozy. It's a good vibe. And then I could add a wooden support beam here, right? And it wouldn't support beam. Oh, what? Oh, that's not. Uh oh. Uh oh. Three on this side, two on this side. Don't love that. Let me think. Hmm. This changes things a little bit. So, what I need to do is I need to move this back. And then I could add another fire right here, maybe. And then flatten the top, and then go up, and then... Hmm. And then where would I put the support beams? I could put them on either side.
Okay, that's starting to level out some. I'm not hating that. And then we just kind of go straight up from there. Okay. Okay. Nice. Okay, I'm starting to feel that. I, I'm starting to feel that. I like that. Mm -mm. Boom. All right, now we're talking. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, I like this. I like this. Um, and then we can just add like our little support beams here, which is going to be this little guy. So we do this, 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 and then we go straight up and down. Like that. Uh, uh. Yeah, I'm feeling that. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Yeah, I like it. Huh. All right. And then I'll obviously carry this up through to the next floor, but I'll have to squeeze it back one, which is going to be a bit of a bummer. Also, I might need to make the back of this wall a uh, cobblestone. Let's go to sleep real quick and go check outside and see what it looks like. Morning, Yama. Merry Crimsmas as well. Yeah, I think we got to move the backside to being cobblestone as well. So that when I carry it through to the upper floors, it's going to make more sense. There we go. Oh, do we really got to do this right now? I'm busy. You dick. All right, I'll have to fix that later. Hey, friend. Sorry. What the hell? Okay, well, that was some lag. That was some lag. Mm -hmm. Come back to that later. Oh, the neighbors were coming just to say good morning. I didn't even think about that. And here I was greeting them with an ax directly to the throat. That's so sad. Oh, well. Too late now. That's what they get for trying to make an Eda bag. <laughs> A crimson Eda bag. All right. So how are we feeling about the outside, gamers? I think it's looking pretty good. We're going to uh, definitely... You know what? Maybe it does look okay with both floors being white. Because once I add the texture of like the support beams and stuff, it's going to create visual interest outside. And I, I'll, I'll be adding, like, trap doors and stuff on the outside to create sort of, like, a, a hatch, a hatchwork vibe. So I think I can make this work. Go ahead and get to work on that. Now that we did the little fireplace to kind of feel it out. What is that? Oh, weird. Uh, anyway. Yeah, it's pretty cozy looking. I like it. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. What's that guy's name? He's really good at that voice. Oh, you know I'm going to get some lanterns for this bad boy. I'm going to get so many lanterns for this bad boy. Hell yeah. Are there candles in Minecraft? I think there are. Kronk, yeah. Poison. That guy. Patrick Warburton, that's his name. He likes to war. Oh, that's not good. Oh, wait, no, we're fine. All right. See you later, Alicia. Yes, there are candles. Ooh, nice.
Then I'm excited about that. Cool, 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 cool. We're getting there, we're getting there. String and honeycomb for candles. What? Really? Interesting. Didn't know that. Looking good, looking good. Looking tasty. So this back wall is probably gonna be like the little bar or whatever. I'm probably, maybe I'll use books, bookshelves or something to sort of like represent that. It can look kind of like bottles, right? And a shelf. And then I could do a barrel here and a barrel here and then stairs up. Well, maybe the stairs will have to be right here. Start here and then you can walk up the stairs. Hmm. Hey, almost at 50k, not bad. That's exciting. I think it's exciting, probably. That's a lot. <laughs> and then uh, by this time tomorrow, let's go ahead and say we're gonna be at three billion. Yeah, three billion subscribers tomorrow. <laughs> no, I think subscriber count is like really cool and it's good to celebrate that kind of stuff and kind of pat yourself on the back for those milestones. But largely, I think it's more important to like make sure that the people that, uh, you know, you're as a content creator, it's important to understand the type of audience that you're cultivating, I guess. And uh, you guys are really fucking cool. So I feel a little more accomplished based on that than I do on um, numbers, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Like, I'm not saying the numbers aren't important and I don't like 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 them or whatever. And it's not cool to see that. But, you know. There we go. You know, I think I'm actually starting to like it a little more now that I... I maybe I do like the uh, white on the bottom. Okay, this is cool. Ew, compliments. Blah! <laughs> I like how warm it is. When I when I close the, when I close off the room, you could tell how warm the lighting is because it's all fire lighting and no sunlight. Like, watch how much warmer the the temperature looks in here when you close this room off. Every block makes it a little a little warmer, a little orangier, a little yellower. Nice. Okay, so we've got our support beams by the fireplace. So I need to go straight across and make support beams in the same place. Uh, but I'll need to pick up more wood for that. Wait a minute. Something wrong? Nope, that's right, actually. Okay, it doesn't match up with the cross hatch on the roof, but it's still pretty good. For the sake of making an accurate Bruce cosplay, I want to know if the black diamond in the back of your coat is a window to the under piece or part of the lining of the red? What? Am I missing something? Hold on. Let me check one second. I'm gonna go look at my own picture of me. Thank you for the delicious soup. Oh, that's a window. 
it's not a window to like my actual back. It's just the inner lining of the coat. So like there's the red lining, there's the black lining in the middle that connects the upper sort of half coat, like the sort of like uh, cut off half coat that is the top part of the coat. And then those two red linings are si si like sewn to each other at the corners. Does that make sense? Then there's the white inner like sort of quilted lining. And then there's a black lining there in the back of that. So think of the black lining with the sort of up and down pattern as a middle piece. Does that make sense? I don't think it runs through the whole coat though. Just that part where there's that cut between like the sort of cape almost portion of the bottom of the coat and the full upper coat. Let me pull back up my reference. I lost my reference to the criminal's cut. There it is. Um, it's not exactly a cape cheer. Like it's still got the uh, quilted lining. So in the front half of the coat, like the inner lining of the coat, it's still all sewn together, but it, it functions sort of like a cape. Yeah. Uh, that depends, Alpha. Uh, some of the boys have already popped in. Haka came in and chatted with me for a while. Octavio popped in for half a second. Uh, really just depends on what they've got going on today. It is open. I'm just sitting around in the Discord, but no pressure to any of the boys. I know Battle was chatting in here for a bit. He didn't pop in a call, but he was just hanging out. Uh, so it's just open up to whoever wants to shoot the shit, really. Um, but hey, I'm glad you're having a good time. Now that I think it kind of annoys me that this doesn't line up with anything, I could make this be similar to here. So make this a two wide log, kind of like what's going on here, running down the middle. And then that would make it so that this is orange and then this would be the wood all the way across. But do I care enough? We'll see. We'll see. Man, I'm loving that fireplace though. That feels good. Like, when you're standing right here, doesn't this look kind of like the start of, like, some sort of, like, uh, pixel-based RPG or something? Not yet, but, like, it will. Like, when, when, when everything's put together, right? You can see how this could start to look like that, right? You know what it kind of reminds me of? Have you guys ever heard of a game called Barony? I just watched your old debut stream last week. Just uh, caught my first live ears. You did change a bit? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm working on my idle journey. I'm changing as I go. <laughs> you don't know about Barony. Okay, so Barony is a pixel-based uh, adventure uh RPG game that functions kind of like, I guess, like, uh, it's kind of like a medieval doom like, in that you go into randomly generated dungeons after you pick your class and you have to like survive, like find food to eat so you don't starve to death and you got to dodge traps and kill monsters and get loot and fight bosses. Uh, you could pick a class like in D&D &D, and you could play with your buddies. It's very brutal. There's a lot of instant death mechanics if you're not careful. Um, it's very fun though. It's very fun. It's fun for just like a few rounds with the boys, if that makes sense. Like it's just the type of game you can pick up, play a few rounds, then chill out and not, you know. Nah, I've been a bounty hunter for the, for most of my life. Not much of a, uh, <laughs> well, I, I've hunted bounties. I guess I wasn't officially a bounty hunter uh, until I got my license, but I haven't been a streamer for that long, no. <laughs> That's all right, though. We're making do. Nice. It does look cozy in here, doesn't it? We're, we're making it work. We're making it work. Things are coming along. Uh, what we did today, it seems like a, not a lot done, got done, but we did do a lot today. I spent two hours fishing to give myself a food source because I had run out of food, which is pretty cool. Um, and 
I raised the entire floor by one block, which took a long time. I finished uh, all of the crosshatch for the support beams on the outside. We're currently replacing the walls with the white walls because I realized that the bottom floor of the criminal's cut is Waddle and Dob. Yeah, I'm doing a, I'm getting going. We're starting to visualize. It's starting to come together really well. I'm gonna have to add a few more support beams somewhere and I'm thinking it's gonna be here, maybe. We'll see. Oh, hey, bud. What's up? That was rude. Luckily, since we're doing indoor work, I can mostly just like ignore nighttime for now. Are you shitting me? Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Where's my delicious cooked cod? See you later, Quico. No, Kiko. Queen? Kiko. Customers are killing to get in. They're so desperate for this product. The product is my axe to their face. Enjoy your Christmas. Don't thank me for the bare minimum. <laughs> Never thank anyone for the bare minimum. We're not getting any booze. We're not ready to sell booze here yet. The owner's not even in. It's just me. It's just ruse. I think I want to move those up. Yeah, I want to move those up one. I like them better up higher. I think that looks better taller. Okay. I'm going to need another pickaxe here very shortly. Uh, We'll get that, though. We'll get that. Mm -mm. Ooh, will I have enough to finish? Yeah, nice! Just enough to finish uh, these walls. Love that, love that. Yeah, I like those better a little taller. Hmm. We're gonna have to find a way to light this middle area as well. I think what I'm gonna do, besides the campfire, obviously, is I'm going to put lanterns or candles on the tables, which is gonna take me a little bit, but we'll get there. He said, are you open? No. We're not open on Crimsmas. I need more iron so bad. I can't believe we didn't find any iron in that mine the other day when we were doing this. So lame. Or was that today? I think that was today. We even dug down for iron and found like jack shit today. Lights on the ceiling. I could do lights on the ceiling, but I'm gonna carpet the upper floor and I haven't, I don't know if the lights will show through the carpet. I don't want it to. It was today? Oh shit, wow. I've been going for a minute, haven't I? Um. Okay, well, we'll just make more stone tools. It's not a big deal. Crimsmas isn't over until it's over, Sir Snake. Are you fucking me right now? Thank you. God damn. Okay, so now we gotta decide on our support beam areas. And honestly, I think I might put them on the sides of the door. I think that's gonna look best. Let me see what's a yeah. Mm, well. Ah! Dick. Fuck me, this sucks. This is bad. 
Ah, you fucker, dude. I was so high level. Prick. Oh, well. Um... What was I doing? Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's sleep that one off real quick. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. We're going to do that now. Great. Ugh. Oh, you would, fan. Thanks. <laughs> what if I put, like, a little wooden sign here that said wanted? <laughs> that could be funny. Or right here, even. Uh, but anyway, what I was saying is I think I want this to be wood and this to be wood, and then we'll probably do it straight back that way as well. Of course, there would be a creeper just sitting around right outside the door waiting for me. Just my luck. There we go. Nice. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that. Bum, 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 bum. Hmm. Hey, oh, banana. I just had my first Minecraft death. It was the saddest moment I've ever lived. Can you please just go, like, fucking find a hobby, my guy? Fuck off. Oh man, he blew up one of my terracotta. Oh. Ah well. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I was gonna say let's go check for more creepers, but hey, look who it is! Our best friend and asshole, the creeper. That's all right. I'm not sure I'm in love with this terracotta flooring yet anyway. And also, I kind of want to change the wood. I don't know what to just yet. Uh-oh, I'm seeing I'm seeing connection issues. Hold on. Southern Elysium Internet might be about to fight me. Actually, I guess we're good for now, somehow. Mm -mm -mm. I will never go blink. They can't make me. Okay. Uh, that's pretty cool. Pretty all set on that. Just put this back where it belongs. Over here. Mm -mm -mm. I thought I had. There it is. That isn't right. There we go. For now, we'll leave it as is. Uh, I'm going to go get more wood to shred. Actually, you know what? I'll just put it down. Do I have it? I still have it. Cool. Lucky. Ooh. 
Okay, everything's back to normal out here. Um, let's circle the building and make sure that we don't need to do anything on the outside. Super wild, real quick. Happy holiday. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, everything seems to be okay out here. See you later, bunny hugger. Blink well. Yeah, I'd play Exit 8, I guess. I, I mean, I feel like it would be a pretty short game for me, but I'd give it a shot. All right, we need just a little more support beam action. I just got to decide where I'm going to put it. Problem is, uh, and this is by design, the room is not completely symmetrical. You can see here, for example, there's only two single blocks, but here there's no singles. There's two out, two wide on either side. It kind of uh, has a smoother rounded back end than it has here. So I need to think for a minute. Thank you for the delicious soup, Eggman. Happy, Merry Xmas to my least favorite idol. That's me. I'm your least favorite. Also, I think I missed Aura Angelique saying Caterpillar. Thank you for the Caterpillar and the soup. Mm -mm -mm. See you, soul. Good luck. Oh, no. I've gotten so far along that at this point, I'm probably about to... I've got one more hour until I catch up to my audience from EST. So, uh, EU people, if you're hitting the hay... Sleep well. <laughs> I'm about to cycle all the way around that I uh, hit my other side. <laughs> Congratulations if you've made it this far. You're very strong. No, no, it doesn't need to be perfectly symmetrical. It's just I've got to decide what I'm going to do with my support beams so that it doesn't look weird when I put them down. Like I could put one here and then I would go straight across and it would land right there. And I think that's probably our best bet. It's that or I put one here, but then it's in between that wood and it just doesn't make much sense. And I think here. Do I like the way that looks? I like the way that looks. I think I like that. I think I like that. It also helps make this wall just a little less bare, a little less of a large white like blank expanse. I think that helps. Leo Burst, Azurin. Welcome to being a bruiser. Thanks for the membership. Yum, 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 yum. Yummy. So then if I go straight across, whoop, 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 whoop. these are actually good for measuring. These little, uh, the little stripy wood patterns on the roof is helping a lot with just keeping track of where everything is, which is kind of funny. Oh, thank you for the many gifts for the little bastard. <laughs> Thanks, Wolfrain. You guys are being too nice to me. It's not like it's Christmas. It's Crimsmas. You don't have to give me gifts, but I appreciate it. Yum, Robin. Oh, well, fuck. I'm an idiot. There we go. I also like that it kind of creates an exposed support beam here. Almost like it's standing up in the middle of the room. There we go. You've been here since I started? That's wild. Okay, so now we create our half walls where the bar starts. And I think that's going to be right here, essentially. So this is going to be a cutoff. And then that's perfect because it does make it so I can line up this beam with that beam. Nice. So then that would mean that this is one, two, one, two. It is two, right? I do two? I think I did two. No, wait, is that one, two, three? One, two, three. Okay, three. So then you get one, two, three in the back corner. Okay. Wait. Oh, my bed's blocking it. Oh, man. All right. Eggman! Thank you for the Merry Christmas! Yum, 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 soup. Hey, go pee. You're not going to miss anything. I'm literally just like working on the interior right now. You're totally fine. Go pee. Get out of here. One, two, three. Okay. Okay. This is looking more and more like a building, everybody. We're fucking doing it. Woo! Let's go. 
That's so good. Okay, and then this is gonna be like a fence, probably. And it's gonna have, uh, I'm gonna make, oh, you know what? I'm just gonna fucking do it. Let's just do it right now. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make a fence and then I'm going to lay trap doors on top. And the way that's gonna work, I'll show you. I'll show you instead of telling you. I will show, don't tell. I don't want to do this out of... I don't want to go get some acacia wood for this. No, maybe the ground will be acacia wood and the actual the furniture will be oak. Let me see what that... Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to do the ground out of acacia. We're going to do the furniture out of oak. Okay. Right, right. Yeah, I think that's... Hmm. I think that's best. I kind of want to do the upper layer of oak wood too. Or dark wood, maybe. Does that look reddish to you guys? The reference, I mean, does that look like reddish wood? I feel like it has like an orangey red texture to it, which would be acacia. Let me show you what acacia wood looks like so you get a vibe for what I'm talking about. So this is, uh, this is oak. This is acacia. I feel like the criminal's cut has a somewhat reddish vibe to it. Hmm. Oh, thank you very much. I believe, let me try. I think your name is Momo. Uh, not very much, but uh, Merry Xmas. Hope your day was great. Ate good food and got gifts. Love the voice. Makes me smile and keeps me in a good mood on a rainy day. <laughs> it's raining here too, so I feel you. Uh, I actually really, really enjoy rainy days. Um, I am going to eat good food. Uh, not much in the way of, well, you know what? Actually, I have gotten gifts. You guys have given me gifts all day, so thank you. What about jungle wood? I could go get jungle wood, but I don't know what color jungle wood ends up being. Is it too red? I don't want it to be like super bright red. You know what I mean? Use cherry logs. Where would I even get cherry logs? I guess out of, uh... Hmm. I know where a jungle is. I also miss snow on Christmas. I think I was given cherry tree sprouts. Maybe not. Let's check. That being said, you know what? I still just can't bring myself to use it even if I was given it. I just can't. I can't do it. Jungle is more orange. Okay, so which one's redder? Is it acacia or jungle? Because this, this feels very red. Uh, I ate before stream. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, I see. Sorry to hear that. Sorry to hear that. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. Cherry wood's really pretty, but I don't think it fits this. Acacia's redder. Okay, so we got to go get jungle then. Okay. Man, I love mangroves. Mangroves are such a cool environment. Let's take a little nap. Aw, it said. And we will head out to the jungle. I just got to make sure my inventory is mostly clear of my building materials. Okay, let's go do this. A merry Christmas to all, to all a bad night. <laughs> See you later, dude. I love mangrove. Mangrove swamps are such a cool environment. If I had found a mangrove swamp, I probably would have just parked it right there. But I feel like this is more true to the Badlands, so. It's looking pretty good, though. I'm not going to lie. It's definitely getting there. 
I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm going to have to add a lot of, like, decoration on the outside for the sake of texture. I'm probably going to have to add a couple different, like, blocks on the outside. Like I said, I think I'll use trap doors um, to create a bit of texture out, out there. But we'll get there. We'll get there. Junglewood has a greeny tinge? I thought it was red. I thought Junglewood was red. I'm trying to find wood that fits the reference picture, so it's like less red than acacia, but sort of red-ish. I think the jungle's just over that, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a hold of a mangrove unless there's one really, really close by, but I haven't seen one. And I've flown from here back to uh, Tempest a couple times, so I think I would have spotted it by now. Ooh, wait. Oh, don't be weird. That's a really cool looking cove, huh? It's actually really pretty. I like that. Anyway. Oh, hey, here's some jungle right out, right here. Wow, we don't even have to cross the water. Isn't that nice? Now we can take a little look. See how we feel about it. Let's see. Huh. That looks a lot like oak, honestly. Is that like the in-between of oak and... Well... Looking at the reference, maybe Acacia is the move. Huh. I like it. It's just... I don't have any acacia with me right now. Uh, I'll take it back to the to the house and we'll take a look. Huh? I wish I would have kept. Okay, I'm gonna I'm just gonna go grab this real quick. I was gonna say I wish I would have kept a single block just for reference of what it looks like as a standalone wood, without being uh, planks. And now I've got that. So, oh for fuck's sake, every time. Uh, all right. There we go. Man, this music's chill as hell. When you shear a log, it's a new color. True. I could try the the sheared logs. I could do the sheared logs for the support beams too, actually. Now that I think about it, that might look a little better than raw wood. Hmm. I like the raw wood logs for like the upper support beams for like the um the upper floor. But for the support beams in the middle of the room, you know, I might shear those logs and see what that looks like. Or strip the logs, I mean. gotta make this bridge cooler we'll get there we'll get there well first first things first one thing at a time one thing at a time okay so acacia let's drop these down for get out of here uh, drop these down first for comparison. That, that, that. And then this flooring, of course, is birch. So we've got four comparisons here. Now, looking at my reference here, I guess, honestly, it's kind of in between these two, but I do think you're right that the jungle wood does make really good... Huh. Okay, so I think the upper walls... I think the upper walls, like this top layer, 
right? That's around the room. If you look up at the reference above my head, above chat, the upper set of floor here should be probably acacia planks. And then the actual bar and like this wood might be better off being jungle. Let me see what the jungle uh, trip looks like. Ooh. Hmm. Do I like that? Let's do this. Hmm. I didn't do anything today. Oh, I put on a cool hat. <laughs> uh, th oh, thank you, Cellophane, for the 10 gifted member chips. I'm dipping those in the soup right now. Um, nom, 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 nom. Yeah, I could put uh, iron bars in front of the campfire for, or the fires for more decoration, but I think it would take away from the cozy vibe a little bit. I mean, maybe, 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 maybe. I'll consider it. I'll consider it. Whoa, did I just lose frames? I did. That was weird. Uh, I don't know. Somehow this feels ruddy, almost like mud. It feels like mud somehow to me. Something about it feels wrong. Maybe it's the green in there. I think the green is fucking with me. I think I would prefer to do planks if I was going to do that with those. So I could leave these support beams as is, right? And then do planks for this part and planks for the uh, counter. Job. Yes, memberships are now member chips that I dip in the delicious supas. Hey, congratulations on becoming an axle, squishy snail. Man, that snail's squishy. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> mm. I don't have any dark oak, and I don't know where to find any. I don't know where a dark oak forest is, really. I could try stripped oak, since I have so much of it. I may as well just check it. Wait, that was oak. I'm an idiot. I could have just stripped it. See, yeah, so the thing the thing I have, the issue I have with this is that because the texture is very horizontal, it creates the feeling or the image that this wood is very, like, pitted and pockmarked. Like, it's got a lot of, like, uh, uh, you know, indentations in it, where because this is very vertical, it creates the image of, like, wood which is sheared off bark, right? Like, you could imagine what this feels like. Like, it's just the pre-plank stage. Like, it's probably smooth to run your hand across, and I don't love the feeling of that sort of pitted wood. Not as, like, a, a decal, you know what I mean? Flora, I believe membership is Rosader tier, so it's the second tier. Tier two. Yeah, I don't think I'm in love with the jungle wood uh, being stripped down. I don't think that's it. I don't think that's it. I think that if I were going to use it, I would use the uh, planks for that. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. I do like this okay, actually. It's not bad. I could see using oak for that. It would also save me a ton of trouble because I have a ton of oak. Um, man, this is gut-wrenching. This is what I get for making decisions. This is why I never build anything in Minecraft. <laughs> no, that's not right. That's not what I want. This is what I want. Let's make like uh, four of these, I guess. For now. I want to do four. thinking I'm cooking I'm cooking it's 
So what I would do here is I would go boop, up, boop, up for the bar. And then I would take this. Hey, Samuel, welcome in. Congratulations on becoming a Rusader. And then I would do this. And then for the chairs, could do. No, that's not gonna work. For the chairs, I would need to do. Okay, but they're not tall enough. Hey, good morning, Ewan. Oh, congratulations on becoming a Rusader, Seb. You, I already said that, actually. Uh, I didn't expect uh, to wake up and see that you're still streaming. Hell yeah! Could do a door. A door could work. What door, though? What door would be flat enough? No. Banners are a good idea. That's not a bad idea. Door to darkness. Mm. The other issue I have with this is that I can't really, I can't put carpet on top of this because it would be floating above it up to the next blocks tier. Mm -hmm. uh, damn. No five minute nap for me. I've got more than enough energy. Uh, I've been going for about seven and a half hours now. Latherus. Or is it Latherus? Like lathe? Mm -hmm. Is that you, Michael Mouse? Damn straight you've been watching for seven hours. Congratulations, you've almost watched two Lord of the Rings movies worth of ruse. I think so, Genji Yui. I'm not sure though. Lathereth. Oh, I see. Lathereth. I'm fine. I don't need a snack. I ate a snack when I took my five minute break at the four hour mark. Hmm. I mean, these are like a chill representation of sitting, I guess, but like, they're not exactly what I was wanting out of it. It's not bad. It's not exactly where I wanted it to be. I like it okay, though. It communicates what I'm trying to get across, I think. <laughs> Slabs for the bar, pressure plates for stools. Yeah, the problem is with pr pr ugh, pressure plates for stools is I'd have to use a fence to hold up the pressure plate, right? And the fence would connect to this, so it would look a little weird. It would look like the bar is connected to the um, stool, right? No, I really like the height of this. I don't want to make the bar any taller because I feel like it's perfect for when you're standing behind it. Look. Oh, I hope you enjoyed your blink, Cole. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Paradise. Or should I say Merry Crimsmas? Honestly, maybe I like it okay. Maybe it's fine. It, it's kind of like a silly, soft representation of chairs. It's not wild. It's not like wildly well done. But I'm kind of vibing with it the more I look at it. Maybe. You just upset it downstairs instead. Oh. It's not a bad idea. Upside down stairs instead of fence. And then I could set pressure plates on top of the stairs. 
Huh. Maybe. Yeah, the lectern color would be off. Kimbit, thank you for the five gifted member chips. I'm crompting on those right now. Here, let me give you let me give you my eating sound while I eat these member chips. <laughs> Holy shit. No way, Anna. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. I really love how this room's coming together. I'm not going to lie. I'm actually, I'm actually really fucking with this. Uh, with the white walls. It, it, it really opened it up. It made it feel a lot lighter. It makes it feel more bar-like, I think. Or tavern-like. Especially with that fucking... Oh, it's all coming together. I'm feeling good. It's, it's reinvigorated me. My energy is doubled. Did I miss gifts? Did I miss gifts? <gasps> no, I got it. No, nope, I missed it. No, nope, I got it. We're good. Woo. Okay. Uh, do I want to put iron in front of this? I'd have to find some iron. Iron's at a premium right now. Don't make me stream for another seven hours. I'm iron. Hell yeah, Praxina, no problem. I'm here to help or hinder, depending. I need to find books, too, so I'm going to have to find leather before I can make this bar complete. Maybe I could trade somebody for some books. But what do I have that would be valuable to them? Terracotta, I guess. They probably don't have terracotta over at HQ, so I wouldn't feel like I'm taking charity more than I'm making a trade. I could probably trade terracotta for some of their leather from their leather farm, since they wouldn't need a lot or wouldn't want much for that leather, since they have so much, probably. And then I can make bookshelves, which I could treat as if they are kind of like bar shelves. And then I can create that back stacked bar over there. And then we just set a chest on top of one end. So it'd be like bar, 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 bar. Or I mean, shelf, bookshelf, 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 bookshelf. Bookshelf. Barrel. Barrel. Chest, chest. And then I put the stairs here and they travel up above. And you can see the uh, bar behind the stairs. Mm. A brewing stand could be interesting. Oh, cauldron would go well, actually. A cauldron would look nice. Uh, because I could put water in the cauldron, and make it look kind of like a sink. That's wild, Kira, but congratulations on your endurance watch along. <laughs> A bar library sounds tight, doesn't it, actually? Now, to be fair, the reason I'm using the bookshelves is because I think it's the closest approximation I'm going to get to, like, shelves full of, like, bottles. Um, But, yeah, we can imagine there's books there, too. Why not? I, I need to finish this. I want to put, like, a trap door right here so you can walk in. I'm going to need more jungle wood. And we'll do one more chair, maybe, right here. Like, a chair here. And then this will be the entry. Yeah, this will be where the jungle wood goes. And then the stairs will be back here. So this will be a this will be the space you walk in, walk here, stair start, stair uh up, up, up. So I'll have to cut out the roof around here. Cool. I like it. I like the idea. We're really getting there. And I might even create like an overhang, because there's an overhang. If you look at the um the reference up there. There's a slight overhang, so I could do a wooden fence along the top right here. Or I could just do acacia logs, but I'll have to find more acacia. So I have to hit up the savannah tomorrow. Oh, it's daylight now. There's chiseled bookshelves? What is that? Wait, what? I want to see that. Huh? What am I missing here? Why isn't bookshelf a thing? What? That doesn't make any sense. Am I missing something? Uh. Oh, 
Ooh, I need to touch a book to get the recipe. Okay, interesting. I didn't know that's how that worked. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll make a book at some point. Uh, ooh, hello. Spooky there, bud. Man. Damn, you really fucking whipped that corner and took that shot, huh? Good for you, champ. MLG Gaming right there. That dude said, I quick scope. I realize now that Dark and Darker has infected my combat mechanics. So in Dark and Darker, when you move sideways or forwards, you move at 100% speed. But when you move backwards, you have your movement speed. So what you'll often do is you'll take a swing at an enemy, turn sideways so you're looking away from them at a 90 degree angle, and then move like side strafing. So you're moving at 100%, right? Uh, so now I realize in a lot of melee games, I'll hit, turn, and then like look away from them and walk sideways instead of just walking backwards. Hmm. All right, gamers. So I guess we're going to take a day and we're going to head out to the Savannah. Today's that day, by the way. And we're going to see what we can get done. We're going to go get as much wood as we can. And then we're going to head to the jungle uh, the next day, probably. So let's start with our Savannah day. So we're going to put some stuff away. Maybe I'll take one of the... Yeah, I'm probably not. Okay. You can hit the creeper without it exploding. I believe in you, squishy snail. You just have to, uh, you know, give it a little love tap in the back out of its range and let it cool down a little bit. Think of it like uh, playing hot potato with a live bomb. So I don't remember where the savanna is exactly. We're going to start with our jungle wood. Wait, what do I need the jungle wood for? Oh, yeah, I do need jungle wood. Okay, so we're going to start with the jungle wood because it's going to require that I cross a river to get to it. So we're going to go that way first. And if I spot the savanna along the way, I will keep in mind. I think it's that way, but I'm not sure. If I'm lucky, maybe there's enough jungle on this side that I don't have to cross. Because that's jungle wood right here. That being said, if there's not a lot of jungle here, I'm not going to break these because I need them as reference point for when I come back this way. Mm. There's bamboo forest over there, which is pretty cool. Can't you make bamboo planks now or something like that, right? Are bamboo, what color are bamboo planks? You can use sugarcane for books? Oh, that's right, because paper. Duh, but I still need, I still need, uh, fuck, I still need leather. Green to yellow? I don't think I need warm yellow. I think we're looking for orange. All right, let's go get our jungle wood because that's going to be for most of our bars and stuff and maybe even our furniture. We'll see. I might do oak furniture, uh, but the bar is definitely going to be jungle wood. Uh, and then we'll find out what we're going to do about Acacia. Let's see if I can spot the savanna while I'm out here. That's because I never run out of fucking steam to hear my own voice, you know, <laughs> except when I do. I vacillate between absolute... Whoa, or someone throwing tridents at me? So they are. I vacillate between absolutely loving hearing myself talk and absolutely despising hearing myself talk, which is just dandy. What a wonderful cocktail of emotions I have. Can you stop? You fucker. Get a hobby. Huh? Where are you? Oh, I thought I heard a witch. Well, get a better hobby if this is your hobby, you weirdo. Kind of wish I could make paper out of sugar cane. Then paper would be really easy. Or not sugar cane, I mean uh, bamboo.
Yum! Okay. Jungle logs are apparently going to be hard to come by. I thought there was really big jungle trees I could harvest that are, like, massive or whatever, but maybe this is a sparse jungle. I know that's technically a different type of biome from regular jungle. Ah, uh, if only there was iron in here. Oh, well. Yeah, I hear scaffolding's convenient, but I just never have the wherewithal or the mental, like, thought process, I guess, to make use of it. So I find scaffolding relatively uh, useless, at least to me, just because I don't think about it enough. Where's that damn witch? I hear it. This is a weird jungle. Jungle feels kind of mild as jungles go. Hello, Wynn. Congratulations on successfully touching grass. I hope you feel like you've accomplished something today. What do you want, you little sheep? Mm -mm -mm. Oh. You're drinking water? Celibate Crimsmas? Don't do that. How dare you? How dare you betray me in such a profound way? Honestly, since I'm just using this for like light furniture, I think we're probably done with the jungle wood after I get this last one. We don't need to worry too much about it. I'm going to spend the rest of this day hunting down that savanna, and then we're going to head home and take a little nap. Get back across the water first, though. We don't want to die with our loot. Hmm could probably make that jump, but it probably also isn't worth the risk. Ooh, well, guess we're taking that risk. Ow. Actually, night is upon us. Maybe I'm not searching for the savannah today. I didn't kill any damn sheep yet. I've been up there. Someone else been up there? I don't remember putting that there. Hmm. Weird. Okay. Anyway. Ruse, aren't you going to give us some flowers? No! No, I would never give you flowers. What would I give you flowers for? What do you think this is? White Day? I think that's the holiday I'm thinking of. Maybe. No, you're not getting any flowers on White Day. Nobody's ever getting any flowers from me. You can get... um. One singular corn chip that I will leave on your doorstep as an insult that I've already taken a bite out of, or you can get one free knuckle sandwich. <laughs> You're welcome. I'll tell you what, as a treat to you on White Day, I will sneak up to your place of, of, of living and I will, uh, um, I will, I don't know, put glue on every single one of your door handles. How's that sound? That sound fun? This place looks so good now. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Aw, oh, man, let me rest. You give me flowers, I'm gonna look you dead in the fucking eyes, and I'm gonna eat them. 
I thought I had cocoa seeds already. Hmm. I mean beans. Whatever. Hey, sleepy time. Damn straight, there's progress. Let's go. Let's go ahead and commit to using the um Stripped oak for the borders, I think. I like that. And then I need to go find some. Okay. Oh, oh no. Oh, here we go. Hey, this isn't the NPC stream yet. That's later. Okay. Hold on. Hold on to those. <laughs> uh, baby, I compare you to. I can't sing any further than that. That's that's my fair use. That's as far as it goes. <laughs> You're all early. Stop. Yeah, 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 yeah! Oh, this is killer. This is killer. We're fucking tearing it up right now. We are tearing it up right now. It's, ooh, everything's coming together. Woo! I'm living, I'm living, I'm living, I'm living, I'm living, I'm living. Um... Cool. I think this is it. I think this is what we need. We do jungle, wood, fence. We do trap door over here. And then that'll be boop. Oh, nice. And then I do oak slab. Then we do like a little fence or sign on the back. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Wrong. Cool. And then I just need uh that and then I need one more fence, I guess. Which is a shame because it means I do have to use a bunch more jungle planks. Thank you for the delicious soup and the yo tavern's come along. Hell yeah, it has. We're getting there, we're getting there. Welcome back. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Oh baby. Switch that around though. I don't I don't know if I love it right there. Maybe I want it right here. Ooh. Let's go. Nice. Item frames for the circles above the bow. Oh yeah, I could. You're right. Okay, so all right. So what we do is we do a case shell on the top, right? No way. That wouldn't work. Well, mm hmm. All right, so we don't have enough space to truly do like the full border on the top of the roof plus do the um, thing. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to do the top of this border with um, acacia wood since it's that really nice orangey color. I'm going to do like an upper border of the rest of this room with the acacia wood planks. And then right here, what I'll do is I'll do acacia fence, most likely hanging off the ceiling. And I will put the item frames on the fence like here, 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 and here. Or maybe here, 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 here. Yeah. Cool. Patricia Fox, congratulations on becoming a Rosader. Oh, we're going to slap some barrels down. Don't you jolly me, Biju. We're here to spread dis, dis jolliness. What is dis, dis disjointment? Uh, discord. Hatred. <laughs> but thanks for the soup anyway. I'll still eat it. I'll put the, I'll put the map up somewhere. The Hollow Stars map. Definitely, definitely. looking good though everything's coming together i like it honestly 
the jungle wood's kind of growing on me a little bit. I like the color of it. It's got like a soft redness to it. I was going to use oak for most of the furniture, but I might use the jungle wood for like the middle tables and stuff and the chairs sitting around them. Let's go ahead and see what that would look like. Because I've got an okay amount of jungle wood now, and I may as well just start kind of decorating a bit. Um... So what I'll do is I'll use jungle wood for the tables, right? Well, hold on. What am I doing? I, I think I've got sticks already. I don't think I need to do that. Don't I have sticks? I use all my sticks. I used all my sticks. Okay, that's fine. No, I didn't. Night, Wolster! I guess I really don't need much more than that. But I do need more, uh, trap doors. One, two, three. Oh, uh, I guess I only need three or four tables. Let's do three tables. And then we'll do oak for the chairs, which means I need roughly, I'm gonna do two chairs per table instead of three. I know a lot of these have three, but that's fine. Two per table would mean I would need six total, but I've got more than that, so that's fine. Keeping it simple enough. I made too many fences. So that's all right. So we've got one table that's kind of close to the bar. It's going to be this one here. It's kind of near the fire too, which is nice. We've got a table that's going to be like, I'm going to make a little uh, flat table over here, I think. We're going to take that, take these, put them. Uh, boop. Ah, nice, nice, nice. Maybe we can set like a little pot on top of these or something at some point. Um, and then this one's going to be the table that's right here. I had more. Did I make slabs? I didn't mean to make slabs. Mmm, flowers. Um, nom, 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 nom. Are you not entertained? Uh, I guess I'm sorry that this stream has devolved into me just talking to myself while I set things down on the ground, but uh, I'm not that sorry about it. And then I can just do simple. I mean, this is like the cheesiest, like simplest uh, type of chairs there are in Minecraft, but eh. Maybe some of them are still three seats, yeah. Yeah, some of them are gonna be three seats. I like it. I could touch it up a bit by adding, um, Maybe there will be four tables. Maybe there will be four tables. They're a little asymmetrical, but I don't think that's terrible. Um, I could touch them up some by adding a bit of a sides to these chairs if that makes sense to you you know what i'm talking about I'll, I'll explain in a second hold on or rather i'll show you in a second uh so you can add sides to the chairs by adding um fence posts to them essentially uh so what you would do is you do like this and then you do this and then i grab those and then what that's gonna do is it creates arms for the chair which is nice There we go. See what I mean? Makes it look a little cozier, a little more like an actual chair. Oh shit, but then I couldn't do it on this side. Oh, hmm. Raise stage for live music in the bar. I could see that, I could see that. Maybe back here in this corner. Maybe this is like a solo seat. Maybe for someone that's feeling a little standoffish. I hear a spoiler on my roof. Hmm. Sk 
Skibbity Ruse arm is shaking his yacht. Welcome in to being a Rusader. Thank you, Stardust. <laughs> and Soup, thanks for becoming a Rusader. I'll use those member chips. Um, yum, 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 yum. To dip in my soup. Uh, what if you make the table bigger? What do you mean? Which one? A table for one, please. That's this one right here. This is the table for one. Let's go. I don't know. I'm kind of vibing with it. It feels kind of good. It feels kind of good. I kind of like it a lot. What do you guys think? Mm. I think it's kind of cozy. I might change the floorboards to Acacia. I haven't decided yet. But then it wouldn't contrast as well against the top part being Acacia. Uh, maybe we'll leave it, Birch. It's not exactly true to form, but you know what? We power washed these floors here in the crim criminal's cut. I'm sure they turned out to be Birch at the end of the day. It's just got a lot of blood on it from uh, all the knife fights. It's fine. Eventually, I want to put like a little pot over here, and I think I'm going to put an item frame here. Or maybe a sign. A sign would be funny. Hmm. I feel like it's good. It's coming along, but it's missing something, and I can't tell what. Missing something. Missing something. I also don't love that this one's missing an arm on this chair, so I might have to move it. Which is a tad annoying, but, you know, it is what it is. Hmm. Oh, good. I have more oak logs. Uh. Boom, 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 boom. Da -da. Mm -hmm. I guess I could leave these ones armless. Kind of a bummer, but it it's fine. It doesn't stand out too, too bad, honestly. It just looks like a crowded table over there. It's fine. Red carpets and lantern. Ah, uh, a carpet could be interesting. We could do a carpet floor. Hmm. Hmm. Paintings and banner, definitely. We're definitely gonna ha uh, hang some banners around to represent those big red banners. Uh... I think what I'll do is I'll do a fence post right here or right here and I'll put a candle on top of it and right here what jungle fence no I might do like a steel bar like an iron bar and then I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do about a raised floor a uh, raised like stage this could be a stage area here maybe then again, I mean, that's not a lot of space. I could do, I could destroy this table and make this a stage area. That could be cool. Like this becomes a raised stage and the table just goes away and it's just the three tables you see here. And then it's it's kind of implying that like the POV we have of the criminal's cut is standing on a stage. Uh... Night, Momo. The bounty board's going to be right here probably. Which is just going to be a sign, more or less. In fact, you know what? Fuck it. Let's slap it down. Boom. Bounty board. Hmm.
Interesting. Uh, I was just seeing if I liked that. Uh... What if you put the Hollow Stars map on the bounty board? Oh, okay. So I cut this down. I make an item frame and I put the Hollow Stars map up there. That could be cool. That's a good idea. The exterior's not done, no, Kiwi. I didn't finish it yet. I just started working on the inside because I had already finished the first floor. So I said, ah, fuck it. I want to mess with it. And honestly, it's giving me, a, it's making me a lot more hype to work on it, which is good. Sometimes you got to swap, you know, you got to switch gears to keep yourself motivated. I was considering it, Saya, but I decided against it. I don't think I have enough vertical space to make Wayne Scotting, really. And even then, I would have to, like, get rid of anything that's touching a wall, right? Like, I wouldn't be able to, like, have this little stool here. Or this uh, ta end table here that's going to have a... Uh, Pot on top. You know what I mean? Like, maybe I could. I don't know. Let me see. Maybe. It would look weird, though, right? Because it cancels. It stops. Hey, Merry Crisis? Merry Crimsmas to you too, Kang Kong. Yeah, I'm going to do a stairwell back here. So once you get past the bar, what's going to happen is you're going to have a uh, bookshelf, 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 bookshelf. And I'm going to use that to represent the, um, like the bottles that are up there. Because I think that's the closest we're going to get to be able to have bottles. I might even do like this as the bookshelves and then have like a little shelf here. And then this is probably going to be a barrel. And then that'll be a barrel. And then I'll start the stairs where this uh, stove is. So like basically you're going to walk into this corner, turn, turn walk upstairs and then the stairs are going to lead up here so behind the stairs and under the stairs somewhat is where the alcohol is stored Mero Caron welcome into being a Rosader yeah I'm going to put torches outside here shortly definitely I'm getting a little tired of these guys spawning on me that's true Cooper you can do that and I might I might I'm kind of trying to figure out how I'm going to do windows down here because I kind of want a window even if there's just one window, maybe like over here, I might do stairs, like stair, 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 because that'll create a middle block that's open. We'll see. Uh, I could also... Here's one thing you could do to substitute texture in a uh, Minecraft. Uh, you can't do it with this because this is terracotta and it doesn't have a stair form. Uh, but if you have like regular materials like stone or wood or anything that can make stairs as a wall, one thing I like doing sometimes is I will use stairs as the bottom layer because then you just get this nice groove all along the bottom of the ground, right? You can even do it like on the upper parts. If I wasn't trying to make this look like regular planks, I could take the acacia and use upside down stairs and it creates this interesting uh, texture where you get this long groove just along the upper uh, segments of your walls, which is pretty cool. Hey, congratulations, Kiko. That's good to hear. I mean, sorry about the storm, but at least you get to chill. Yeah, it's like crown molding. Exactly, teeth. There you go. That was the word I was looking for. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Oh, Vince, that makes sense. That's smart. Yeah. So molding daring uh, darling Dira is kind of like you know how when you have a wall, you'll often have um, at the bottom or at the top, you'll have like sort of an, uh, not an indent, uh, but like a protrusion from the wall that like seals the bottom. That molding keeps like, you know, the walls sealed close to each other and keeps any air out. And it just creates like a nice decorative, decorative texture. You won't see it a lot in modern buildings, but in like, you know, Victorian era shit, it was often like really nicely carved with like lots of swirls and like scroll work on it uh, along the top and bottom. Thank you, Karn or Carne for the uh, delicious member chips. Anyway, let's take a little nap, shall we? Oh, it's not nighttime. They're just out there. 
Okay. Carne. Okay, carne. Got it. Ah! No! Not again. Not in my plaza. Depends on what you mean by elevated platform. Let me sleep. 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 I know, they're always waiting right by the door, the little bastards. I guess I can let him in and just beat his ass. Don't. Don't! Why, dude? I got far enough away. Why? Fuck off, man! How many of you are there? Fuck! Jeez! Negative one luck for real. Jeez. Nice and cloudy today. Holy shit, four creepers. Is the server in hard mode? Nah, they just hate me. Man, that's fucking annoying. Ah. Uh, uh. Um, bum, 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 bum. Where's all my birch wood? Oh, here it is. Creeper rolls up behind me while I'm chilling. Okay, I'm chill. Took out so much of that fucking wall, you oh you son of a bitch. Uh... It's fine. This is fine. Fuck's sake, man. You'll die for that. Hey, thank you for the delicious soup, Shoran. I uh, hope you had a not so bad day and a somewhat okay piece of foods and drinks. And I don't know, not an annoying day. Hey, it's been chill. I've been doing this all day. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> but I'll be making myself something to eat a little later. We've been going for about eight hours. I don't know how much longer I'm going to go. We'll see. Who knows? Uh, and then I'm gonna go make myself something to eat, so it'll be chill. It's been a chill day for the most part. We made pretty fucking good progress. 
on the bottom floor here. There's definitely a lot left to do, but it's getting there. Was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I need to make myself more roof now. Ah, uh, fucking creepers, man. I am going to have a... Probably like a garlic mushroom pork loin, uh, mashed potatoes, and steamed broccoli is what I'm going to make. Yeah, the interior lighting is very warm, but I like that. I think it looks good. Anyway, I got to go put a bunch of torches outside because uh, this is getting ridiculous. Cool. Um, yeah. I will come back to this in a bit. Let's go torch some stuff up. Ooh, torch some stuff up. So gonna make it stand out more at night, which is kind of cool. That'll be cool. That'll be fun to see from a distance when I'm running back home. Um, is this too far out? Hold on. So one block out for two, one block out for three in a row. I've gone too far out on one of these. Oopsies. Wait, then what the hell is this? Wait a minute. 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 Something's not symmetrical here. Hold on. Oh, I see. I see. Got it. Uh, I haven't done anything today besides make my food, which is in the oven now. Basically trying to make mac and cheese homemade for the first time. Oh, that sounds very delicious, Bitter Magic. And thank you for the tasty, tasty soup. Mmm. Well, hopefully that's enough to keep them a little bit at bay. Um, you know, just far enough away that it's not a huge problem. I might even set like a torch up here for now. I hate having random torches just laying around that don't make sense. You know what I mean? Like just out in the world, but I could tolerate it for a little bit. CJ Bissard. Thanks for the chill vibes while I've been painting. Ooh, what have you been painting? Merry Chrysler, Ruse. <laughs> Thank you and congrats. I hope the painting turns out well. Yeah. This will work for now. Uh, let's just put a few more torches around. I really, really hate just having them out, but it'll work for now. We'll, we'll fix it later. We'll make it better. Don't worry. We'll touch it up. Good enough. Oh, I see. That explains why it's so nice and cloudy over there. It's funny that the uh, biome stops being, um, it stops being bad lay or uh, Mesa in between because this is a river biome. So it cannot rain on this side. It cannot rain on that side, but it can rain in the river biome right here. So you just get rained on on the bridge. Merry Christmas to you as well. <laughs> oh, that's turning out pretty good. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Cool. Yeah, we might do a covered roof bridge. That could be cool. 
What I'm probably going to do is I'm going to use planks uh, instead of blocks. And I'm going to do like, you know, uh, three down half a plank, three down half a plank, three down half a plank. I'll probably make it four or five wide so I can have like an inner layer and then an outer layer that uh, I can set torches and fencing on and then stack up the fencing to make a roof over the top of it. And then you can make that sort of like bowed look where it kind of swoops down. You know what I mean? Like the, the bridge itself like swoops under and up on either side. So it sort of has that like weight to the middle, like it's sagging. Am I going to make a stairway to the bridge? Maybe. Probably. Yeah, I think so. I'm blessed. Except it can't rain here in the, the Mesa. So clearly I'm cursed. <laughs> uh, musicals are okay. I don't seek them out, but I don't hate them. They're all right. I've watched a few, you know, like um, Sweeney Todd or Les Mis or uh, Hamilton. They're okay. You know it, tomato. Oh, Shoran, thank you for the delicious gifted member chips. Um, yum, 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 yum. Okay, it's daylight. I've got a good amount of day left. So let's go ahead and make our way downtown. We're going to walk real fast. Uh, faces may in fact pass, uh, but we are not homebound. We're heading out to find some acacia. Let's do this. Any creepers out here? Oh, man. Thank you for the gifts. You're too kind. Too kind. They don't deserve it. No, <laughs> you know what? Maybe I'll just hold on to this one. That's fine. We've got enough inventory space. We'll be all right. Okay. It looks like our torches are working to keep out most mob spawns, at least at night. You don't deserve it if we don't? I don't know how many times I have to tell you that I don't deserve it, but I don't deserve it. <laughs> We're sleeping, sli streaming longer than the entire, your entire sleep duration. That's my, that's my secret power cap. Yeah, the lighting changes subtly on the bridge, which is pretty sick. I like that a lot. Mm -mm. Let's see here. Let us go and see what we will see. Man, that's looking pretty cool. I like that you approach it from like a downhill. Because if you're coming from Gerard's desert over there with Octavio and uh, Goldie, you're going to be approaching from roughly around that or that direction, I believe. So you're going to be coming from a downhill and you're going to crest a hill and see that over the, like once the roof's on it, I'll see it from about here and it's going to look pretty cool looking up at it. And then by the time you get to the bridge, you're going to be looking down at it because you have to go up a hill and then down. So it's going to give you a lot of different angles to view it from. Like, don't make me use 1% of my power. Streams for eight hours. Damn straight, Skylar. All right, so that... Let me think. That... I'm going to head up that hill. I, I feel like I remember the Savannah being this way, but I could be wrong. Welcome back, Manon. <laughs> I figured I would just stream all the way from my EU times into my EST times. You know? You're welcome. That's my that's my one Christmas gift to you. Now I can ruin two different time zones days. Hell, if I keep going long enough, I'll even ruin my JST time zones day. Sorry, J sorry, uh, JST audience. <laughs>
Did I guess right? No. Maybe. I see grass. But I don't think that's Savannah. And that's a bright, 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 bright terracotta. So that's all desert that way. Hmm. I guess I guessed wrong. Been here since 2 a.m. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> Don't say what your time zones are, you dorks. That's doxing yourselves. Well, I didn't stop to measure it, Silent Eric. <laughs> I don't know. Pretty large. Pretty large. Uh, a couple stories, at least. Soup for the soup god. Whoa. And now I will have blood for the blood god. Uh, fresh meat. Thanks for the delicious soup, psych. What's that? Nope, that's not it either. That, that's actual Badlands biome, I believe. Hmm. Oh yeah, I should check my posture. You're right. I started leaning sideways. I started getting really, really sassy hip there for a second. <laughs> Joke's on you. I'm omnipotent. Prove it. What was I thinking 425 minutes ago? Ah, doing things the old hard way. Walking everywhere. Good times. I've been spoiled by having an Elytra for a day or two. That's rough, bud. You should try to get out of the sun when you get a chance. Bye. Oh, another part of the mine. Oh, another, another part of the mine. I guess these mine cart or mine tracks run all the way through my uh, entire mesa. It's kind of cool, actually. Take care, Yon. Good luck. Huh. I think I'm getting closer to Gerard's desert heading this way. I parry those hearts. Block! These are really cool. These are really cool uh, structures. I might need to go up there and break that down, or that's going to drive me insane, though. I don't like it floating. That's very cool. Ah, oh, wow. Pucci, thank you for gifting all of these people eternal torment here as members of the crew. Crimson Ruse! I almost said Crusaders, and I meant Rusaders. But I started saying Crimson, and then I almost combined my words. Woo! That was close. Uh, thank you very much for the delicious member chips. We can all... You know what? This time, I'll even share. You guys can have some chips, too, and you can dip it in the soups. Soup, soup. Every time I say soups, I think of that picture that... Um, that picture of uh, like a little chibi, me being held up, just like going nim, 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 with, with like a little cat tongue, eating soup, going nim, soup, soup. Wait, is that? Oh, fuck. No, that's regular. Damn, where was this stupid Savannah? Hmm. <gasps> Aha! Found it, gamers. We did it. All right. I might need a lot of Savannah wood, so we might want to stay here for a while and just keep breaking these bad boys down. Let's go. There it is. There's our acacia wood. Nice, 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 nice. All right. Easy peasy. Wasn't even worried about it for a second. Can I find my way back? Yes. A ruse always knows his way home. That's a little lore fact you could take down. <laughs> Man. 
man, there's so much grass out here. I could get, you know, I could get a ton of wheat out here, actually. For my farm I need to make eventually. Southern Elysium Internet, thank you for finally paying me back for what I've done, uh, for, for the cruelty you have enacted upon me. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I'm happy to announce internet presence in South, South Elysium increased by 50% as part of my holiday gift to your company. Wow, you're so generous. How about this instead? I, as my gift to your company, I will not come down to your office and start axing random employees instead of paying the 50% increase. I think it's a pretty good deal, personally. But think about the delicious soup. I don't know where I'm going to have my farm yet, but I'm going to have to make a farm at some point. Also, we may end up burying ourselves tonight, and we'll treat that like a Zatudan segment, and then I'll pop back out of the ground, and we'll keep going on uh, gathering some of this acacia wood. But I do think that I'm not going to head back home for the evening, because that's just too much walking. You know what, rather than burying ourselves, why don't we just get up in a tall tree? We'll go up there. We'll go up here and just wait it out. That sounds nice. Oop. I miscalculated by one leaf. We'll just chill here for the night. We'll vibe. Keep an eye out on the uh, savannah. And uh, yeah, we'll just stare at that beautiful mesa and just kind of take in the sights while we chat. How's that sound? Hey, thank you for the delicious member chips. Thank you, Shara and Himura. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Nah, I'd win. How dare you? That's my say saying. Skeletons have a chance to shoot me off. What about now? Nice. Checkmate, skeletons. Nah, I don't need coordinates. I know my way back. It's fine. A ruse always knows exactly where he is. Rat bastard. I wasn't kidding when I said I'd be streaming for a while. Welcome back. <laughs> I know I call a lot of you rat bastards, but this time I mean it. This time I mean it. That's a name. Spiders can't climb up here because they wouldn't be able to get uh, in from under the canopy. Spiders struggle to get um, over lips. So if there's a lip on your building, spiders are just going to sit on the bottom of the lip instead of coming up because they're always trying to move directly toward you. That's how their AI works. So they're not going to climb away from the lip and back up. Hello, Sarah Tony. Mm? Or Tony, in this case. Welcome back. I'm at eight and a half hours so far. Am I okay? Who you call it, sweetheart? You mean sour heart. <laughs> Ruse, the black heart. Ruse, uh, the withered heart. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm good. Eight hours really isn't that long. I mean, not for like just chilling on a game anyway. I guess you could start worrying if I went for like 16 or... Maybe 18 hours. That's when you should be like, hey, are you good? But nah, eight hours of chilling. What's stopping me from being the first Armist 12 hour stream? Nothing really. I mean, I could do it, but then I'd have to wait a really long time to eat dinner. Eh, sweet tarts are okay. They're more my dad's thing. My dad loves sweet tarts. Oh, that's right. VODs can't be longer than 12 hours. Aww. But then I'd have to stop and make dinner. See, see my struggle there. I'd have to stop and make dinner and then come back. And you guys have to sit here for like half an hour, 20 minutes while I did that. And that's not even accounting for the time it would take me to like peel the potatoes and mash them. I, I don't know about that.
I could make another stream. That's true. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I am not going to have you sit here on a BRB screen for 30 minutes. That's just not happening. I see that song reference, my darling. <laughs> it is a good time for chat to get uh, a little break. Actually, right now, nothing's going to be happening while we're here for the nighttime other than me shooting the shit with you gamers. So if you got... Whoa. New moon? Cool. Uh, so if you guys want to take a little break and grab yourself some food uh, and a snack and use the bathroom... I'm just going to be standing here until night's over. See you later, banana. Oh, no, not the forgetting to eat. <laughs> Take care of yourselves, you dorks. The moon is round because of the shader pack I'm using. The same reason the water has water textures on it like that, instead of being like a solid block color. It's never too late to eat. Is that you, Ronnie? Are you up there with that cloud passing over your face? <laughs> I never did do the Ronnie end. I was running through Elden Ring completely blind and uh, I pretty much shirked anything that had to do with any of the gods or demigods. Cause I was like, fuck you guys, not a chance. Kubo! Yeah? Welcome into being a Rosader. Thanks. <laughs> See you later, Skylar. You know what? It's been a pretty all right day, Sharon. Thanks for the, for the well wishes. And thank you for the delicious soup. That's rough, buddy. It's a new moon. We're waiting for it to go down, though. It's true. I'm still awake. Hmm. Daylight soon. But behold, the mesa at night. Beautiful, eerie, desolate. Aaron, and yet a painterly beauty rests in the colors of the rock, stone, clay. Oh, Santa won't dare show his face around here for another 364 days, for sure. Oh, no, that meow wasn't free, Hellish. I'm sorry. I've actually sent the uh, bill to your bank account. You know what, Sully? I'm glad. Just this once, just for today. I'll hang out. No strings attached. <laughs> However, I will say the other Rosaders are usually very sweet, and I'm sure you're all very happy to keep each other company. I hope, anyway. Be nice to each other, Rosaders. Who else is going to be nice to you? <laughs> Is it next year a leap year? Uh. Maybe. It's like daylight's definitely coming. There goes the moon, and here comes the sun. Da 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 da. <laughs> there 
There it is. I like to stare into the sun to assert dominance and let it know that I'm not afraid to look at it. Everybody else averts their eyes and casts them down upon the floor like cowards, like babies, like they, they, they give deference to the sun. Not me. I stare right at it to assert that I'm in charge. Hell yeah. I'm not going blind. My eyesight's fucking insane. Have you seen my hunt streams? Oh, hi, Haka. Hello, Hakitos and Haka. We're watching the sun rise together. Behold, as it casts its glorious golden rays over the orange mesa. How'd the stream go? What'd you get up to today? What were you doing today, Haka? Was it the end of your... Today's the end of your haka -miss, right? How'd you like it? What'd you do? What was the cap off? Raid! There it goes. Beautiful. All right, let's get back down there and keep digging up some wood, shall we? Uh, no. Die. 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 He's not dying. Oh, you were talking about Pokemon. Huh? Oh, just a chill Zatsu. Nice. Thank you for the five crimson uh, member chips. I'm going to put those chips directly in the soup. Delicious. Thank you, Sakura Mikage. Did I miss what Haka said? I probably missed what Haka said. Kaka! Good luck, VOD watchers. You're going to be struggling for a while. This has been an, uh, an eight and a half hour stream so far. Thank you for the member chips. Get out of here, you little devil. Get out of here. Boo. Chew. Hey, congratulations on getting snoiped. been here the whole time man that's uh that's either dedication or masochism one or the other ah thank you merry kissmas wait a minute mm. anyway thank you for the gifted membership Acacia would. Don't mind if I do. Ninapedia, thank you for the membership. All right, let's not all start going wild here. Let's relax, relax. You got to save that Christmas money to buy yourself a Nintendo Switch. Think about it. Think, Mark. Think. <laughs> You're very brave, Leo, but we'll see how that goes. You fuckers, dude. Ah! Go away. What's wrong with you guys? But I already have a Switch. You could always have another. What about an OLED? Nintendo Switch is temporary. Ruse is forever. Unless... Unless I'm temporary. You didn't think about that, did you? Ooh, shiny hunting in which game? Wait, no. Duh, it's the Switch. You're probably shiny hunting in Skvilet. Steam Deck. Steam Deck? Is that that thing that lets you play uh, Steam games? Mobily? I'm not a half-elf. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm not temporary. I mean, I guess technically we're all temporary. Entropy will claim us all one day. But I'm in the idol business for the long haul. <laughs> At least until I become the world's most infamous idol. And everybody in every household learns to hate me equally. Uh, I would say so, Kiko. Just because it has better frame rate, better graphics, and you can uh, play it with other controllers. I personally don't like playing Monster Hunter on the Switch controllers, and I don't like the frame rate on Switch. So I had it on Switch and decided to get it on Steam. I prefer it on Steam.
Wait a minute, Fleon's only 18,000 years old? Ah, to be young again. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Wait, if I go over here, is it going to start raining? Yep. Look, look, the grass is literally greener on the other side. No rain? Rain. No rain. Rain. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm an average normal human age. I'm not, I'm not 18,000. That's for sure. Bruce, do you fart dust? I don't fart. Idols never fart. That's a fact. Thank you very much for the soup. Shoran, you're out here like carrying me on your back. You gotta stop. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta relax. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Wait, what does that sound? Hey, hey, get out of here. It's not even raining. Can't rain out here. Go away. Hey, what the fuck? Get out of here, I said. Where did you even come from? What are you wearing? Thank you for the five gifted memberships. I see you over there. I see that you're blatantly ignoring what I'm saying. I see. I get it. I get it. All right. Well, fine. Then I just won't say anything about it. Ugh. Ah! Ducked it. You suck. Ah, there's another one behind me. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. We got to move. We got to move. Woo. Woo. Ha <laughs> ha. Psych. Nice try. Boo. You guys stink. Dicks. Tony! All right. Thank you very much for the five gifted memberships. Okay, I'm starting to feel like this, this chat is filling up with a little bit too much Christmas spirit. And as a uh, Christmas hater, let's get back in the spirit of Christmas and remind ourselves that we're supposed to hate each other, not give each other things. But thank you again for the membership. Uh, you're very sweet. Oh, so we're ignoring me, huh? That's how it is? <sighs> Can't even control the Rosaders in my own chat. What world do I live in? So shall it be. And I will harden my heart again and shore up the defenses of my emotional state. I will stand vigilant against this kindness. Nothing. We'll break down my walls. Anyway, hey, uh, thank you for the for the gifted memberships and the delicious. Okay, 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 okay. All right, very funny. I get it. That's enough. At this point, it is going. To, listen, I can't. I feel. Mm, I I'm going to. I'm just. I'm just going to say thank you from now on. I'm going to say thank you and nothing else because clearly, you guys are just being belligerent for the sake of being belligerent. So. How about this? I very much appreciate that. Thank you very much. Wow, it's so sweet of you to give me that, and I cherish the, the gifts you have given me. Thank you for your kindness and the gifted memberships and the soup. There. How about that? Wow. Thank you very much, Unable. Thank you, Astra. Wow. Uh. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesse! I mean... <laughs> What I meant was, <laughs> I meant, <clears throat> ha, thank you. <laughs> there. Yay! Oh shit, man. This rain, uh, this rain's making this a pretty dangerous trip. I really don't want to lose all the stuff I am on me. Is that an ender dude? So it is. Yeah, yeah, deserve every deserve every bit of support. You know what? Thank you, Tony. <laughs> you should consider giving us flowers. Well, Shiro, I could give you one stem with no bud with thorns all over it. How's that sound? <laughs> yeah. 
Love me an inner dude. That's got to be one of my favorite genders. Yeah, same. Same for sure. Oh, I thought I heard something behind me. Ooh, spooky. I like how it just turns into like sort of a haze out here when it gets rainy. Because it can't rain here. So it gets hazy instead. This soup's actually for chat. Oh, okay. Hip hop fray. <laughs> I'm kidding. Thank you, hip hip fray, for the soup. I will pass that along to chat. I'm not flustered. I've never flustered. I've never been flustered in my whole life. I've always been completely in control and always will be in control. And there's n nothing God, man, or anything else. No outer deity with its thousand gibbering maws could say anything that could ever fluster me. All right? You could open up one of your 13,000 shrieking maws singing the song that ends the universe. And it wouldn't do shit to phase me. There. There. I don't even know what coping is. I've never had copium in my life. I have no idea what that means, Ulysses, but you know what? I don't know, man. I just make gumbo might be one of the greatest responses I've ever heard to anything. I feel like that could just apply. You could literally say that to anything. Someone would be like, why are you here? You'd be like, I don't know, man. I just make gumbo. <laughs> Thanks. I'm glad you like my hat. It was actually made for me uh, by Rainbox17. I think I quote retweeted them on Twitter a little bit ago on the pick mix I made. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not a Sundari. I just hate everyone. I'm not. Uh, you know, all right. I can't. I'm done arguing. I'm not going to argue with you. If I argue with you, it provokes you, and I see how that goes. And then you try to. Uh, I get it. I understand. The joke is ha ha. We're bullying Ruse with super chats. And to stop that, I am just going to agree with what you say. We all saw the end of the Hawk interview. Yes, I'm very sweet. I'm very nice. I'm such a nice guy. <laughs> Good night, Rika. I'm not a Sundere. Can I sleep through this rain? Yeah, nice. Uh. Thank you for the magenta super chat, Akia. I will put it in a frame and cherish it. You're so sweet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Delicious soup. Uh-huh. Where was I? Put all those hearts away. <laughs> ah, man, I love it here. I love it. I love everything. Man, I love loving things. The Prince of Sundaria. What the hell is Sundaria? What is that? Like Pop Tropica? What are we talking about? I need more sticks. I thought I had a bunch of sticks. Where'd all my sticks go? Hmm. Oh. Ba bow, 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 and ta, ta ta Yeah! My body has not rejected the kind words. I can handle kind words. I'm very strong. I'm very tough. I also think you're pretty nifty. Naru, thank you for the soup. I love it. See? I'm very good at being nice. I, in fact, I am the reigning champion of the niceness competition. I am number one. They set me up on that fucking placard like Shaq. I'm basically the space jam of being kind to people and accepting kindness and taking gifts. I'm so good at it. They, they, they framed my name in the Hall of Fame of accepting kindness. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ah, I love it. 
We're doing good. We're doing good. We're getting it. Ah. Oh, it's all coming together. Never beaten the... Ooh, I will beat those Sundari allegations. You'll see. Just like I beat the Himbo allegations, I could do it again. I'm a champion. Nothing can stop me. I'm an idol. I'm the strongest creature that ever existed on this planet. I'll show you just how well I can accept kindness. Um, behold, this move. Thank you. Ding. Really? Truly? Yeah, truly. Xian Lao. Uh, welcome into being a Rosader. Give me that. Do I like it? Do I like it? Let's back up and take a look. I think I like it. I do intend to do that, Squidgem. I do. I've already done it. I spent almost my entire day doing this. Basically woke up Ate a little, ate a little treat for myself, and then immediately got Minecrafting. <laughs> His heart grew ten sizes this Crimsmas. Thank you, Monty. Gotcha. I kind of wish there was a diagonal block or like a support beam block I could use. I would really love to do like cross support beams. Oh well. Hmm. Are you guys still throwing hearts in chat? Look, I already accepted how nice everybody's being. I did a good job. Let's go back to hating each other. It'll be beautiful. It'll be wonderful. Our rage, our, our hatred will be so profane, so, so perfect, so pure, so profound. It, 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 it would make angels cry. Okay, interior decor. That's what I'm saying, AK. Take a look. I'm feeling it. Thanks for walk, uh, walking my grandma across the street, putting the fire out of that orphanage, and donating all your money to charity. Hey, you know me, Lennon. I'm nothing if not the world's strongest jaywalker. And if I can help your grandma commit crimes, I'm down. I like it. I like it a lot. But now I'm starting to think I want to do something with the floorboards, or the uh, lower floors, too. Like, maybe that shouldn't be just raw white. But I don't know yet. Hmm. Debate, 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 debate. Debate, 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 debate. Only hearts here? Blech. Yeah, you like it, Dawn? Not bad, right? We're getting there. We're getting there. Hmm. I need to think for a second. Hmm. Night linen. Hmm. I feel like maybe the floor is a little boring now. Or the lower lowest tier of this wall. I don't want to do more. I could do more orange. Maybe that'll look good. Let's just look at it real quick. Let's just try. Oops. Let's just try it out and see what we think. And if we change our mind, we, it's fine. We can go back. Damn, I kind of like that though. It really ties it together. Huh. And then I could maybe do like. Hmm.
Does it look like a diner? I don't really want it to look like a diner necessarily. Hmm. Well, I could go get them sand. I could get a ton of sand for the Tempest base if I really wanted to. Be a good idea to trade there. See, the thing is, the criminal's cut does actually just end up being white at the bottom, but I kind of like the way that looks. Maybe I'm just getting... I think I'm getting in my own head. I think, I think we're going to leave it as a... We're going to leave it white for now. And I might add some sort of trim along the bottom or something, like either signposts or... Uh, We'll see, but once I start adding decorations to the walls, because I'm going to put like a little lamp right here, or well, uh, like a copper or an iron bar, and then set a candle on top of it and do the same here. Once I really start decorating the sides of the walls, I feel like maybe I won't need anything on the ground. Maybe it'll be too busy at that point. Bait. Oh, yeah? Welcome into being a Rosader. I'm going to add barrels. Don't worry. The barrels are going to go in the back over here. The barrels are going to go behind the bar. Because so I'm going to set up a bar here in a bit. Uh, well, this is the bar, technically. But I'm going to set up some stuff back here that, like, would be where you serve the drinks from. And then I'm going to set stairs up to go to the upper floor. I just haven't done it yet because I haven't done much with the roof. So I don't want to bother with it at the moment. Oh, by Toei. I see. By Toei. Huh. Yeah, maybe we'll do a little social drinking here at the Criminal's Cut. I like to think the Rosaders hang out at the Criminal's Cut, right? You guys stop by here once in a while for a cheap drink. Armor stands could be interesting, maybe, maybe. Hmm. Oh, nothing hits like a... Nice warm glass of AJ. Uh, if you could find surprise AJ just sitting around in the hall, not bad at all. <laughs> Do they have chocolate milk? Sure, why not? What the fuck is a Moscow mule? That sounds like it would kick my ass. Sure, I'm sure they have tea here. Why not? Mm. Whoa! Stew. Thank you, Hexblade. I knew a Hexblade warlock once. I keep standing in this corner because I'm kind of using it to reference how I stare at the um, criminal's cut. So I definitely need like, okay, so like, let's see, it would be right, right about here. Right about here, actually. I need banners on the walls. I'm gonna have to set some uh, item frames up on the fence up there. I need the candles there. This is eventually gonna have to be an item frame with the uh, Tempest, or I mean the Hollow Stars map that they gave me. Maybe I pull this table in, right? Pull this table in, set it here. Get rid of this table. Make a stage here that you can stand on. I think that's probably the move. Maybe. Oh, I'm sure. It's still sealed. It's okay. That AJ's delicious. I also need to figure out what I'm going to do with lanterns because you can't put lanterns on these because these aren't actual tables. Like, you can't set anything on top of these blocks. Uh, so I might hang some lanterns from the ceiling, honestly. And, you know, the, the ceiling texture is growing on me. At first, I didn't like it, but now I'm kind of fucking with it. Kind of vibe with it. I am talking about apple juice. Hey, Ozan. Welcome back. Mm. I 
feel like glowberries would stand out too much because we're going for sort of a tavern vibe, not really a um, fancy elven vibe. Hmm. Yeah, the upside down stairs is definitely an interesting idea. I don't think that's bad at all. I think that could work for if you wanted to do like the support beams that are popping off of these bad boys. Um, I'd have to get some pretty dark wood to make it work, but I could do it. Arguably, I could do it out of the orange wood, I guess. The acacia. Let's try it out out of the acacia, shall we? See what we think about that. Mm. Nah. I think it cuts it up too much. Mm. Uh, the issue with flower pots is you can't set them on top of these, I don't think. So it wouldn't work for cups. I'm just gonna have to leave the tables empty, unfortunately. Uh, because I didn't use slabs for tables, I used uh, trap doors to make them look a little thinner. You can't really put anything on them. That's the big struggle. I could put a slab on this table just so I could set a flower pot on it because there is a little pot underneath the bounty board uh, in the reference image. It's definitely coming together pretty well though. Pistons. Hmm. True. Hmm. Oh, we've gone for nine hours now. Well done, gamers. Not bad at all. Bring stand behind the bar is not a bad idea. I also want to put a cauldron in this corner as like a sink. I'm thinking maybe over here is going to be sort of like the kitchen area, right? Nothing wild, nothing crazy. Just like a little cauldron in this corner. Maybe like some uh, crafty tables here. Um, that kind of stuff. I might throw like a, I don't know, like a seaweed block or something or a hay barrel right here. So I guess they wouldn't have hay in here. There would be no point in that. I'll figure something else out. But this is going to be bookshelves because that's going to look like our little bar holding our little wine bottles. Um, and then I'm going to have a barrel, probably a barrel, and then stairs, and we'll figure out what to do from there. Uh, up here, I'm going to have banners on these walls, and I'm going to have item frames up here to symbolize those little circles up there. I might even put, like, little sundials or something in them, or something circular. We'll see. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're getting there. Scaffolding for tables. Scaffolding for tables is not a bad idea. They're a little light. If I could make scaffolding out of something besides the bamboo, I would consider it, but they're so bright. We are making the criminals cut. True. Smithing for a uh, table would look pretty cool, actually. Hmm. Well... Potatoes, broil, mash up, stick them in a stew. I could throw down carpet, but I'm definitely going to do the top floor and almost all carpet. Because what's going to happen when I get done here is once I build the stairs up, I'm going to turn the top floor into like where people would uh, be staying for the evening, essentially. So that's going to be where people would uh, go up if they rented a room and they could stay up there for the night. Uh, that's going to I'm going to separate it by multiple walls into multiple different, uh, you know, sleeping quarters, essentially. I know I'm spending a lot of time in this corner just staring off into the distance. I'm just trying to visualize. I sure am, uh, a bitch. Oh yeah, there is redwood in the nether, that's true. Hmm. 
Man, it's difficult to visualize this shit. Yeah, I guess that is a brick texture, not a cobblestone texture, huh? Maybe I'll swap it to brick for the uh, actual chimney. I like the... I do like this texture, though. This is a good texture. But you're probably right. It is brick in the uh, reference picture, huh? All right, we'll do brick. Good call. Just so I'm making some progress while I think. Oh, that's too many. Oh, well. May as well have extra, just in case. <laughs> All right. Uh... Yeah, it's probably going to look better. You're right. Now, do I want the back of it to be cobblestone to create, like, distinction? Like, a visual distinction between the two? Or do I want to leave it? Or make it break? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> questions, questions, questions. back being cobblestone honestly hey she ye go thank you for the 10 gifted memberships yeah thank you delicious memberships to dip in my soup that does look good as brick texture i do like that cool 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 cool, cool. i'm gonna leave the back cobblestone i like the vibe of it then again, if I do that, then the outside might look weird. Hold on, let's check the outside. Oh, nope, maybe I can't do that. Bummer. Man, all right, fine, we won't. That's a shame. Would have been cool. Well. Hmm, cover the outside with boxes, not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Yeah, I could put barrels out here. Aww. Hmm. And then I just cover this with something else, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Could add another layer outside for the chimney chute. I probably will have to, just because if I want it to go to the roof above, it's going to need another layer out there. Or no, it won't. No, it won't. We'll see. Yeah, this is going to be the criminal's cut eventually, short giraffe. We're working on it anyway. There are barrels in Minecraft. Yeah, you can make barrels. Like so. Hold on. You can't change the two bricks? I can. I just don't want to. I like the back. I like it looking cobblestone. 
Because look at how much more it stands out back there. It's so bright compared to the actual like stone brickwork that it just really looks cool back there. Make the chimney shoot open so you can see. Nah, that isn't going to work. I, well, so I could make that work, but what I'd have to do is I'd have to uh, push this back, essentially, meaning I'd have to build out a, uh, at least I would have to build out two more from out here because I'd have to delete these. These would have to go. The, the actual fire would have to go right here, and then I'd have to build out here, right? And then build up from there. So I'd have to recess the fire more, exactly. Yeah, the problem isn't that I'd have to move these. The problem I have with it is that I'd have to recess them and then I'd have to build out with the chimney and then build up with the chimney. And what's going to happen then is that this wall is going to be chimney and I don't want that. I want the upper floor to be visually distinct from the lower floor. I guess what I could do is once I get the chimney all the way to the roof, I could put campfires on top to show smoke. Like I could flare out the chimney on the roof, you know, and make it like, uh, basically make it look like this but then build around it a bit with little half blocks so the fire's hidden and the smoke goes up and out. I don't remember the shader name, but I know it's a pretty bog standard shader. Projector, projectornist. Um, I don't remember the name right now though. Good luck, Kinga. It might be complimentary shaders, yeah. Mm, I can't remember. All right, well, I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to run and grab myself some water, maybe? We'll see. We'll see. No promises. Uh, I will BRB. You guys get to hang out here with Zephyr. No, you know what? I'm going to leave you a little bit of Minecraft ASMR. You guys get to vibe with the Minecraft. Let me just add uh, something that says BRB. Otherwise, I'm going to feel bad. Boom. Done. All right. Be right back.
Run. Hey, I'm back. What's up? Listen, the tavern's not done yet. It's going to look fuller. Give it time. Give it time. We'll figure it out. Did I spook you? <laughs> What are we at? Nine and a half hours? Not bad at all. Not bad at all. <laughs> Sorry, I scared the shit out of you. If you were playing another game and you just heard that out of nowhere, apologies, I guess. No, I don't need sleep. How dare you? Did I get a snack? No, I got water. <laughs> One hour of silence, occasionally interrupted by the sound of a Pikmin. You're immune to run and want to buckle my shoe? Oh, uh, yeah? Are you immune to... <laughs> hey, welcome into my stream. <laughs> Are you immune to the e-boy jump scare? I'm not. That terrifies me. I hear that voice, I'm like, oh... Oh, I left the door open this whole time. Hey, no creepers got in. Lucky. <laughs> Lucky. Good. How much for one e-boy stream? You'll have to kill me. Um... You'd have to, I, I would have to die first, sorry. I do not remember sushi. Uh, I know I've got pretty okay specs though. I think it's pretty good. Um, like I've got a gifted graphics card and a processor, not processor. What's the word I'm looking for? Power brick that are both pretty good. Yeah, I'm scared, do it again. No, never, never, not a chance. Thanks for the delicious soup though. Uh, NPC e-boy stream. Hey, um, here's a cool idea. If you ever wanted me to, like, stop being an idol and, uh, peel my flesh clean off of my bones, you could have me do an NPC, uh, e-boy stream. But I think that's the only thing we'd get out of that is I would, uh, I would just expire on the spot. So, yeah. Oops. It would be unique. Good. What am I doing? What? What just? Hey, wait a minute. Why are you struggling? Wait a minute. My mouse's not moving how it's supposed to. Ah. Hmm. Did I? 
I fix it? Okay, I think it's better. Yeah! Okay, cool, 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 cool. Oh, no! Mouse Coon? All right, so where were we? Uh, NPC Boromir stream. Um, I don't think I could do a good enough Boromir. I think that's not going to happen. Uh, so next, I want... You know what? I'm going to take a little break. I think I'm hitting a, I think I'm hitting a mental roadblock here on this one. Uh, I am instead going to go find some iron. Let's go do a bit of mining. I think we've done enough building for now. I might come back to it in a little bit. Soup streams, huh? No promises, but maybe, maybe. Man, do I need another, another chest? Are you kidding me? Am I seriously, man. Oh. Man. Yeah, I need iron pretty bad. Huh. Yeah, I guess I'm pretty full up on stuff. Uh, let us drop off things we don't need. Isn't that with me? We're getting ready to go mining. Yeah, we're going to go mine. I want to get some iron. And so, to facilitate this, I must go back into the earth. I must strike the earth! So we're back in the mines. One birch plank, huh? It's coming with me. Uh, that's coming with me. This can go back. Thank for the delicious soup, manon. Yum. I guess that's good enough. We'll leave the big axe behind. I need to make a couple more pickaxes. I don't really want to bring the acacia fences, so I'll bring this bowl for no reason. I'll put these arrows away because I don't need these arrows. And then we'll get to mining. Oh, I don't need all that fish either. That's a lot of fish. Uh, let's take these bones and put them here. Put my fish away. And then I will... Hmm... Otsurus, thank you, Chaco, for the delicious soup. Hmm. Man, my brain really fried there for a second. I was like, what am I doing? What is bro cooking? My brain. Am I lagging? I am lagging. That was weird. But my stream's not. Is it the server? Is the server lagging? Oh, thank you for the gifted member chips. Yeah. Thank you, Chaco. All right, hold on. So we'll do like one of these and we'll do one more of these, I think. That should be enough. We'll bring these sticks with us in case we decide we want more. We've got more than enough pickaxes to survive for a while. So we're going to bring this. And I think this is our whole setup. I do want to bring more torches. I don't know where all my torches went. Where did all my torches go? Uh, do a quick scan. No. Scan. 
No. Where do my torches go? Oh, I was putting them all outside. That's right. Okay, I, I, I got it. I got it. I put them all outside. I for gore. Damn, that's some heavy lag. Uh, you know what? It's okay, though. We'll make it work. Night, Chaco! Damn, that's some heavy lag. What is going on? What the hell? What? What? As soon as I'm like, I'm gonna go do combat, it says, nah, nah. It hates me. It hates me! But why? What did I do? What did I do to deserve this? Oh well. I fear neither God nor man, nor the punishment of a server lagging. Yeah, I guess it could think I'm AFK. Maybe I need to reload it. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. You know what's weird is actually the uh, Southern Elysium Internet's doing all right. I'm, I'm surviving out here. Like, I mean, my stream's holding up just fine. It's just the, the server that's lagging, really. Maybe it's the way I'm connecting to the server. Good night to you sleepy rosaders. Don't you dare go to sleep though. You may blink. You may not rest. <laughs> Hello, crawler. Oh. Wow. Uh, thank you very much for the, uh, wow. Uh, magenta soup. Here's my soup for the nine plus hour stream uh, uh, of stream today before you head off from here. Or I have to head off from here. I'm not leaving yet. Uh, thanks again for the very productive stream as I'm drawing you very you very beautiful and badass at the same time. Merry Christmas to you too, Chiels, and thank you very much. I hope you feel like you've been productive as well. Magenta, battle voice? I don't think I can do a battle voice. What does battle even sound like? I feel like battle stutters a lot, right? Like, I, 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 I. Thank you for being my new least favorite comfort, str comfort streamer. But I'm always cackling like an asshole and yelling at things. You know what? Thanks, Rosie, for the soup. <laughs> yes, Battle does stream. He's always like, I don't... No, no, hold on. That's not how he sounds. Let me think for a second. He sounds like... Ah, what does Battle sound like? Let me think. What does Battle sound like? He's like... What does he sound like? It's been a while since I've... God, man, mimicking actual voices, like not character voices, but like people's voices is very hard because they've spent their whole life developing that voice, right? Like it's just how they talk. It's not like it's like some part of the throat they speak out of. It's just how they talk. Similar to Germa? Uh, I don't know what Germa sounds like either. He sounds like honk. Oh, that's right. He sounds like oh. like an awkward. No, no. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out at some point. We rest and then we go find a mine. It's probably going to be one of those mine shafts, honestly. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go. Yeah, it is not bad at all. We're getting there. We're getting there. I feel like it's like, hmm. Like, Bettle has a higher pitched voice, right? I might have to have Bettle talk first. I might have to hear Bettle talk before I can even attempt. Even attempt. Wait, I hit... No, I didn't hit 50k. There's no shot I hit 50k. I don't think so. But thank you anyway. 
Soon. Probably soon. I think YouTube rounds up. I don't think I hit 50k yet. I feel like my natural inclination is to like go into like a sort of like not squeaky voice, but a higher pitch voice. But then I start to sound like Morty and that's not it. That's not right. 50, what? Did I? How? Did I? Did I? Hey, let's go. I guess I did. Let me check. If I did, that's awesome. Um, what's the easiest way to check? Oh, I did! Hey! And on Crimsmas, no less. Well done. Hell yeah. Nice job, gamers. 50k, it's a Crimsmas miracle. We did it! Yeah! That's cause for celebration, right? Hey, congratulations on becoming a Rusader Ali Lottel. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. You know what? That's it. That's the green that marks this moment. <laughs> We're going to go over there. Oh, thank you very much for the oh, Magenta Supa. Thank you. I'm going to say that's Aiden, or unless it's 41 Den. Anyway, thank you very much. Yeah! 50K! Ooh, thank you for the 10 gifted uh, 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 memberships. Uh, Siffy, thank you for the... Uh, oh, wow. Uh, uh, thank you for the soup, Mr. V. Thank you for the... Fit. Woo! Does that say 50? 50 gifted membership, Serena? Holy shit. All right, let's... Okay. Wow, that's a lot. Thank you for the five gifted memberships. Astra, thank you for the soup. Right? Nice. Okay, that's more than enough excitement. That's more than enough celebration. Thank you very much. 50's a lot. Um, Thank you very much. And thank you for the five gifted memberships. Feline, Fortuna. Holy shit. Okay, hold on. Wait a minute. Um, thank you for the five gifted memberships, Tony. And for the uh, 50 gifted memberships, Rabid Mutt, uh... Woo, that's a lot of memberships. It... Aren't I? Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, uh... Th thank you for the Magenta Supa. 50k people hate, yeah, hate your least favorite item. <laughs> it's true, it's true. And thank you for the gifted membership, Rene. And the 50k celebration, Soup Nothing. <laughs> Oh, uh, man, that's a lot happening right now. I cannot. I'm going to read that name. Thank you for the soup. Damn it, I can't read it. I can't read it, but thank you very much. Yeah, let's go, 50K. Nice job, gamers. I can't believe we did that live. I can't believe we hit 50K live. Yeah, and on Christmas. Dude, dude, I'm, wow. 50K, wow. That's, I mean, that, whew. That's a lot. I, I, oh, uh, uh, let me, oh, I gotta catch up. Uh, thank you, Vince Bachelor, for the delicious soup, and Richard Likes Spies, and Nina Pedia. Oh, I don't know if I deserve it, but I, you know what? I will do my bre my breast, my best to cherish it and live up to it. Thank you, Pugie, for the 50 for 50K. And thank you, Raymune, for the gifted membership. Thank you, Sigil Varden. And, and, and Akia, Akia, that's a lot. That's a lot, Akia, for the Crim Zupa. And Pickles for the Magenta. Okay. I gotta stop. I gotta stop playing. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I'm gonna drink. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna drink some water for a minute. Let's, let's have some water for a second. Let's sip, sip a little water, I think. I think it's water time. Maybe I've been playing too long. Oh, man. Uh, Thank you, Krauger, for the, for the soup. It, and, and Abby, and thank you, Saya, for the good memberships. Oh, I gotta. I'm gonna have a little sip of water. Uh, one second. Maybe the energy drink's getting to my heart rate. Whew. Okay, hold on a second. Let me just. One second. <sighs> maybe I just take a second. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, maybe uh, hold on a second. Let me take a second. I'll be right back. One second. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna take a sip of water. Hold on. Hmm. That's good water. Thank you, Grace. Uh, ooh, okay. 
Uh, uh. Zephyr, take over. Uh. Maybe I just take a little sip of water. I'm gonna stand behind Zephyr for a second. I'm not hiding. I'm just uh, what I, what's ha what's happening is that I am. I don't want to see you. See, I don't want you to see me shaming myself drinking water. Yeah. And thank you, Astra, and darling Dira, and of course, thank you, Asada. <clears throat> That's good water. Oh, man. <clears throat> Thanks, Nitsuki. All right. Uh -uh. Thank you, Chills. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm normal. I'm so ooh. so good. I'm so chill. I'm so normal. I'm so good. Man, goddamn, I'm sure am. Sure am good. Hey, I'm back. What's up? Thank you, Serena, for the uh, for the 50k subs. Congratulations. Thank you to Tech for the 10 memberships. Yeah, you don't love me. <laughs> don't do that. Oh, my voice broke. That's normal. I'm fine. Uh, thank you, Win and uh, Break Shot. Okay, back to what we're doing. Okay, guys, how about what if we what if we slowed down and you held on to your own Christmas money so you could buy yourself something as a treat? What if what if I said you guys deserve presents for yourselves? <laughs> thank you, Rizzy, for the. Uh, Gifted memberships and thank you, Rosie, for the. No, I'm not flustered. I'm unflusterable. I cannot be. I never have been, and I never will be. Thank you, Keon, for the five gifted memberships and Va Va Vasilka. Aha, uh -huh. ooh, I'm not stuttering. Okay, back to normal. We're so normal, dude. Thank you, Berserking. Whew, I got this. Mm -mm. I'm going into the mines. I'm going to focus on mining now. We're going to mine. Yay! <laughs> uh, thank you, Bat, Bat Venom. <clears throat> oh, man. I feel a little dizzy, actually. Uh, thank you, Lewis. Maybe we sit, sit still for a second longer. Maybe. What if... <laughs> what if I just close the stream? <laughs> what if I'm just done streaming for... Uh, oh, man. Um... No, I can't log out in a cave. Uh, whew, okay, that's fine. Let's keep moving. Uh, thanks for all the support, gamers. Thank you very much. I'm going to just keep it going. I'm going to keep it... Ooh, keeping it crispy, actually. We're going. We're just... So fucking normal, dude. Woo! What was I doing? Oh, yeah, I'm mining. And I'm not running from feelings, because I don't have any feelings. Why would I do that? Thank you very much. That's uh, that's a big 50K. Thank you. I'm excited uh, that we we did that. Um, you're giving me significantly more support than I deserve. Uh, but I won't squander that. I'm I'm gonna collect myself for a moment, and I'm gonna say that you guys are. Some of the most generous people uh, I've ever met. Probably more than I deserve. Probably more than you should be. Uh, and I just hope that you're taking care of yourselves uh, and each other. Thank you, Rupoki, for the uh, soup. And thank you, Rat Bastard. Uh, I am... I am uh, full of rage. That's what I meant. Yep, I'm full of anger and hatred. So, anyway, that's cool. Thank you very much. I'm excited to have made it to 50K. Uh, thanks for being so supportive and uh, fueling my terrible rampage of wrath and hate. I will use this this support for evil. <laughs> That's what I meant. Thank you, CTS, for the gifted. Woo. All right, cool. Cool. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh. 
Yeah. I'm very articulate and good with words. God damn, am I good at talking? Are you gonna fight me? You're gonna fight me, aren't you? Yeah, all right. That's ow. That's fair, I guess. I earned that. Um. The whole world will turn to Resaders. Don't you worry, Tony. Thanks for the soup, but but no doubt about it. By the end of this campaign, by the end of our beautiful Rusade, a tide of crimson will surge over this world in the next, and the next, and the next. In every reality, they will know to hate me. <laughs> Thanks, Rennie. What's down there? Oh, it's just a moss. <clears throat> Man, I feel a little dizzy. Maybe I have been streaming too long. Maybe an energy drink and a latte and a bunch of sodas and water was not the move. Maybe I should have eaten more. Maybe all that on empty stomach was a mistake. Thank you, Lane, for the... Uh, Lane's such a cool name, actually. Wait a minute. Uh, thank you for the uh, for the delicious soup. Merry Christmas to you, too. I mean, wrathful Christmas. There's got to be a better way to say that. Uh, muddy? No. Haiti? No. Bitter Christmas to you, too. Tell us, Sheena, thank you for the uh, soup and for the congrats. Mm -mm. Thank you, Imperial Dropout, for all of those gifted memberships over to the Resaders. We're spreading our army. <laughs> malignant. Ooh, I do like the sound of Malignant Crimsmas. That might be a little too long, though. Malignant, malignant Crimsmas? That sounds like a tongue twister. Try to say that three times fast. Go ahead. Uh, Malign. A very malign Crimsmas to you. Malign! Ah, there we go. Oh, oh man. Uh, thank you, Yumi Heya. Uh, or the uh gifted memberships. Uh, for the fifty, for the fifty gifted memberships. Thank you very much. That is a lot of Rusaders. We're, we're our army is growing. We're becoming so powerful, so unstoppable, so insatiably brutal. Mm -mm. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Dread and Vale. Uh, very kindly for uh, the, the, the soups. Yum! Thank you. Wait a minute. You mean, did you just get 50 twice? Is that possible? Why? Wait, why did it? What? Uh, uh, well. Ooh. Thank you very much, and thank you for the, uh, Crim Zupa, Nixie. Congrats on 50k, uh, Rujan. You've brought a lot of laughs to us in the show. You know what? I guess if I can be <laughs> your laughing stock, you're welcome. Mm. <sighs> my time in Hollow Stars. Th thank you. Thank oh, how do what am I? I'm saying what I'm saying. What I'm saying is thank you for such a warm, generous welcome in the Hollow Stars. I don't always uh, think that I. I don't think that necessarily. Sometimes what I mean is that I. What what I what I mean by that is that sometimes I can feel like a square y y y sometimes I feel like a square block trying to fit in a circle hole if that makes sense I definitely was a little nervous when you know the government found me and asked me to pop in here uh, and I thought to myself I'll do that because I'm not comfortable with it uh, but I definitely thought that I would struggle and I think that uh, I definitely have things that make me different from maybe the other boys and other. It's just, just, just. I think that I, I definitely uh, sometimes I, I don't, I don't know all the references people are making, or I don't know a lot about like idol culture or sometimes anime culture, and uh, it's been an effort to integrate myself. But you guys have made it a very warm welcome, is what I meant, and uh, I will keep I will I I'm ooh that's too many words I'm saying too many words for too short a thing what I meant is I'm gonna make you proud that's what I mean I 
will be an exceptional idol and an exceptional streamer. Um, yeah. Yeah, we'll keep it simple. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks for making it a warm welcome. I'm... The hell was that? Uh, ooh, uh, I'm gonna get this iron. Is what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna say. That's what I'm saying. Woohoo! Nice, easy peasy. Ah, uh, oh man. Nothing silenced me. Nothing. I've never. I've never been. I've never been at a loss for words in my life, and I'm not about to start now. Uh. Absolutely, Tony, and thank you for the soup. I'm always gonna be, I mean, I'm always gonna be me, right? Like I, I'm not gonna change and I'm not gonna stop being earnest and honest about my feelings about things and my differences, but that doesn't mean I can't make an active effort to be, you know, to, 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 to integrate myself into the culture that surrounds idol culture and VTuber, I guess anime, is anime culture? That's such a stupid thing to say. Uh, what I mean is, I can make an active effort to, you know, like pursue the things that you guys are interested in and like my senpais are interested in and my gen mates are interested in um, and uh, learn and, uh, you know, approach it with humility and an open mind and try to integrate myself in a real way. Uh, like I'm going to keep the things that make me me and make me unique, but I'm going to keep trying to like broaden my horizons as well. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There we go. Noise. Why do I feel like this cave is suddenly getting more dangerous? Hmm. Is it nighttime outside? Ah. Hello, friend. Oh, is there another one of you? Get out of here. I'm busy. I'm trying to talk to people. Go away. Go away. Hmm. Uh, I've been going for about ten hours now, roughly. <clears throat> But hey, it's been a good time. We hit 50k live, actually. Uh, and, and, uh, ooh, and everybody made it really cool and we're very supportive and uh, just kind of threw a lot of, you know, s s summoned more Rosaders with delicious member chips. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm very thankful. I think I might be in trouble here, gamers. I think we're gonna have to drop in this pit. No, we're not. We're going to stand our ground and not fall in the pit here. If I fall, I probably die. So we're just going to stand our ground and fight. Thank you, Pharaoh Layla, for the soup. I think I missed the soup there. Hold on. Let me back up and read real quick. Happy 50K. Thank you, yet devout. <clears throat> I'm glad you're having a blast watching, Pharaoh Layla. <laughs> I'm trying. I, I mean, I don't know if I'm trying. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I'm trying to toe the line between, um, I think most of the time, as long as I'm having fun, everybody else is having fun, and just being able to talk about the things that interest me and my little, uh, you know, my little niche uh, interests and stuff like that is enough. Like, I think sometimes if you try too hard to be an entertainer, you inherently, like, make it kind of canned and unfun. So I try my best just to come here with, like, some level of polish and, like, cool visual things. And uh, other than that, just have a good time myself. And as long as I'm like being engaging and and uh, chatting with you guys and talking about stuff that interests us mutually, I think that's always a recipe for like, I hope a good time. And I mean, the people that are gonna have a good time with that will stick around and those who don't, I mean, I guess it's not their content. There's nothing wrong with that. There's not, there's not, that's not like an insult to them or to me. If it's not their thing, it's not their thing, right? Y you know, that's, I don't know. That's my mentality around it. Yeah. Thank you, Nachi, and thank you for the delicious soup. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep being myself. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. 
<laughs> All right, let's keep going. We got ore to find. Damn, that looks kind of spooky down there. It's a lot of skeletons. Maybe we find a different way down, a safer way down. Maybe. Wait, I've already been this way. There might not be a safer way. We might have to dig down that way and just fight. Hey, thanks, Gerard. Welcome in. <laughs> congrats on 50. Thank you, Gerard. I don't know if I ever stopped by your stream to say congrats on the... Congrats on your most recent milestone. That's at 70k, right? Holy shit. Uh, congrats as well. And uh, Merry Christmas to you. <laughs> How's it going? What'd you do today? Thanks for stopping by to say congrats. You know what? Maybe you're an all right leader after all. <laughs> you know what, Kira? Thanks for being here for 10 plus hours. Absolutely wild. I probably will not do a 12 hour stream just because I don't want to split up the VOD. Hey, just got back. Congrats. Hope it went well. I'm not going soft. I think I've just been infected with the disgusting... I think during my battle with Sandy Claws, he probably, like, hit me with some sort of strange Christmas magics. And it's it's clearly rotted a piece of my brain. Uh, Mesky, thank you for the Krim Zupa. Congrats on 50k. Thank you for all the fun and laughs and wonderful memories that you've given us so far. Can't wait to see what the future holds for you. Well, I think it holds a lot more streams. Maybe some uh, idle activities. Uh, it holds, uh, you know, meet and greets and stuff like that. So that's cool. Um, thank you for the Crim Zupa. Yum. Oh, God, I've been infected with the Christmas spirit. Send help. I think I feel... Something happening in my heart. Ugh! Oh, wait, never mind. That's just the palpitations from the caffeine. We're good. I'm fine. I'm fine, everybody. False alarm. We're fine. Everything's okay. Oh, shit. You piss, baby. God bless it. Fuck you, you stupid skeleton. I should have brought Bo down here. Aha, I ducked it, dum dum. Uh -huh. Idiot. Man, how am I going to get down there safely? Maybe we dig a side passage like this so we can't be shot. Help me. I'm feeling Max. Max. <laughs> Why are there spiders down there? Man, this is getting spooky. I don't know. This seems like a bad idea. Am I about to go die? I think I'm gonna die down here. I don't want to die down here. How much iron do I have? And this trip has not been worth it yet. Uh, go away, dude. Fuck off. Wait a minute. Is there someone above me now? No. Oh, yeah. I don't have any armor because I haven't found enough iron to make armor. I have nothing, all right? This place is tapped out on iron for some reason. Let's see if they can shoot each other. I went down to the mines and all I got was support and appreciation. Here I am looking for iron. Instead, I'm getting people hitting me with just so many, so many soups. So many soups and memberships. <laughs> All right, you little fucker. There you go. Yeah, now what? Now what? Ha! Oh, wait a minute. Carmezzi Agape. Your most favorite idol? No, 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 no. You mean your least favorite idol. But anyway, I'm glad you're having a good time and thank you for the membership. Keo says, howdy, just finished my first ever WoW raid. Ooh. Season of Discovery, nice, how'd it go? Also, thanks for the congrats. All right. I hear another skeleton down here, so I'm a little nervous. We're gonna dig our way down. We're gonna go say hello to him. Thank you, Genie, for the soup. Why are you shooting that spider? What did he do to you? What did he do wrong? Die, Bill. 
You shot a spider and now you will face my wrath. And then the spider will face my wrath. <laughs> Thank you for the 50 up. Oh, I thought that said soup. It said 50 up. I'm an idiot. I thought you just said soup. <laughs> but thank you all the same. Holy shit. 50 up. 50 up looks like soup. Isn't that weird? Whoa, that goes to the surface. Huh. Didn't that look like soup? <laughs> 50 oop. Ali oop. Oh, you maxed out on the bingo chart. That makes sense, actually. All right, Cano Meister, if you say so. <laughs> oh, we're... Oh. Hello. You scared me, dude. It's Solok saying 50 up. Doesn't Solix just use twos, though, and double eyes? Solix, Solix just uses the twos to replace his S's and two eyes in place of one. It's not like he uses Leap Speak all the time. I think also uh, people who do Terezi Speak forget that he only uses 413s. He doesn't actually use a zero. <laughs> Does anyone do five and zeros? Uh oh. I think there's a scaly spawner down here, gamers. Yeah, it's a dungeon. Now, I could kill the spawner, but that seems like it would be a waste, right? But I want to get the chest in there. Hmm. Wait, does putting on a, a torch on the spawner stop it from spawning? Really? That works? Huh. Interesting. How many skeletons are in here and how many am I going to have to kill to do this? What's up, guys? Hey, what's up, champ? It's me, your boy, Crimson. Thank you very much for the delicious soup. I've been lurking, but I've come out of hiding to say congrats on 50K. I love your content and you're doing amazing. Can't wait to see where you go from here. Well, thank you. And thank you for the uh, for the delicious soup as well. And uh, 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 I don't know, tolerating my bullshit. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, yeah, thank you. Ah, uh -huh, idiots. Ow! All right, well, I spoke too soon. Is that enough? Is that enough torches? Are we good? Thank you for the crash got 50k. Kimmy Deloise. Is that enough? Are we, are we good? All right, cool. What do we got? Oh, ooh, iron. Love it. Love it. Bones. Mm, gold horse armor. Interesting, but not great. Blast protection. We'll take that. I do want that saddle, though. Cool. All right, nice. Hey, yo, Helia, welcome back. All right, is this is that a ritual or something? Yeah, actually, what I'm doing right now is I'm summoning Yago. <laughs> If you wish to summon Yago, you must step into the deepest terrain. You must wander into the center of the earth, and then you will find there a singular black iron box. 
Inside will be one skeleton spinning at rapid pace with flames all around. You'll see the bright crimson spark dancing within the iron wrought cage. Then you'll place a bunch of torches around it. Boom, y'all go. <laughs> oh man, I think I got staggered by earlier and now my, my rants aren't as good as they are usually. I'm failing, I'm failing, I'm failing as a content creator and as a, as a, as a, as a ruse. Uh, anyway. Whew. Uh, anyway. It's true. Maybe Sans Undertale was Yago all along. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's the big up area. Maybe the lack of food's making you tired. Maybe. Maybe I'll go make myself dinner here in a bit. We'll see. Oh, it's up here. That's right. I'm trying to remember the way out. It is nighttime out there, though, yet, so I can't leave just yet. I mean, I could, but... The Sarah Stars! Congrats on 50k, Ruse. Just got home, and now it's time to throw you on the big screen before blinking and are sharing our mutual pain of a fur child sleeping on our chest. <laughs> Thanks for putting me on the big screen, I guess. Hopefully you're not torturing any of your family members with that. Cooking stream win? Mm, I don't think the kitchen here at my current place is going to be good for a cooking stream. But one day, one day maybe. I don't know. If I if I move soon, we'll see. I will eat soon. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm all right. I'm not dying. I'm okay. I know my limits. Relax. Don't panic, gamers. I'm going to eat soon. Ish. Thank you for the soup, by the way. I will. I will. I will eat. I just need to finish what I... Oh, God. Not a baby zombie. I hate the babies, man. They're so fast. Get out of here. Especially on the lag of the server, it makes it really tough to handle those little guys. Where am I exactly? Let's see. I think I know where I'm at. Do I? That's a good landmark, actually. Don't want to start heading back. I guess I've kind of cleared this cave. Let's head back for now. I think it's across that way. Ooh, ow. Ooh, that's a skeleton. We do gotta be just a tad careful about where we're going. We don't want to run into a bunch of enemies all at once. Thank you, Hazardous Mix, for the soup. I mean, every version of Minecraft has online, so any version. I'm built different, which is to say that I'm built wrong. <laughs> ah, there we are. See you later, Kumo. Bye. Kumo reminds me of Kupo, which always reminds me of uh, Crystal Chronicles. You missed, Chump. Nice try. They missed. And I'm really just like inking out an existence on the bare minimum of iron. I don't know how I go on these like hour long expeditions and come back with like two pieces of fucking iron in my name. How does this keep happening to me? <laughs> QEG. Oh, that's, I like that. I like that profile picture a lot. Welcome in and thank you for the membership. Happy Crimsmas to you as well, Ballistic. Badlands are more gold rich than iron? This isn't a badland. This is a this is a This is a canyon. This is a mesa biome, I think. 
I'm never, I'm never done streaming, Andy. I've actually, I've committed my life to this. I'm just gonna go until I expire. <laughs> just kidding. Deeper? I went pretty deep that last time, Kiwi. I don't know. Hmm. I see. Congrats on 50k. If I were to one do you want to go from Christmas Carol, who would I choose? Also, Merry Christmas. Uh, thank you, Yen, Luo, Anthony. I would 1v1 the ghost of Christmas past. Because if they're living in the past, that means I can always tell what move they're going to use. Yeah, it's been about 10 hours, uh, 10 minutes or so. I'll probably go until... Mm, I don't know. I'll stop when I stop. I'll stop when I get hungry enough to care. Right now, I cannot feel my hunger, so I don't care. I'm too focused. You gotta go deep enough to hit stone. Oh, so I have to get past all of the... Okay, I gotta get past the terracotta. I see, I see. I'm in the minecrafting zone. Christmas passed when the book is freaky looking? I wouldn't know. Stand back, he's gonna mine! Stand back, he's morbing! I'm morbing. Yeah, I don't think I'll go to 12 hours because I don't want to hit the VOD limit, but uh, you know, I'll go for a minute. I'll go for a minute. Here we go. And then we just take a little nap. Come on, let me take a little nap. Go away, spider! I'm trying to sleep! Ah, they're outside. That doesn't count. What's up? How the fuck did you get in my house, Haka? <laughs> Hi, Haka! How did Haka get in my house? Oh, Haka was here last time. Oh, I see, I see. That's how. I was like, what the fuck is Haka doing here? Am I still? I am still on the Discord. Okay, I was like, wait a minute. Hi, hi! <laughs> Ooh, what is that? Huh? Dune? Armor? Trim? Smith? What's a smithing template? That's new. What does that mean? What does that mean? Aka, what is that? What is that? Did you just call me a dune bass? That's it. There's new, there's like, there's unique armors now? Since when? Dune armor. What the hell? You can cut armor? What does that do? What does that mean? What does that mean? Uh, okay. Wait, there's armor customization now? That's so big. That's so awesome. Dino what? There's dinosaurs in Minecraft? What did I miss? What the fuck? Wait, are you talking about the snuffler or whatever? The little sniffy guy? I don't know if that counts. Whoa. There's a lot of trauma. Holy shit. It's been 84 years. Huh. Does not elaborate leaves, right? Oh, there's dino bones now. Oh, sniffer. Hey, yo, Yukine. You can AE. Huh. Interesting. Okay, it's not nighttime anymore. I can no longer sleep. The spider has ruined my good night's sleep and I must kill him for his sin. Hey. 
Hey, you. Hey, you know what you've done, right? You know why you must die. Admit it. Admit it. Thank you. Feel your shame, sinner. Dad! You kept me from sleeping the whole time, and now you will suffer the consequence. Um, so I got a lot of random garbage from that run, which means I do need to make another chest. Do you have the time? I like flirting with getting my VOD taken down. <laughs> After 10 hours or more. There. Wait. No, give me that back. You can have the rest, though. Nice! Hey, we're back! Yeah, no worries, Omega Dad. I got you. I won't go over I won't go over the 12 hour mark. I have no intention of doing that. Did Haka not say BRB? Did I miss something? Serenity! Congratulations on being a bruiser. I wonder if Haka wants to go with me to find iron. An increase. Oh, the armor trim would make an interesting bounty sheet, huh? Hmm. I am almost out of fish. After my incredible journey of like two hours of fishing in this game, I am already running low on fish. What a bummer. And it was quite the quest. Hey, no problem. I'm here to help. Or hurt. I'm gonna hang the Hollow Stars map up where the bounty board would be in the uh, Criminal's Cut. You know where I'm talking about? Like, up above the pot on the left of the uh, fireplace. Oh, you wanna see? Okay, so for those who are gone for a little bit, I'll show you some of the progress we have. Uh, first of all, I I'll tell you what we did today. I'll do a little quick recap because some of you are going to be VOD watchers. Some of you just got here. Some of you were EST and missed my EU time. I started at my uh, 2 p.m. EST time, which is usually when I stream for uh, EU viewers. Um, but I moved the lower floor up one, which took a very long time. Very annoying. I finished the front patio area a little bit. I might change this pattern. I haven't decided yet. Uh, I changed all the lower walls to the white uh, terracotta to give it that waddle and daub vibe. I added some support beams. I finished the crosshatch on the roof. I added all the furniture in here. I added the fireplace. Um, and I added this bar area, which I'll eventually flesh out back here. I'm going to add stairs later when I'm ready to work on the upper area, but I want to get the roof done first, so it's going to take some time. I did like two or three hours of fishing because I ran out of food. Um, and I did a bit of mining and I found a total of 20 iron in my like probably two hours, three hours of mining this stream. And that's what you missed. There you go. Next time on, uh, Crimson Ruse Z. <laughs> Damn straight. I'm still going. Welcome back. Blez. Oh, I'm going to add windows eventually. Some. I don't know how many, but I'm going to add some. Looking pretty good. I like it. We're going to have to add some decorations out there, but we'll get it going. All right, so let me think for a minute. Oh, and I hit 50K. That's right. I hit 50K subscribers on YouTube today while live. Which is, you know, pretty fucking exciting. Thank you. 
Night no na Luya. Good night, Astroloman. There was a cave this way, I think, that I did not explore. So we're going to head this way. I think it's going to take Haka a minute to get back, so I'm just going to go down. Yeah, big milestone. Not bad at all. Very exciting. And then a bunch of people threw support at me, which was like, okay, I guess, or whatever. Um, I guess it was pretty cool. <laughs> Luckily, I handled it like a champ, uh, and it didn't phase me. And I was like, eh, very cool of you uh, for all that delicious soup and all these member chips. Uh, yeah, and that's how that went. Yeah, it got pretty green in here. There's a lot of Rosaders now. The Rosade continues on very strong. So I think the problem right now is that this Mesa is very high up. I'm going to head to the lowlands over here and start looking around for caves. I didn't go anywhere, nor did I get flustered. That is a dirty, dirty lie. I was very chill about it, as I am about all things. Maybe not that way. I do like the color green, actually. It's one of my favorite colors. I especially like moss green. Like that sort of like really faded, uh, desaturated, uh, sort of gray green. Ooh, that's a good green. Wait a minute. I can see some iron over there. I sure do. Ooh, iron. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, we got one piece of iron. Yay! Uh, not quite like Gibby's scarf. I do like Gibby's green a lot. It's sort of, I, I think Gibby like leans into like sort of a teal green almost. Like it's very close to a teal green, which is still really cool. I do like teal green, but uh, the desaturated green I'm talking about is like, I, I guess some people, some people would call it forest green. I call it moss green. It's almost a gray green, even. Very not cool. Very not cool, Creeper. This guy says, has anyone ever said that you look like an edgy Emiya Shiri, Shiro from the Fate series? Are you 100% sure that people die when they are killed? I am 300% sure that people die when they are killed. Um, but no, no one said that to me yet. I've never watched Fate, so saw we. <laughs> I have no idea what hex code it would be, Squash. Did Santa die when you killed him? I cannot kill Santa. I've tried so, so many times. It doesn't matter how many times I beat him. He comes back. I think he's got a phylactery in the North Pole. Why are there so many creepers over there? Ooh. Do it, do it. You won't, coward. Do it. What are you afraid of? Do it. Do it, coward. Do it. Do it, coward. Do it! 
Oh, he's dead. Do what you want. I'm playing with fire a little bit here, but that's okay. Wasn't even nervous. Not even for a second. First try. Easiest kill of my life. Hmm. Santa does not die when he is killed. Uh, everybody else maybe, but not Santa. Oh, it's candy. Yum. Ooh. Just thinking I needed more food. Ooh, beetroot. Finally, I can start a farm. Live out my harvest moon dreams. I wonder if there's a ton of iron down here. I should probably step into this mine, huh? That would be wise of me. Or incredibly stupid of me. Wow, that's a lot of copper. Holy shit, what's going on down here? Can I get some iron? Always check your corners in the mines. Just in case there's a mine, uh, one of those like weird mine spider spawners. Those guys will fuck you up. Hey, oh, juice man. Mary Rusmus. I think you mean, uh, m malign Crimsmus. <laughs> I hear them. I'm leaving. Mm. Oh no, you're hitting me with the Minecraft songs. I see you, Rosie. Good luck touching grass. I believe in you. I believe you will survive this arduous quest. Damn, what's with these single block... Irons, give me a fucking deposit for fuck's sake. Holy shit, Jesus dude, I almost fuck. died. You scared the piss out of me, you dick! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I'm in the fucking, um, I'm in the fucking mine that's like close to your house, and I literally got like fucking double crossed by a spider, like three <laughs> baby zombies, like, like two, like I found like three spawners at the same time. Damn, they really said, you know what? You came to the wrong neighborhood. <laughs> like, yeah, they really did. Holy shit. <laughs> God damn. You looking for iron? Yeah, I got nine so far. I've been in the mines like four different times on this stream, and I found a total of 20 iron. It sucks. Damn. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. Do you want some iron? Nah, I'll find it. Thank you, though. You, refu you refuse my help? I do. I see. I see how it is. I don't need your stinky help. Yeah? Your charity. <laughs> How you doing today? Welcome back. I see that you, did you Hello. sleep at all or did you just like dip out and then come back? I dipped out, I streamed and I came back. <laughs> oh, you streamed, that's right, because you raided me. <laughs> How'd that go? What were you up to? They said you were doing cozy Pretty chatting. Good. Yeah, it was just like a comfy set to them, honestly. Like, you know, just like after like the big event that I just did, it's just like a, a good old like chill, like eepy time, you know? Yeah, that's chill as hell. It was a, it was a good, it was a good like comfy set to My Slayer is still playing Minecraft, you fucking animal. <laughs> how, long gonna, how long are I gonna go for? Uh huh. Till I get hungry, I guess. Have you not eaten since the last time we talked? I... When did we last talk? Like. Four hours ago? Oh, God, no. Of course not. Oh, wait, no, I had a snack. I had, like, a, a cookie. 
but what, what happened to your to your to your microwavable fucking like 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 steak thing you you said you were gonna do? Oh, it's not microwave. I'm gonna ah! hold on. I gotta kill the skeleton. Uh, I put it in the oven, but um, I, I just didn't do it yet. I'd have to go. I still gotta go like peel all the potatoes and mash the potatoes, and I gotta I gotta steam the broccoli, and I just got you know it's gonna take more effort than I'm willing to put in right now because I'd have to put everybody yeah. on hold for half an hour. So I said, fuck it. I'm just gonna keep streaming for now. Once nah, I get bro, hungry, just, I'll do it. I have, I have a tech for you. Just make another Discord account, call yourself in Discord, and then stream the audio from your phone. Oh. <laughs> but then, then I would just be call. talking to people in my shitty kitchen. Just video call yourself so you can also like give them a free hand cam. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is the secret tech. I'm telling you, bro. You gotta be resourceful. I hate being resourceful. No, I'm <laughs> you know what jungle jungle girls make do, bro. Country girls make do. J jungle girls. Wait a minute. She's in the jungle, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so, man. <laughs> I, I can't help but feel like I probably shouldn't say that in public ever for any reason. Uh, well, that I live in, that I live in the jungle? No, you're you're fine. You can say that. I get the feeling if I were to throw it out, jungle girls make do. Something about that just sounds not okay. <laughs> True. I mean, I can say it because I'm a. I, I am the resident uh, jungle jungle. Um, uh, what's it called? R resident jungle resident? Question mark. <laughs> I get. Yeah, technically you're right. That is what. Y yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little repetitive, but it checks out. Uh -huh. Res resident comma resident jungle resident. Comma. Start comma. With comma in there for no reason. Um. Got to be. Got to be respectful. This way back here, actually. Uh. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Hmm. I think I got lost in my mine shaft. So we're back in the mines. You got you see if you're lost in the mine shaft, you just gotta dig back up, bro. Nah, never. I'll find my way back. No, you won't. Yeah, well. Uh oh, I ran out of fireworks. I'm Luckily, I'm a fuck. genius. Ooh, hello. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was close. You almost got me, baby, but not quite. Ah, let's go. Let's go. One v one. Sit down. <laughs> Sit down. Dude, yeah, shit talk NPCs. What, so... you don't? <laughs> no, I do, I do, I do. I call them little bitches. Good. Holy shit, dude. This is biome is so pretty, but it's so far away from like our common area. Oh my god, I know. I do like it though. I've never actually built in a desert or a mesa in uh Moinquet. Yeah. Pretty fun. There's a little like mesa crater right now here that looks so fucking nice. Mm hmm But I feel that if I if I ever go explore here, I'd just probably die. It's like a death wish. Well, on the upside, the tavern's coming along. True. I saw it. It looks pretty good. Thanks. Is that gonna be your house too, or is it just like the like the approximation of the tavern? It's the approximation of the tavern, but I'll probably live there anyway. I hear spiders, Fuck yeah. and that's a little nerve wracking. I worry that they are cave spiders, and I will have to do one on one combat with them. Dude, there's like 700 fucking like spawners of that shit there. Uh, I fucked up. 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 Stay away. Go away. Woo! That was close. Wait, can't you build a shield? Um. Probably. Yeah, with a little willow shield, you can like you know at least like protect yourself and then run. Yeah. <laughs> You don't want the smoke, little spider. Fuck him up. Oh, okay. Little spider. Dude, my fucking neighbors are like parting so hard. I'm sorry if you hear some music. I haven't yet, but uh, good for I them. Hear it. <laughs> They're out here getting down on Christmas. Good for them. Dude, I don't fucking know. Like suddenly they got so fucking festive and I'm just like, what's going on? Like last time I, I last time I saw you guys weren't that like you know party freaks dude like holy shit. And hey, listen, they're just having the, the most wonderful time of the year. I don't know about that one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> me neither. I sure have not listening to their bullshit right now. <laughs> they're like playing like a like a mix of like freaking like marimba Christmas music, fucking reggaeton. 
they're like they're like they're, 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 they're like playing like freaking like like trap at the same time and it's just like dude like like what's going on wait a like, minute. maybe they're making a new mix you should go over there and ask dude i don't fucking know what their playlist is like it's like goddamn huh and then they play Root of the Red Nose Reindeer. And I'm like, holy shit, okay. And they are going wild over there. You are getting No, no. <laughs> <laughs> they, they really are, dude. I'm just like they like I'm just like here, like snooping from the my, my little window. And I'm just like, huh. Yell at them and turn it the fuck down. Nah, dude. I I, I let them do it. I let them do it because it's it's special right now, you know? It's a, it's Krampus. That's big of you. I would never. But if Okay, but you know, at least here. they don't. At least they don't complain when I'm loud. So if they True. complain, if they complain when I'm loud, it will be a different story. You're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah. Fuck! I really am lost. Shit. You're an Enderman. Where the fuck are you? I'm trying to like see your little like name tag, but I don't see anything. Ooh. You're Ooh. like, you're like deep down there. Okay, I think I found my way. Maybe. Timber looks so cute. Thanks. Looks like a little turtle. It, became, it came from a mushroom to a little turtle. A widow mushroom. A widow mushroom. Well, that's a big turtle. Just a widow. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Time to read ahead to the surface. I'm tired of gambling in this mine. I've decided I'm leaving. Still hear spiders everywhere and it's beginning to make me nervous a cave spider came crawling out of a hole a minute ago and i got really spooked and now i'm like <laughs> they gotta fuck you up yeah the cave spiders are a nightmare deal i hate them they're scary they're violent and they do so much damage for so little like they only have to tap you once it's just like oh well there goes all my hp i guess yeah and then they surround you Ugh. And they start like like kicking you with their eight legs, you know, like like each like oh, each, each yeah. leg kicks you. They do like a backflip right off your face with all eight legs. It's like, <laughs> yeah. whoa, bro, where'd you learn that? And they're like, I don't Damn. know. Damn. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking rad. Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> Sorry, a creeper surprised me <laughs> in a very dead hallway, like a very close quarters situation. <laughs> That's why you gotta get the shield, dude. I got one, I got one. I built one in a panic. I smelted some iron like at the speed of sound so I could build a shield. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. I blocked myself into a corner and smelted a bunch of iron while I was staring at a spider. Did you use the hull technique? Yes, whatever that means. Fuck yeah. You dig a hole, you basically have your little hole there. Oh, no, 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 no. I, uh, I just built, I just put a bunch of blocks in front of me. That's, that's still a hole, it's just a uh, vertical. Hell yeah. I think so, yeah. No, nope. no, wait, no, no, no. I'm not too. Yeah, you, you, right. you, you, you need iron. Creeper. Oh, I man. hate when the spiders go full Tony Hawk on my face and grind a sick ollie off of me or whatever the fuck. They do. It's I fucking don't nutty. Skateboarder terms. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank God, I have another axe just in case. Hello, friend. Ricochet, activate! I will make it out of these damn mines. Just, just, just dig up, bro. No, so help me, Jeebus. I will find an actual egress. <laughs> what the hell? It's like an actual barred gate here. Oh, I hear spoilers. Oh, oh, fuck me. You spooked me, big guy. What are you doing up there? Man, I don't remember the way back home. I do. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I've gone back that way quite a few times. I think I have to go for... I have to go, like, north for your play, I think. That hit me. Hmm. Thanks, so let me try. I was freaking the freaking quick. I found more iron. Fuck yeah. No, you smell. Also, good night. 
think we're officially lost? No, I got it under control. That's the secret. Might... A ruse is never lost. Sorry, go ahead, Akin. I think it might be lost. <laughs> no, 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 absolutely not. I'm totally 100% under control. I see. A ruse is never lost. Holy shit, you guys are so fucking far away. <laughs> oh my god. We need to make a little, um, a little, like, ender, ender portal, like, little, like, connection there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe Shinri Senpai will do that. Dude, Shinri's so good with that. I don't, I don't know how the fuck he does it. I have like, no Shinri's idea. Shinri's actually so good with, like, freaking connections and tunnels. Oh. Some pretty places here, though. Ooh, sad village. Yeah, terrorize it. I hear spider. I do not see spider. You make me nervous. Good evening, farmer. Ah! I fell. <laughs> you died? No, I ran it. No, I just fell down. Um, still alive, technically. Still hanging in there. Still finding my way back since I know exactly where I am and I've never been lost in my life. Um. I'm definitely almost there, probably. Ooh. Ah, skeleton, shit. Fuck me, man. These guys have no chill. A lot of skeletons down here today. You got lured into a creeper and then, like, just blow them up, that's what I do. <laughs> just stab them a lot with an axe. All right, so I found an upper segment of the cavern. Gotta be getting somewhere. Where the heck are the courts for our plea? Do you use armor? Not right now, because I don't have enough iron. Um, I'm going to come out of here with 23 iron, though, which is about as much as I got the rest of the night, so that's pretty good. Yeah. All right, I think from here I will dig my way out. I think we've gone far enough up and out that I'm oh ready God. to dig up. What are you dropping coordinates for? Chum. Are you trying to tell the creepers where I am? Absolutely. You I'm son of a... <laughs> <laughs> I'm training them. I'm, I'm, I'm like training them so they can like seek you. I once played on a Minecraft server where the AI could be trained. What the fuck, really? Yeah, like zombies would start picking up blocks and building ways to jump over walls, and creepers figured out how to sprint and jump over holes. Dude, they would like I leap could... at you and charge their explosion before they went off. It was wild. <laughs> Damn, I wish we could do um, what's it called? Like um, uh, like there are some plugins that whenever people super chat. Or whatever people like uh like send like 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 uh gifted memberships they like trigger like items like mobs and stuff like that that'll be so sick to Ooh, do something oh yeah yeah that would be cool. yeah but perm nightmare <laughs> oh yeah <true. laughs> is it daylight out there perfect it is getting close to nighttime and I know exactly where oh, I am. Oh, the Shinri Kansen. I see it. Ooh, okay. The what? The Shinri Kansen. Where? It's his little train. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I used to navigate to on the way back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, what the fuck is Shinri? What the? When did Shinri have time to do this? I feel like Shinri's some sort of Minecraft wizard. Yeah, he really is, dude. There's a freaking like human breeding machine here. I, don't, I try not to acknowledge that. It makes me feel uh, <laughs> <laughs> makes me feel sad. But look at them. They're happy. No, they're not. They're so happy. No, they're not. They're so happy. Mm. Their children's education is getting paid for. They just got like reproduce, you know. What like... education? The children get swept away on a river the moment they're born after they fall into the fucking well and then they get put in a cage next to them to stare at their parents for their entire lives while they work the fields and sleep out in the dirt. Exactly. And that's what that's what they do. Well, they are there, they they you know choose a profession. Uh -huh. And then they decide if they want to be a, a a blacksmith or a farmer or you know. Mm. 
Also, there's one singular bee out here in my mesa. What are you doing out here? There's no flowers, little guy. Go back home. Keep him. Keep him as a pet. No, he's got to go home. There's no flowers for him. Oh, hey, it's the rain bridge. Spawn flowers. Ah, shit. My doors are open. You left my doors open. What is this creeper in there? What is this a creeper in there? No. I had five creepers attack me earlier. Super Holy duper shit. annoying. I mean, they filed in literally one at a time, just back to back to back to back. Oh, my God. I made it. I'm back home. Heck yeah. And I didn't die. I'm trying to navigate my way back home. I believe in you. I found it. I'm back home, baby. I'm so good. Whoa. Baku Dude, the Deku Maximum. Out. Thank you for the delicious, uh, oh, hold on. Thank you for the delicious, uh, soup. Sorry, you were saying Haka? Oh, no, no, go ahead, sorry. <laughs> no, no, you're good, you're good, I interrupted. Oh, no, I said the, 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 the beacons make me dizzy whenever, like, the POV changes, like, whoa. Oh. You know, some people will say they get, uh, motion sickness from Minecraft. Personally, I don't. I don't, but, um, I guess I could see it. You get this the motion sickness in VR? Uh, not VR. I mean, if I do it for a long time, I do get like, like, ooh, like a little bit wussy, but like that, uh, like the FOV kind of like changes here. Whenever like, there's a beacon near, it's like, whoa, what's going on? Oh, interesting. I see. Yeah. Thanks for the membership cruising and welcome in. Mm, you see that? That's member chips to put in my delicious soup. <laughs> FOV change. Oh, I see what you're saying, because the buffs around the beacon, like, drag your FOV a little wider, right? Yeah, yeah, because they give you, like, a speed boost and shows you, like, what was going on? Yeah, that could definitely be a little jarring. I could see that for sure. Ogus and Pi gets motion sick from Minecraft? Huh. I'm a little surprised. But I guess that makes sense. I unintentionally induced motion sickness? Wild. <laughs> Damn, what the fuck? Also, Baku Deku says, Merry Xmas, Baka. Aw, Merry Xmas, Baku Deku. Mm -hmm. We have a wonderful Xmas. It's Crimsmas. How dare it's you? Crimsmas. <laughs> it's cr it Crimsmas. Hey, Crimsmas? I'm Crimsmas the Frog. Crimsmas the Frog. I'm going to Kermit Shore Slide. Whoa, 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 whoa. At least send me your money. <laughs> <laughs> it gives you access to my fucking PayPal. No, nah! that would look like I. That would look like I did something. That's a bad idea. Don't do that. Oh no! Oh no! I dropped all my life savings into your hands before I That's mysteriously disappeared. So weird that I suddenly took out life insurance on my on myself, but in your benefit, and then I disappeared. <laughs> Isn't that funky? <laughs> oh <laughs> wow! This guy is very similar to me. Huh? Whoa! Where did it come from? So weird. Man, I like the progress you made today, though. And Holy hey, shit, on the freaking... upside, I can make some iron armor, finally. The nightmare started freaking destroying me. This little, like, wyvern dudes. Just parry them. <laughs> Use your Dark Souls skills. To a perfect parry, yeah. Easy peasy. Boom! We're gearing up. I'm on my little uh, silver onesie. <laughs> You're a silver onesie? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Man, I want a onesie. I want a Gengar onesie. What the fuck? Oh, I've got one that's like just bones. It's like all black with like a white skull hood with like little bones. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. I want one for like a bug though. I want a Paris one really bad. Like a little mushroom thing off the back. Oh, that'll be really good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Little, little Paris. Nine hours? No, 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 no. It's been 10 hours and 50 minutes, actually. Sleep, if baby. A, if you get a Paris, I'll get a Trap Inch one. <gasps> Real? I love Trap Inch. I, God, I, I love Trap Inch, too, dude. I wish Flygon <laughs> would stay a bug. I'm so mad. Yeah. So mad it's not Bug Dragon. It should have been Bug Dragon. Oh, you guys want to go for 12 more hours? Would you do it? 
I mean, I would, but probably shouldn't. I think I have a stream tomorrow. <laughs> or today, or whatever. <laughs> it's almost tomorrow. <laughs> what time is it? Wait a minute. Where are we at? What, 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 hold on, hold on. Let me check a few things. I, 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 you know what? Haka, entertain them for a yeah. second. I got to check something. <laughs> um, I like the singer. I buy the moon and the June and the spring. Oh, don't get me canceled. Like... Or don't get my VOD <laughs> taken down, rather. <laughs> I'm entertaining them. I'm doing a little tap dance, bro. I like your little so, dance. That's super cool. Yeah, dude. Check it out. I'm, I'm tap dancing. What's my schedule? Oh, no. Do I have an early stream tomorrow? Oh, no, 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 no. It's the... It's Ruse Day. It's Ruse Day tomorrow. We're good. Okay, I was scared for a second. Whoa, whoa. What the fuck does that mean? What is Ruse Day? Ruse Day. It's my memberships. I always do them on a Ruse Day. Oh! Uh. Uh. <laughs> Get this it? freaking marketing genius. What the hell? That's me, baby. The marketing genius. We got Ruse Day. Ruse Day Tuesday. <laughs> Fuck yeah. It's Ruse Day. It's Ruse Day. What you got to do for a membership? Uh, I'm going to do Armist D&D shapes. I'm going to make all the Armist members as D&D characters. Uh, oh, shit. Nice. And stuff. Yeah, I think it's going to be fun. Ooh. Mm. Sounds really fun. Wait, does that switch automatically open that? Oh, my God. I'm a genius. Never mind, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I just got smushed into the ground. Uh, but yeah, that's what I'm doing for membership tomorrow. I'm going to make the Armist uh, boys as D&D characters. And if that ends up going too fast, because, I mean, sometimes that can kind of speed run itself, I might mm. just end up doing... Uh, I might do HQ and uh, Vanguard as well. We'll see. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Dude, I want to play D&D. That sounds so fun. I'm going to try to get to work on making like a campaign for Hollow Stars Ian at least. Uh, Dude, that'd be sick. I'm still debating the uh, logistics of that. Like whether mm. or not I want to do that as like something that's kind of open-ended and anybody can just drop in, drop out and how I'd make that <laughs> work or if I want to make it like a single campaign. But the problem with the single campaign is sometimes not everybody's available and sometimes people don't want to do that that day or sometimes like Mm, yeah, uh, I feel you. People might feel left out if I'm just like, oh, like, uh, Haka, Haka, and Haka, you're playing with me. And then there's like another person who's like, but I want to play. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, you're playing. And then like, next week they're like, oh, but I can't play this week. I'm like, I don't know. No, yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Maybe doing it bi weekly so that way it doesn't feel us. Yeah, I sure. definitely wouldn't do it weekly. That's too much. Because I'm already doing WoW Wednesdays oh, yeah. and Ruse So it's like, okay, that'd be, that'd be basically a whole week is just scheduled. Like, it's always this type streams. And I hate doing that. I like mm, to be a little yeah, free yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. It's always to have some like order, but at the same time, like you kind of have like you know room to like improv and do whatever the fuck you want. Exactly. Sort of. Exactly. Yeah. Ooh. I mean, to be to be scarce, like schedules are pretty much for you to like know when to like do shit. That's a, that's a cool thing about them. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I do want it, and I want it to be soon. But I realistically, I don't know how soon it could be unless I recycle one of my old settings or if I just. Uh, I guess mm. like pre po like as like sort of a litmus test, I could run a preset campaign. Are there like different types of like D and D? Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, what are the most like uh, popular ones? The most common D and D people play is Five E. Uh, but there's also it's... like Pathfinder. There's uh, uh, all the oh, different editions of D and D. I heard about Pathfinder. Like yeah, Pathfinder's like D&D, &D, but crunchier. It's based off of, well, the original Pathfinder was based off of D&D &D 3.5, which was a really, like, rules-heavy version of D&D, &D, where there was rules for literally everything, like grappling, how far you could jump, how much your carry weight affected your jump distance, uh, blah, 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 stuff like oh, that. Oh, shit. A lot of, like, <laughs> you did a lot of papers and a lot of editing on the fly and a lot of, like, okay, you, let's see. So you're on uneven footing, so you're getting a minus one to your attack, and you're wearing heavy armor, so that's a minus one to your defense. And then also, this guy made you dizzy with the hit last round, so that's a that's a plus two to his chance to hit. And then also, you're getting a plus two from Bless from the Cleric to your armor, so that cancels out the, like, uneven grab. It's like, you just had these spreadsheets on spreadsheets, and that got really uh, confusing. So 4E and 5E made a huge effort to, like, simplify oh, it. Is is that why people make like templates on freaking like Excel so they can like have like all those calculations there? Kinda, yeah, yeah, for like uh, oh, 3.5. Okay. But Pathfinder 2E is not quite that crun crunchy. It's not that bad. Man, that's a that's like such a different culture. Like you know, like actual like you know like D and D and stuff like that. That sounds so fucking cool. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I think it can be a challenge sometimes to mm. uh, um, like what's the word I'm looking for? It can be a challenge to 
be vulnerable enough to like really like invest yourself in D and D because it's it's mm, tempting to just be mm -hmm. like uh, I don't know, be like, oh man, this is kind of cringe or kind of goofy. Um, I like that. I like that to be honest. That's the, that's the element that I like about it, like you know, being immersed and being in character, basically. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Whole base campaign really with sick. chat sometime. Uh, I probably wouldn't do that, CV. But here's a cool idea, and this is like my first time saying this. And Hawk, I guess, enjoy being a part of this for a second. But if I do oh. run a campaign, and if it is like sort of an open form campaign, I will probably have multiple like nations and cultures vying for different land and stuff like that. So what I might do is I might have um, streams where I do like uh, big battles essentially between those nations. And I will have you guys like chat vote on polls on like who wins what or what decisions are made and supply lines and stuff. And that'll affect the actual campaign where like, you know, the Hollow Stars boys are playing as the heroes that are affected by the um, the nations and how they kind of influence each other. Now, that takes oh, a lot shit. of work and it might take me time to set that up. But if I could do that, that could be fun. Could you maybe do like a character for Chad as well? Like, you know, like Chad as a collective, they have a character. Maybe not a character, but they could definitely like influence like the, the nations themselves. That could be a lot of fun, I think. Ooh, okay. Mm hmm. Dude, I'm down. If you ever want to do like shit like that, I'm like ultra down. Seriously. Oh, it would take me some time to figure it out, but I could do it. I could do it. Make no, chat yeah, a deity. That could be funny. <laughs> They're like websites that can help you with that stuff as well, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of websites that can help with that. I want I don't know how I would do it, because the thing is, like, is it just like a poll-based system? In which case, obviously, like everybody's gonna eventually pick a favorite nation or a favorite like leader or whatever based on the role play that happens around that character. And then mm. one like nation would be really favored over another. So I don't know how I'd split it up and make sure that everybody's kind of invested in every nation to a degree. Or if I would find mm. a way to like I don't know yet. There's a lot of logistical stuff there. Yeah, how, how to make it like equal and like, you know, like stuff like that so it doesn't come comes off so it's like, oh, this nation has an advantage because you know it's like the crowd's favorite and stuff like that, right? Yeah, exactly. Because it's like at some point it's gonna be like, okay, well, everybody votes for this person because they're like a really fun, like their their leader of that nation is like a really fun character, or it has like some of their favorite NPCs in it, or maybe like Altair's character is from that nation or something. You know what I mean? Like people might just have a bias. Um and that's cool, like a bias is natural, but finding a way to balance that so it's not always like we always all vote for this one, uh, would be difficult. Ooh. Mm. Bro, my character will be a tiny ass wizard. You're gonna be a gnome only... wizard? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that can only cast Twist of Faith and um, Mend Butt Cheeks. No problem. <laughs> Mend is gonna be your favorite uh, number one, uh, level one spell. <laughs> Mend Butt Cheeks. I cast <laughs> Mend Butt Cheeks. <laughs> oh no, I was so peggable. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that, Saya. That's possible, yeah. Hmm. We'll see, we'll see. Also, hi, Bambi. Welcome back. Little muskrat wizard, dude. Holy shit, like the guy from fucking Luke. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be so sick. It's like a tiny muskrat, dude. Dude, where the fuck am I? Oh, this is oh shit, it's Magni's house. Oh. Dude, Magni has a really cool like like, like parkour set. We should, we should do it someday. It's very fun. What? Yeah, uh, he built it. It's, it's like a little like parkour like 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 a jumping challenge kind of thingy. Oh, I would do that. That sounds cool as hell. Yeah. I also at some point had to actually walk up Vesper's tower. <laughs> oh, the shaft. <laughs> I've only flew. I've only flew up because I'm lazy. Aka should be a Kinku. I I could see Aka playing a Kinku. That could be funny. What the fuck is that? Kinku are like little bipedal crow people, but they don't actually have, um, they never developed a language of their own, or rather they were like, it depends on the setting, but a lot of times they're cursed. They're not like a natural species. They're actually a cursed species that some wizard in the past, uh, like made. Sometimes they're natural, but they don't like have voices of their own and they just adopt like sounds of things around them. So instead of like talking, it would be like, uh, like if a Kinku heard me say, hi, my name's Ruse, uh, but the Kinku's name is like, Let's say the Kinku's name was Haka, right? Like it's a Kinku named Haka. They might say, hi, my name's in my voice. And then in somebody else's voice, be like, Haka. Because they've heard somebody else say Haka in that voice. They'd be like, hi, <laughs> That's my so name's Haka. cute. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so they like borrow a bunch of different voices from different places. Oh, so it's like mimicry basically. Cause uh -huh. like, you know, like, like Corvids do that a lot. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's kind of the whole crow Corvid thing, yeah. <laughs> 
Ooh, They're pretty cute. Okay. I'll do a Hakito. Uh, fucking like 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 a like, 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 Hakito warrior. <laughs> Hi, my name's Hakito. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just like that. <laughs> But they have, they have, they have like the biggest hat ever, and like a staff. They're just like a tiny little like walking thing with like you know like a big ass staff. And a big ass hat. <laughs> Akito the little wizard. Yeah. <laughs> that I was can't. Sick. Merd muddle. Choose the fray. And the, the wheel of like... fate turns, and another dick is grabbed and twisted. <laughs> Heaven or hell. <laughs> Let's rock! <laughs> <laughs> They're fighting a fucking golem. It's like, oh, my rock nods. Like, ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, terrible. <laughs> it's the, the most fucking OP, like little like, to, like wizard out there. <laughs> Holy shit. What a terrible concept. Or a perfect concept. <laughs> it's a perfect concept, dude. That'd Someone's going to draw a little Hakito wizard. I hope you know that. There's going to be a little kinky with a wizard dude, hat by the end of the day. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my boulder balls. <laughs> my boulder balls. <laughs> I cast Holy boulder shit. torsion. <laughs> boulder torsion. Yeah, it's like the fucking Hakito. Like, they only say like... Ah. You know, like they make crowd sounds, but whenever they cast a spell, they they make like the the, the whole reverb, like freaking like wizard voice. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Good, good. That'll be sick, dude. Holy oh, shit, I'm gonna get no. immersed already. My boulders gate. <laughs> Man, that's pearl. Well, that's wild. That's wild. Man. Man, what a stream. I've been going for so fucking long. I've dro dro dropped on so on and off so many different topics today. It's pretty <laughs> yeah. bonkers, I'm not going to lie. They call Kenku? Oh, yeah, Kenku. cute. They are cute little guys. There's a lot of cute Kenku. I mean, depending on the setting, a lot of people have different ideas for them. So typically, in air quotes, canonical D&D, &D, they're just crows. But a lot of people oh have made God. really cool like Birds of Paradise versions of them, like parrots and stuff. So I think that's pretty fun. Um, Bro, holy shit, look at this one, Ruse. Let me see, let me see. You know that bird from, um, what's that bard's name from Breath of the Wild or Tears of the Kingdom? Oh, shit. Um, I know what you're talking about, but I don't know the name. He'd be a cool king. Oh, my God, a little kinky wizard. He's got a little dagger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the Hakito with the wizard outfit. Cass, that's his name. Cass, right. Yeah, oh, yeah, Cass. Yeah. Ooh. No, Rivali Rivali was a different bird, but I know who you're talking about. Rivali is a cool design too, actually. A little cro uh, owl kinku would go so hard with like big ol' eyes rotating its head Dude. around 360. <laughs> Holy shit. Mm. Kinku are just a cuter era crocra and less broken too. Sorry, what's up? A parrot kinku would go hard. I know, yeah, like Cass, right? Because uh, Cass yeah. is a parrot, right? Mm -hmm. No, Cass is a macaw, I think. Oh, shit. Is that my call? Let me see that. I don't know. The more you know. <laughs> they kind of look like a macaw. They kind of look like one. It's either a conner or a macaw. I it once... might be a macaw. I believe you either way. So I said, I once sat in on a campaign with a flamingo kinku whose name was the sound of bubbling water. Oh, like literally. Oh, okay. <laughs> my, my name is. <laughs> <laughs> my name is. <laughs> Dude, that name goes hard. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> My name is the sound of fire. My name is the sound of a building going up in flames. <laughs> My name is... <sighs> and you killed my father. Prepare to die. <laughs> <laughs> my, my name is Metal Pipe SFX. <laughs> <laughs> my name is... Or the fat, like, uh, like the, like the reaver Lafard, like the... <laughs> Like like the oh, very one. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> my name is Dwant. Sorry. Dwant to <laughs> buck <of> my shoe. <laughs> I had I had to do it one more time. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Every time we get together, we can't do this though. This, this can't happen Wait. every single time. It's too much. No, bro, it's too it's, much power. It's her, it's her, it's her anthem, bro. I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not again! They said. <laughs> <laughs> Three, four, fuck some more. Spare them. Spare them, Haka, this evil. 
Impossible. All right, fine. They know, we must they complete know the spell. It's the only way. <laughs> <laughs> One, two. Buckle my shoe. <laughs> Three, four. Buckle some more. Five, six. Nike kicks. Kicks. <laughs> <laughs> there has to be a rest of that song, dude. I don't know. I don't think so. Dub. <laughs> Dude, that one oh, reminds me of that one TikTok where they're like, uh, mm -hmm. what were they talking about? They were like eating fucking French fries or whatever. And they were like talking really uh, formally. And then someone's like, these are bussin' bussin'. And they just like went off into a song about it. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> the one that I like is like, who the fuck did this? Who the fuck did this? Which one? <laughs> oh, is that the Irish mom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Like they, they, they're like eating a burger and then they stand up like pissed off and like, who the fuck did this burger? Who made oh, this burger? That sounds really good, like, actually. He's like, me. Yeah, you did a fucking great job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, see if he's got it. The one, the one, the one. Yeah, yeah, they're eating the fucking French fries and they drop into like old English. They're like, my lord, these fries are unequivocally bussin' bussin' for real. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly. <laughs> oh, my fucking Oh, and the one God, I've been liking dude. a lot lately, too, is that one where they're like, the dude's chase, like running at him, and he turns around and then stops and turns around. And like, I just can't pull myself away. And they start fucking dancing together. Um, <laughs> yeah. That one goes hard. Man, fucking short form like like silly bits are so fucking fun dude but yeah they are yeah they are they, they tickle my brain the right way it's just like oh they hit me silly. right in my uh withered fucking attention span <laughs> no yeah dude same felt it's so fucking good because my my, my brain is like so destroyed <laughs> Dude, getting back into reading lately and like really trying to take it a little more seriously has been like uh quite the trial i'm not gonna lie Oh, but I'm doing it. I'm he, getting there. You're gonna have the slime videos in the subway surfer, like right next, to, right next to you, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> For your attention span, dude. My, uh, I'm looking up at the preview of my stream, and I just realized how far back it is. It's got to be like almost an hour behind at this point. How is oh. that possible? It says you started streaming 11 hours ago. Oh, on, I did. It's side. been 11 hours and six minutes, but I'm looking at the preview on YouTube and I just oh, now saw yeah, you spawn fun. in and I wiggled my like camera at you. Like you just yeah, now yeah, got yeah, on the yeah, server. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. I get so confused whenever I see that because like, I, like sometimes I like to check like the, like the, um, you know, like the stream connection and the mm. stream health and stuff like that. And then I see like the super delayed like previews like, whoa. This happened a while ago. Oh, because I had DVR on apparently this whole time. Oops. Oops. Oh, well. <laughs> hey, Jazz, welcome in. Uh, does Rude know the VODs get deleted if it's 12? I do know VODs get deleted if it's 12 hours. I do know. I do know. But, hey, yeah, we've been here yeah, for 11, yeah. and this is probably as good a place as any to uh, start to call it, I guess. Um, you gotta wrap it up? Yeah, I might wrap up a little bit. You got anything you want to say to anybody? Um, one, two, oh, no. oh, God. buckle my shoe, ah! three, four, buckle <laughs> some more, five, six. Go on. Five, six. Oh, me. I'm sorry. Nike kicks. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, dude. <laughs> uh, oh, I hit 50K today, actually. I hit 50K on YouTube. Oh, shit. Congrats, dude. Yeah, Fuck it was yeah. awesome. Yeah, it was pretty cool. What the heck? You're like halfway like you like, like your YouTube YouTube play button, the super button. Do you get that for, wait, you get that for a hundred? I thought you got that for a million. No, a hundred. I mean, there's like different, like the, the one you get for a million is like the golden one. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh shit. Okay, so I'll get in, to the golden one by New Year's, I guess. So probably in about dude, four days. Fuck five yeah. Days. Five days, I'll be at a million. No problem. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. Easy. We're going to spread that rosade so far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Easy. Nah, it's been really cool. It's been a fun stream, actually. I didn't expect to be as uh, invested in it as I've been, but I mean, I made a lot mm. of progress. I had a lot of fun. Dude, if you're having so much fun, like, playing Minecraft, just wait until we do, like, another, like, Rust event, dude. Those go fucking hard. Oh, I'm, I'm fucking down. Don't think I won't be I, on that server for 12 hours at a time. Oh, dude. Uh, I, I think the longest I streamed for that one was, like, about, like, 11 hours, but I was, like, sick of mode, dude. I was, like, like insane autopilot. <laughs> <laughs> full grind mode. It's Yeah, time. full grind mode, dude. Mm -hmm. That was so fun. Like the whole like freaking like uh, raiding bases and shit. That was pretty fun. Man, I want to get in there. I've never played Rust. I think like my first time playing Rust, being with Hollow Stars, would be fun as fuck. It's dude, it's gotta be super fun. Like that was my first time too, like playing Rust or any games like that. 
and it was like such an enjoyable experience i'm really excited for you guys to like do something similar i can't wait to do i've seen people like you could throw rocks in rust right or no wait yeah yeah, yeah you can throw rocks yeah yeah i can't wait to do some sort of fucking like 360 shot put and like just donk someone from like a thousand miles away it'd be the coolest <laughs> yeah. shit <laughs> Dude, you gotta get signed to fucking phase phase clan. <laughs> oh no problem. I'm already basically phase clan. Oh thank you, Mari, for the uh, gifted mem mem member chips. I'll dip those in my soup. Um, Fuck yeah. Man, what a stream. What a time. Uh, Fuck so yeah. Anyway, thanks Rusaders for being here. Thank you Haka for the uh, raid. Of course. Right here. Uh, I can't I'm believe it's come full on. circle and you're here again. <laughs> yeah. I'm probably going to hop out so I can uh, leave you with your receiver so you can see your goodbye show. Thank you again for having me. I love you. I love you guys. Goodbye. Ew, Grin. No. <laughs> Thanks for being here. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> I hope you had a good Christmas. <laughs> All right, gamers. Let's hop over to the uh, Criminal's Cut, shall we? We'll close out of Minecraft for now. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for joining me for um, Crimsmas. For a, a very malignant, a malign crimsmas. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah. Thanks for being there. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, I can't believe we hit 50K on stream live. And that's like super cool. I didn't expect to do that while I was streaming, but I love that. That's fun. Um, Yeah. For those of you who have been hanging out for 11 hours, first of all, you're absolutely... Uh, you're buck wild. Good for you. Um, I'm surprised I made it that far, much less you. But thanks for being here. No, thank you, Ploy. Um, I hope everybody's had a good Christmas and Crimsmas and whatever holiday it is that you're celebrating right now. And if you're not celebrating a holiday, I hope it's been a chill day for you. I hope you got to hang out and have some fun. I hope it's nice being around your fellow Rosaders and shooting the shit and having weird conversations about dumb stuff. Um, it looks like ads are going to play in about 50 seconds, which I am not about before we raid out of here. So I just want to say... Thank you, genuinely, for um, all of the support. Thank you for the kindness. Um, thanks for 50K. It's been a weird, fun day. I am uh, at the frayed end of my caffeine, though, so I will say, uh, yeah, you guys are great. And just this once, I'll accept all the little hearts in chat. How about that? If I could make little heart hands at you, I would, but I can't, so instead I'll say, ah! <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, oh, uh, one more thing. As a Christmas gift, I'll tell you this. Let me skip ads. I could skip ads, I think. Skip ads. Yes, I can! As a Christmas gift, I will tell you a little secret. I did. I did finalize and pick out a Rosader design. And I'll show you that as soon as I can. Um, so yeah! That's gonna be exciting. Um, obviously, you're allowed to, like, I fucking head canon whatever you want for your Rosader design, and that's cool. Uh, but I think I finalized a uh, official one. Theoretically, anyway, depending on, like, what goes through with, uh, you know, management and stuff with the government. So, I'm excited to show you guys that. Thanks again for 50k. Um, thanks for hanging out with me for, uh, Crimsmas. It's been a really, really cool day. Um, I think that's all I have to say, really. I think that's... That's it. It's been 11 hours, almost 11 and a half hours. So, we were towing it a little close to the 12-hour limit there. So I'm going to call it for now and say I'm winning on the Armus Endurance streams. <laughs> I, tomorrow I will be doing Ruse Day. I believe I'm doing that at the 10 p.m. EST slot. I'll see you there for Armus D&D sheets. And then the day after that, we're back on WoW Wednesday. We skipped a week. We're back in. I'm going to be doing Hardcore again. So you'll see me on my troll. We are going to get the fuck out of Duratar. Um, is there anything else I wanted to say? Oh, I've got a totally super duper normal NPC stream coming up later this week. And I have joined in the collab for Crab Game, I want to say, with Gerard and uh, uh, Octavio and Fleon. And that's going to be, I think, over with uh, a bunch of different VTubers, I believe hosted by Meriwether. Um, so that's going to be cool. Uh, so you'll see me there. I might even stream my side. I haven't decided yet, but possibly... So I might catch you that for, I want to say Thursday. I don't know exactly what time. I'll let you know eventually. Cool? Cool. Anyway, gamers, thanks for hanging out. Merry Christmas, malign Christmas, whatever the hell you want to say. It's been real. It's been fun. I would go so far as to say it's been somewhat touching, and I might have even felt an emotion that was not complete wrath, that wasn't raw hatred. Um, so, yeah. 
Thanks, I guess. Uh, remember that I never get flustered? Never have, never will, and I totally held my own there. I was super chill about it. Okay, I'm gonna delete this VOD now so that nobody ever sees that. Bye! <laughs> oh, we're running over to Fuma Senpai, so stick around, say hi, and toss your support. Uh, Fuma absolutely deserves it. Super fun, super entertaining. Uh, please don't run away immediately. It's in the Crimson spirit to pass along the love. Bring those hearts over there. Let's do it, baby. Here we go.